Um, so you're still not quite. I got yeah, a report, I'm still but jet lagged. Says, says Augie's here. Yeah, I'm still jet lagged apparently. Um, but luckily, my um, work commitments, I guess today, don't start until the afternoon because my colleagues that I'm working with right to today are in Texas. So, um, yeah, but, um, so I'll stay around for a bit and hopefully I'll become tired. Yeah. And get, we'll be really uh, boring. Yeah, exactly. We'll just be as boring as we possibly can. And then that should do it. Um, yep. Wow. Am I missing a bunch of questions? Did we do t top 10 gangster movies last week? Yes, we did. And I've got a date wrong. Or no, no. Nine... So not last week, because I was there last week. No, yeah, yeah, 10 right, gangster right. picks with the bonus round. Oh, right. I left early last week. I left, I was not there. The I, I went the whole thing the week before. Right after my round of Fictional Doctors Part 2, preceded by Broadway Lyrics, preceded by Rob Moore Conspiracies, and before that, Peggy's Awards. For the fictional doctors, how many how many of the answers had to do with Doctor Who? Uh, only one. Only one. Okay. Only one. Just the one. You should be watching the videos. I mean, my gosh, you had all that time to fly over there. You know, you should have just been enjoying all that time on the flight by watching us play. <laughs> yeah, United United um, doesn't allow streaming on their for their Wi Fi on the flight. Oh, just download it to your phone or just watch it from there. That's all that yeah. matters. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's all that matters. Yeah. That's good. Oh, look at a whole bunch of people showed. Hi, Jim. Is your oh. is your um air condition is your heating down or something, Susan? No, it's just expensive and I am refused to pay it for oh. and I am cold. I just wash dishes. Hi Carolyn. Hi Wendy. Wendy's back. Hey, hey Wendy. yeah. Was I conspicuous by my absence? Oh, we we've been talking about you every day. All behind my back. We just <laughs> talk about you when the video's off. Do you know what I um? <laughs> timing just it sucks sometimes. If I get a migraine or if I'm exhausted, I have like chronic insomnia. Today, I don't care. I'm here. You know. <laughs> no, no. Okay, and there's Kyle. <laughs> Wow. Good evening. We got the gang back and obviously Hi, Kyle. Hey, hey, Wendy. says it's two in the morning where he's at right now. Three and three in the morning. I, I morning. couldn't fall asleep. So my I, I have was... to be really boring so he can go to yeah. sleep. So talk. <laughs> I got that covered. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good at being really, really boring, especially whenever I get around you guys. I get like, oh Oh, don't sell yourself short, Susan. No, oh. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait so I think the boring will come once Rob gets here. Wink, wink. Uh, <laughs> I'm recording and he watches this. So you I know that's why that. I said that. Okay. <laughs> you know what? I was just talking to somebody about. I was talking to people about. Would you believe there are no conferences until the fall? As far yeah. as I know. Oh, uh, plenty of math <laughs> conferences. Hi, uh, Psycon. Oh, those kind of conferences. Also, uh, yeah, Australian skeptics and the New Zealand skeptics, if they do one, that's it. There's nothing in between. There's no European Skeptic Congress. There's no uh, QED this year, I don't think. Nexus is long gone. Well, the uh, Rocky Mountain Atheist has a uh, uh, We Can Reason con uh, conference. Well, uh, they're not um, sure if that's going to happen or not. Are they sure? Um. It was originally supposed to be a few years ago. Uh, yeah, it was supposed got, to be got a canceled speaker. by COVID. <laughs> Eugenie said she is um, pestering is JJ to see if we're going to do Skeptical or when. Is he in person or video? Virtual, probably, yeah. I, I have heard both, so I don't know. Yeah. I think it's going to be. I, I heard Jay was trying to get things more in person, but I think it would be beneficial to have it virtual. But that's just me. Yeah. yeah. So last week I was uh, discussing this. How to have impossible conversations? Very good. Yeah. Have you read it? No, but I've been having conferences. I've been doing um, workshops that are about having impossible, difficult <laughs> conversations. <laughs> yeah. And what did you think? 
Um, I think I'll have, uh, it's a library copy. I, I, I guess I'll have to get one, maybe on Kindle, so I can read the first chapter and try to apply it before. <laughs> uh, I think we're having problems having hard conversations. I don't know if we were even close to being ready to have impossible conversations. Yeah. That seems like, oh, look, Aaron's back. And, and, and Ryan's back. And, oh, that's uh, pretty uh, color, too. I like Aaron, that. Aaron, that looks great on you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Very sunny. And I'm, a, yeah. and I'm about halfway through reading Project Hail Mary. <laughs> <gasps> Hurry it up. We're going to say something. You better you better turn off your video right now and sit and read it. Oh, how can you stop? How can you take two minutes out of your day to not read? Oh, my Okay, I, I I find myself stopping and thinking about the implications of this particular thing, and kind of like trying to solve the mystery before the uh, author reveals it. Don't say anything. There's still people around who have who has not who has not read the book. Here on the I haven't. Screen. And I'm not going to. Yeah. Zeke is not going to, but her Me husband either. has. Yes, loved it. You know, Kyle, I would think you'd be the type. The, the, Used the, to uh, be. Yeah, no time for yeah, nonfiction Jim, anymore. Uh, the or mystery fiction. is that it's all magic and psychics. Yeah, all right. That's that's it. It. You've got it all figured out. <laughs> yeah. I don't recommend a lot of stuff, you guys. I'm just saying. Mm. This is this is superior. Mm. That and Severance and The Martian. When they make it a movie, I'll watch it. Yeah, but the, the Martian, Martian was really good. I like the Martian yeah. better. The Martian, they did an okay job, but it was nowhere as good as the book. I mean, it the really book was, was the book was awesome. Oh, yeah. The book was so much better, but they couldn't have done everything. I mean, it was, it must have cost a fortune to do what they did, but they, no, I mean, just the basic mistake of bringing books, books, mm -hmm. books, like, paper books with bookmarks in it who would who would take that into space it doesn't make any sense actually i did see um uh one of the people on the space shuttle and the um the space station right now the iss yeah she's reading project hell mary in a book and i'm like i mean <laughs> okay i feel brought his guitar well, I can, you can't bring a guitar necessarily on a Kindle or something, but a book you could, I could see if she's reading the book and she's trying to make the point to read books yeah. and it wouldn't be the same as if you're scrolling on a Kindle. It's a different experience. It's completely different experience to read books in different modalities. Everything on a, a I mean, everything going into space is just way yeah. so. Yeah, wonderful. the cost per ounce to get it into yeah, space. A book seems kind of, when you could do it, for no weight. Maybe, maybe well, I mean, it is so making so a bad, statement. They went on a diet that for makes a few sense. at a time and <laughs> lost a book worth of weight. Because <laughs> they're they're given like they they're each allowed so much weight of personal effects to bring. She, so she it makes a big her, statement that she chose a paper book. She left her toothpaste home and her hair dryer, and she could bring a book. <laughs> yeah, sure. Well, you know what? I think you're right, Zeke. If they make a big deal out of it as in that she is sitting there reading a book and that it was so important that she left her hair dryer and her toothpaste behind <laughs> or something, you know, I guess that makes sense. But I don't know. I just it just. But anyway, on on uh, uh, the Martian in the movie, they have a table with a bunch of books sitting there. And it's I thought, are they holograms? No, they're there and it, with bookmarks in them and stuff like they're well read. And I thought, that's mm -hmm. such a silly mistake to make. Who yeah. would go to Mars? I mean, they would have put more food on it or something, you know, put more potatoes. What kind of books were they? It, we don't know. They're just sitting there. Mm -hmm. It just seems strange, you know. When and Hadfield is, I guess, his new book is coming out soon. What, what, but there's another one? Yeah. Wouldn't you want at least some books that tell you how to reboot the machine from scratch if you can't read the digital <laughs> copy? So that is a very good point. It's an excellent point, but I would have put them on some other kind of device that is no connection to Well, you would think anything. there would be a technology independent manual. Yeah. Well, couldn't they come up with something? 
Oh, wait, you know what? We should be talking to Kyle right now about. You, you know how many it. companies have been screwed when malware encrypted their entire data store and all their instructions for how to recover from a backup were stored online? Well, that's what I, I mean. I would, be I, would think the tech, I would think the technical manuals of the ISS are on some form of hard copy documentation somewhere. I hope so. I that mean, it might, it might be that it might be that. Well, this wouldn't help them. Never mind. It's, it might be that they're holding them in Houston, but if they have a complete power failure, Houston doesn't yeah. help. <laughs> it's, an interesting, it, it's an interesting yeah, after, challenge to after come all, up with. They might the get another winter way. storm in Houston. Well, <laughs> well, you know what? They should paint it on the walls. Besides, really small and just. If they ever have to Apollo 13, how would they there, work, rip there the cover off no, the flight manual? They don't have a flight manual to rip the cover off them. Yep. Yeah, there, there are no walls to speak of. Oh. Everything so, is a is an experiment. May all the manuals should be printed on the clothing they have to wear anyway. <laughs> there you go. She's got it. You got a brainstorm on the clothing. No, I, I actually the think that they. It. I actually think that instead mm -hmm. of printing that on the clothing, they should sell the space on the on on the spacesuits for um, advertisers. Like NASCAR. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No. Also, hi, Uncle Ron. No. Hey, Abby. You still in Chicago? No, I. It's three a.m. Yeah, three fifteen a.m. And I couldn't fall asleep, so my dad said I should come on. Oh, look! We know what Bill looks like now. Yeah. Hi there, Bill. We see you now. <laughs> All right, much better than being a screen that's off. Shakespeare. Looks like Captain Kangaroo. Captain Kangaroo. What kind of? Uh, Are you uh, a train conductor? <laughs> at the <laughs> California State Railroad Museum. I'm a docent. Over oh, oh, that's fun. Where is that at? What city is that? Is it up in Sacramento? Sacramento. Do you know Bob Gross by any chance? Bob Gross. No, I'm afraid not. Okay. He's very much in the trains and he's always up there. So did the uh Union Pacific uh originally stopped uh, end uh, at Sacramento and then a bit later they uh, uh, extended to San Francisco, something like that. Uh, the Central Pacific started in Sacramento, <laughs> went east and met the Union Pacific in Promontory, Utah, oh. uh, Golden Spike Ceremony in 1869. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, there were several other smaller railroads that went through throughout California that were uh, gobbled up by Southern Pacific, uh, but the, which was the later name through merger of the century. Yeah. But the very first uh, transcontinental oh, railway uh, went to uh, uh, the western end was at uh, Sacramento. Is that's correct. A little, right? Wasn't it in Lathrop? Is where no. it, it wasn't Lathrop? Nope. It's it started right uh, downtown Sacramento. Uh, first and K or uh, front and K Street is where the monument is, and uh, it's. About what 500 yards to the uh, big Southern Pacific locomotive works that was the headquarters for the for SP, uh, first Central Pacific and then SP uh, until it was taken over by Union Pacific. Yeah, I thought, yeah. Because uh, when I went, that's to all part of our next vacation. Yeah, the San Joaquin. Be doing anything uh, because it might be a trivia category. Yeah, the San Joaquin History uh, County History Museum had something about the going through Lathrop. There was a there was a railroad that did go through Lathrop. It was not part of the original okay. Central Pacific. Okay. Hmm. And I'm the, sleeping uh, in Susan's driveway in two weeks. Oh, that's right. And then watch. we're headed up to Sacramento. That just sounded really strange, Zeke. Yeah. When are you getting to Sacramento? In two weeks, you said? In, yeah, in two weeks. Go to a train museum. Uh, uh, yes, do, go to, do come to the train museum. If you... I know this docent. Yeah, <laughs> yeah how about that? It's on my agenda. <laughs> it's like everything now. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm usually there Monday mornings. And then, of course, um, where I live, uh, there wasn't really a heck of a lot here until the railway and the Canadian Pacific went through. <laughs> uh, that's true of most of North America. Yeah. It's really neat that, that when, when people meet each other, it's, it cracks me up that, that this world gets smaller and smaller. I just got a message from Peggy. She's going up to Oregon and she's going to go meet uh, Jane and Janine. <laughs> Nice. Like, take a picture. It's so cool. Yeah. And I'm so mean. I Paula wrote to me. She says, "I can't make trivia tonight. I have a friend in from Colorado in town." I said, "You have friends? <laughs> How lovely!" <laughs> I can say that to Paula. Oh, Paula, we we love you. Yeah, like you're listening to this, Kyle. Hey, hey. Your survey. Give it a second. Uh, there's something that might need to recalculate, but I know we have more responses. Okay, I cannot. Okay, what is it again? Da no, it's survey. R V E Y. Okay, on. I'm going to give you a direct link that has the results from uh, our survey. But I'm worried I can't take all the other surveys. Let me see. I, okay, I'm skipping the that. I have an employee looking into. Ah, now I'm back here again. VR survey, listening habits of podcasts. Okay, good. I, I want, you know, it's important to me to get these. Oh, Much appreciated. I'm just a little nag is what I. <laughs> no, not at all. I'm actually running Mark, behind that. I can hear him in the stuff. corner. I can hear Mark in the other end. Yep. All right. Survey says. Hey, Vincent. I hear you there. Oh, look, Jane's here. You Where hear me. You been, Jane. I don't have a board meeting tonight. Well, we're trying to be really boring because Avi, <laughs> it, no, because it's 3 a.m. where Avi is right now. And he, and he wants it to be, he wants us to. And we're be hoping like, to lull him to sleep. He, we're supposed to be making him tired. Oh. Oh. Oh, boring geez. categories. You guys are so mean. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have, we're going to have. So Avi, you need to, uh, to lower the illumination in that room. So it's easier to sleep. That looks too bright. Yeah, that, that was not it was not the case while I was sleeping, <laughs> trying to sleep at least. It's to keep the plant on his head growing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I suspect that plant doesn't require that much light. Yeah. Well, technically, uh, technically it does. Oh, Bob's yeah. here. Hi, Bob. Pixels. Ryan beat you here. Are you guys on the same couch? Let me yeah, see, Ryan. Yeah. Put your hand over there by your dad. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh. Now I got to move them around. So yeah, I got to the put right them spot. next to each other. Oh, yeah. Let's put Ryan next to Bob. Sorry. All right. That works better now. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> it reaches over and pets the cat every so often. And it's just like, oh, creepy. <laughs> that's weird. Very oh, good. By the way, my, my dad is on his way. He's He's driving home from somewhere. I don't know where. <laughs> Just like always, so always driving home from somewhere. <laughs> yeah, everybody is driving from somewhere. No, I went for a walk. Today. None of us are. Hey, look at yeah, look this at is all this. he does. This is I'm so proud of it. Look, lights. What is that? My to do list is all crossed out. <laughs> Every here comes here comes Alan. I make to do. I'm a to do list person, and this I can, I'm always making new lists. New lists, and I write them on junk paper. But everything is off of this. I mean, it's all crossed out today was the well last done. thing on the list, which was send off my passport and Mark's passport because they expired. Yeah, so, They're so expiring. Can, reasons, so. and, and this is my first jury duty summons ever that I actually have to go to. Ooh. I haven't oh, gotten one I'm of those so in jealous. decades. 70 years old almost, and I'm finally going to serve on a jury. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I, I got to get. You don't selected know till you get there. Yeah, yeah. yeah I got to get selected first. Never yeah, I, I go. got called a few times about twenty years ago, and not a, and never again. Wait, Avi, or Avi, uh, Ryan, are you are you are you a citizen? Did you get citizenship? I don't remember. Uh, that was five years ago, Alan. Yeah, uh, Dad, don't you remember? It's because he is he, he lost because he couldn't find his green card or something. <laughs> <laughs> No, they they stole my green card uh, back. Get some papers so I'll... I don't understand why I want to be on a jury. I got selected <laughs> four times. Um, got called when I was not a citizen, 
And it's like, you have to answer a whole bunch of eligibility questions. And are you a citizen is like question seven. <laughs> and that automatically eliminates you. Why is that the seventh question, not the first one? <laughs> because it's not the most common issue. You it's know what? Nice. In Canada? Save me a lot of time. And then this is the first time in five you years. You are not the I only person that I'm takes the only that one that matters. Yeah, but I'm the only one that matters. I've I've been called <laughs> twice, but I did. I actually did sit on it once, but it was for a, uh, it was for the punitive part of a of a of a uh, of the uh, of a civil suit some traffic accident. <laughs> and it was really interesting. The people that were in there, this thing should have been so cut and dry, but we, it took us two days. And frankly, I would have given the uh, the um, I think it was the plaintiff. I would have given him the chair. Because um, he had the ugly, he had the worst hair I'd ever seen. I, I hated his hair, and so I, I, I would have given him the chair. Oh, execute him because he's got a bad hair day, huh? You yes. got very that, weird that is, jury that instructions. I want to go there because it's the same courtroom that Bruno Hauptmann was. Uh, I went through his thing in the Lindbergh trial. So, Alan, I can see that you are embodying the ancient Jewish tradition of tikkun olam. We don't know what that means. I, I think, think Alan I, probably I think Alan wrong. stood up and said, you're guilty. I <laughs> but, it, but it was, it was fast. The, but the, the guys in it, they, they wanted, you know, the guy, the guy, what had happened is the guy was rear-ended on, on, on one of the, 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 uh, the highways in town. And that had been, the, 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 it had been determined that it was, it was the guy's fault. For husband. Everybody say hi to Jane's husband. Oh. Hi, Jane's husband. Hi, Jane's husband. Oh, oh, Jane's husband. So it was determined that the guy, the guy was guilty. So now we have to come up with a, with a, with how much we were going to give him. So they wanted, the guy hurt his knee. So they wanted to give him 200,000. They wanted $200,000. So we're fighting over this thing. But the, the, the big, what it took so long is some people said, we've got to give him something. And we're saying, no, just because you feel sorry for the guy, you don't have to give him money. You know, and it was, but it was fascinating to, uh, to and we had like give I, a nice smile. I was, I was on a jury once for, on a wrongful termination case, and we were given instructions on, on these six questions we had to answer in order to give, give the woman money for her wrongful termination and whatnot. And, and I'll be one back. Question, okay. One of the questions was, um, this particular document that she was using as her as her justification of why it's wrongful termination, they were arguing back and forth on whether that was a contract or not. And they're all arguing when we get into the jury room, they're all arguing over how much money should we be giving her? She's been out of work all this time. She's been this. She's been... I said, wait, 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 wait. We need to answer the first question first. Is this a contract? Because if we say no, she gets nothing. Because if she didn't have a contract, it's not wrongful termination. And and they all looked at me like I was like I was nuts for a minute. And they said, hey, you know, you're right. And we decided it, we decided under the guidelines we had been given, this doesn't qualify as a contract. And I'm very sorry, but we can't give you punitive damages or whatever it was they were calling it. I can't remember. So the, the judge didn't make it clear you need to go through the questionnaire from question one in order. Oh, oh, I believe that the judge expected us to do that. But when you throw 12 jurors in a room, sometimes they just. They, well, there's they, a difference they, between the judge expecting it and the judge well, I, I, explicitly you know, it, saying it in the instructions. It was 15 years ago, and he may have said that, but that doesn't mean that they all <laughs> followed those instructions. They, they jumped to how much can, how much should we be giving this woman? And I was like, it's not a contract. We, you know, she's not entitled to anything. Well, this is what happened with this thing. You know, we ended up saying, okay, fine. We'll give the guy $25,000. I don't know why, but we'll give him $25,000, uh, which will most of it will go to the lawyer anyway. So we'll, uh, we'll give, so we'll give him $25,000. And then we, when we said, <laughs> then we find out they had settled anyway and, and they didn't need our verdict. <laughs> oh, brother. Hi, Brandon. Uh, I was an alternate on a jury. It was also a wrongful termination thing. And I sat through the whole thing for three whole weeks. It finally came to the jury, and I they said goodbye. And I didn't get <laughs> we uh, hi Jane in Oregon. Well, it sounds like they were at least polite. Hi Janine. Well, not really. <laughs> hi Romero. 
Can, can I share my screen for a minute? I just came across this, and I think this is a good way to get people to to, be, to believe you when you say beware of dog. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh. That oh. looks have, like have you seen the, the Have you seen the wow, one of the, that's good. Uh, of a fence like that that's all twisted and bent and, and crushed down? And there's a pigeon at the top, you know, yeah. at the at the lowest point. <laughs> Didn't yeah. see that one. <laughs> yeah. And then it looks like the pigeon weighed it down. Yeah. I like that one. That is That's really exactly <laughs> that gate is exactly what a delivery person did to one of our gates. You might With the say dog? beware of a fat express or <laughs> <laughs> Jane and Janina here, you're gonna get visited by Peggy. We are. We're really excited. I'm hoping the road's not icy. I I'm, I was like, she told me, I said, oh, man, take a picture. It's just so cool whenever, you know, friends meet other friends and they, it's like, but I don't think I've ever Peggy. met Peggy in person. You know, well, you wouldn't have. Hi, Adrian. Mm -hmm. yeah, Hello. She's, oh. I've only met her a couple of times. She came to my house for a barbecue and then I met her at her house for Halloween. So we'll see. Richard Saunders is supposed to be coming here. So oh, I get that my it, come up and we'll is, come on over. Is Richard going to join us tonight? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. So Richard, well, it would be this morning for Richard, right? Oh, yeah. he's, he's here. Yeah. He's in Oregon, California, isn't he now? No, he's yeah. not. He's oh, maybe left he's Oregon. Gonna... He's oh. he's across the bay from me. Yeah, he's oh. in San Francisco or okay. Bay Area or. I think he's in Oakland. Oakland, yeah, because he texted yeah. me today, so I think he's. Hey, here. hey, Bob, is it snowing by you? We got it. We got a terrible storm here right now. Is Bob there? No. Bob, oh, Ryan, ask Ryan I, if he can hear. I'm just, just I amazed mean, no, people yeah, voluntarily I, yeah. live oh. where there's snow. It's we got some uh, freezing, freezing. Snow. Yeah, but there's no yeah. earthquakes. There's no. We're not getting any floods around here. Well, I love yeah, it. Right. it was 60 uh -huh. degrees here today. I love winter. It was 10 yeah. degrees yeah. here. That's uh, Celsius. So it was pretty, pretty. I didn't even wear a jacket. That's, just that's, that's almost toasty. It was 58 here today. Now, hang on. Is that a, a Chinook? Or, uh, yeah. a, a Chinook wind? <laughs> you yes. got it. And boy, was it windy. It was so windy. I was wearing my mask in the store. How windy was it? Uh, <laughs> uh, 50 gusting to 70, I think, kilometers per hour. <laughs> It was crazy, but crazy. Was it like, was it that today? When I think so, just I, it was very for a brief time. And of course, that's when I was grocery shopping. Oh, okay. so, <laughs> yeah. I came out and it was just like a dust storm. And uh, I was, I kept my mask on because uh, the, schnooks, the schnooks oh. were blowing. No, they were blowing. They were blowing hard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was very confused there for a moment. Bob was in Ryan's rectangle. I was... <laughs> Uh, teleport sure that works Girl, not allowed. there he not is again <laughs> oh, uh, other people's rectangles I was, I was adjusting the lighting zeke i'm making you the uh troll killer tonight oh i'll try to figure it out i guess and you send us to our rooms and you meet everybody all those fun things you get to do also, I'm not going to be joining any rounds because otherwise I'll never get to sleep and I do need at least some sleep. Oh, oh Avi, how nice to see you. Hi, Adrian. It's, the, even, German, it's still, the German Avi now. He still has a little green leaf. It just never yeah. goes. That's, yeah. 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 You know, the most stuff. plants get beyond the cotyledon stage like within a week. There's something wrong with that plant. Yeah, maybe, maybe that, I'll have to I'll it's, visit you. There's Virginia nothing wrong with it. It's, it's special. Robin. It's a special plant, yeah. It's a special plant. See, Robin, it's a special plant. I would be fertilizing it, <laughs> or or standing under a light. It needs more. It needs help. water. Are you are you salting it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, no, it's a special that fertilization be, salt, so it does the opposite. That will of take care of the slug. He's, he's smoking. <laughs> he's smoking it. <laughs> Paula says she'll be here. She can't make it. And Deborah says she'll be here in a half an hour. And there's Robert. 
Oh, hey, wow. Robert. I should say. Uh, Peggy said hey, she'll Rob. be late because she's packing for her trip to Yeah, Florida. she said she might pop in. That'll be great. We were just talking about Peggy. She's going to yeah. go. Is she driving or flying to Oregon? I think she's driving. I think she's driving. Yeah, she's going to go yeah. see Jane and she's going to see Janine. That's just so cool. That It's just fun. And then um, Caspian's in Hawaii. So. Oh, nice. He's working. Bye. He's working. So I don't know say him. And then. Who else? Oh, you never know. Never know. Ron. What the heck? <laughs> Is Tiffany gonna get evicted? Is 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 Mr. Gray gonna gonna blow a gasket because uh Bet stayed over the night? What in the I, world? Yeah, He's I mean, such a child. Come on, girl. Well, we gotta boot her out of there, but I just wish they hadn't changed the uh the tone of it there because I wanted to see all the good sex scenes. <laughs> cartoon sex scenes there's probably an alternate scenes. universe that has it but ron um i got an email from the luan people and they said that they fixed the links for puro so they went back and they fixed all the links and i read all the old back issues of puro so i think he's about to come back in because they they don't usually release something like that like hey just want everybody to remember how puro has appeared in a lot of different strips just letting you know. So I think he's on his way in. So this should be interesting with him and Bernice. Well, he was there about a week ago. Well, but I think it's going to get even more. Well, it could be. Something's going to happen. So yeah. I'm telling you. Sounds really exciting. Oh, my God. I, Ron and I talk about it every week, right, Ron? Yep. I have no idea what you're talking about. Just dream about Luann. What is Luann? It's a cartoon. Your I'm uncle and I bonded over. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's a cartoon based on Wordle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's been around like 20, 30 okay. years or something. Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, I how am. many letters does Luann have? L-U-A-N-N. It could be Five. a Wordle word. There you go. You're talking I about the comic strip, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Priorities here. Okay. Are you going to stay long enough to get into a round? Because I'm going to start making the rooms. No, to get going now. Go, go get some sleep. Go night night. Yep. Yep. Good, Good, Good night, night Avi. Night night. Good night, Good night, Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Yeah. Oh, I got a mess with you guys here. Look at all this mess. It's like two thirty in the morning in Germany, where Avi is. Yeah, I, I get about a half an hour ago. I'm driving home. I get a call from Avi. So I was worried. Uh, you know, what's the story? We, I can't sleep. So I said, well, it's only five more minutes. You might as well join trivia. At least come say hello. <laughs> so, so I'm glad he did that. Oh, it's so funny because he was just in America. So he's a little still time weirded out, I guess. Yeah. Jet lag is a, is a nasty thing. <clears throat> what do they say? Um. Richard from Australia flies quite a bit back and forth, and I don't think mm -hmm. he's happy about that. No, he, he he he's complained about jet lag in the past. Yeah, I think it really hits him hard. I haven't had too much trouble, but I don't fly nearly as much as he does. Where is Jane in Oregon on here? Why can I not find you? What are the last? There it is. Okay, never mind. Point of view. <laughs> Jane in Oregon. It's funny. It's funny. Sometimes I go on a long trip and the jet lag doesn't bother me at all. And other times it just hits it it. me out. Yeah. Hey, Sagan. And Zeke and little Zeke. Hey, hey Sagan. Hello. Hello. I can't see her. Hello. Oh, there she is. Hi. How you doing, Zeke? Oh. You're coming to sleep in my driveway. Uh -huh. doing that? Yeah. You're coming to sleep in my driveway <laughs> again. I should say. Well. I gotta make sure Brian and Bob is are Sagan up. sleeping on your driveway as well. Yeah, she sleeps on my driveway, right? Excellent. Excellent. I, I hope that you. Uh, I hope that you at least give her a blanket. <laughs> yeah, I kind of recognize what that is behind you. I, I, I think it starts with a C. I think it's a uh, flag of some kind, isn't it? I think so. Fun with flags yeah. by Sheldon Cooper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, I gotta put Ryan in the same room as. Uh, 
Where I remember it? when that flag came out. I, did, I just thought she might uh, want to see my see my Barbies on the on the on the bridge. I see them. That was that was before That's awesome. my time. Are they really Barbies? It's yeah. a Barbie Barbie and Ken. Yeah. Which one's Ken? Ken is over here. Oh, and, and Kirk. Oh, and Barbie's over here. There. Okay, that's and why they look flat. Spock and Kirk are flat. Okay, <laughs> like Ken, like Ken is, huh? You know, he's flat. Yeah. <laughs> Those are really cool. I was looking at that going, right? Okay, let's see. If I do this, that makes sense. But I don't have enough in this team. Yeah, I was living in Canada when that flag became official. What flag are we talking about? The Canadian flag. The one behind me. Oh, 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 okay. What did the flag look like before? What did it look like before this one? Um, it, was, it, it was basically a, uh, a British flag. Yeah. It was. We used, to, we used to call it the Red Duster, and it was. Uh, yeah, it was just uh, red. It had the crest and the corner crest of Ontario and the Union Jack up in the left-hand corner. Hmm. And they decided Union we Jack. wanted our own, we wanted our, it was it was a uh, hundred year anniversary. We wanted our own flag. And then um, I was in junior high and we pull up, put up the flag for the very first time when we're all out in front and they, they brought it up upside down. So it was a good, <laughs> was a good start. <laughs> <laughs> it was very it's sad a, when New Zealand Freud, didn't. It was 64 or 65 that the, uh, uh, that the maple leaf was became official. Okay, now you can go. I had I had uh, I had the breakout room thing covering it, so I couldn't see what was you guys talking about. I have a question for you, Susan. Yes, yes. Logistical question. Yes. You said you put me on a job, and I haven't really done anything. And then you said something about the rooms, and I didn't do anything for that either. Oh, I I, I put him in the rooms. <laughs> do I really have a job, or is this like an yeah, honorary yeah, title? You have a job. <laughs> You have a job. You better go learn it. Okay. You got to mute everybody. Bye. Here they come. Hey, Susan. Ooh, hey, Ron, you've got solidarity happening here. All right. That is not quite the right try flag. To, try to tell me something. That was the flag that they were going to go yeah. with back when they made the change. And at the last minute, Adrian's flag won out. I always like I, 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 I always kind of like that flag, Ron. I, I, I like this one much better than the one we so ended you know up with. Why, you know why the one in, in Adrian's background won? Why? Because how, many, how many points are there on it? One, two, one, two, three, nine, four, 10, 11, 12. So um, there's there's nine obvious ones. Right. And then there's the uh, two on the bottom. Stick at the bottom. Yeah. And then the more the two on the bottom. So the, you're right. So it's the, uh, um, it's provinces? the provinces and, yeah. and territories. Plus, Ron looks like his head's on fire. Yeah, it doesn't, <laughs> yeah it doesn't just be I have big ears. So Ron, he, used how do we have red, he used to have red hair. That's why. Right. Well, how do we interpret your act of defiance? There you are. Vincent, <laughs> what were you trying to tell me? Um, Just that we're being recorded, just to let you know. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> I'm so glad you, you know. told me that. We, we had a discussion in our room about a, a particular Star Trek, I'll call it theme song. And that has something to do with. We lost you, Aaron. You went you. mute. No, she's right here. No, she got oh, muted. I, I got I got muted in the middle. I don't know why. Um, but but we we had a little discussion about a Star Trek song. So I posted the link here for anybody. Oh who wow! It, 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 it does not violate any kind of copyright. So if you'd like, I'll start it. But it's yeah. It's no, a it's silly. three minutes thirty three seconds. A little bit of silliness. Anybody can. Turn it into a fugue. We're we're playing it. That's let's cute. let's all start at three seconds apart from no, each no. other. <laughs> It'll be like let's happy start. birthday on steroids. Oh, that's <laughs>
<laughs> okay, so here we go. Let's get our team names and we'll get started with that. That's wonderful. Okay, Adrian, Alan, Bill, Carolyn, Jane from California, and Rob. Can any Americans here sing the Canadian National Anthem? Probably well, no matter how many game I can get through all the words while everyone Ooh. else is also singing. <laughs> but I couldn't. But I couldn't do it on my own. You guys, you guys changed the words on me in the last uh, forty years. So I don't even know how to sing it anymore. <laughs> oh, I have no idea. Okay. And this came about because I started randomly singing the American national anthem the other day. I don't know why, and I sang right through it. And my husband looked at me kind of oddly. But I, I, I will say I cannot the, the sing the French yes. version of it. <laughs> Yay! Yes. I don't even know an enlightened that. crowd. <laughs> so Aaron, Jim, Karen, hello Karen, by the way, Kyle, Romero, and Zeke. Oh, there's Faith. Hi, Faith. Hi, Faith. Who who's responsible for our documentation tonight? That's the hell of a copy and paste here. We are okay. 99 kaput balloons. <laughs> I, I, love it. I, like I was it. just listening to Neil deGrasse Tyson, who's who's making the rounds again. Is everybody's talking about aliens and like, oh, let's get Neil deGrasse Tyson on. And he's like, it's just, it's nice to see him back in. The is, is Misha Kako out there saying, why are they shooting down the alien spacecraft? Yeah. Right. You, you, <laughs> like, well, you correctly uh, pronounced his name, which is a mistake. Me? No, Rob. Rob you correctly was... pronounced. You want a Michio cuckoo, Kaku. I know. It should be Michio Cuckoo. I know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay, Ben, Jane. Carl, Leonard, and Vincent. We are dead silence. Ooh. What was that again? <laughs> well, like, well, I guess that that, that group should be muted <laughs> all the time, huh? How Randy, could you tell? Randy, <laughs> Gail, Janine, and Ron. Who's second? Las Vegas billboard, just like Jeffrey Epstein, this sign did not hang itself. <laughs> Randy saw it. Randy saw it while driving around town in Las Vegas. Oh my God! Somebody oh spent money on that to put it. I've on. seen. I've seen that billboard. I have. That's awesome. That. Have you? Where, Robin? Um, maybe Las Vegas. When, oh, maybe last October. Oh my gosh, that's expensive. <laughs> Unless you're selling a brand of t-shirts to go with it or something. I don't know. Why did you do that? Bob and it's Rob. for a law firm. Oh, okay. Bob, <laughs> Ryan, Kevin, Robin, and Wendy. We are in honor of <laughs> some of our um, recently Me Too friends. We are closing arguments. Oh, closing the arguments. Okay. Nobody minds my uh, gift in the background do they where are you oh no it's, no you're not right. at all and yeah, no, your see. aurora is lovely right. no seizures your aurora is lovely. <laughs> well okay. I, i'm not going to talk about his aura that's just not said yeah <laughs> his aurora is beautiful alice in the night for she has seen aurora borealis burning bright <laughs> all right so here we are tonight 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 we are at where are we at Oh, I got it not I've not got it on here. Game 148. All right. Wow. We're almost at 150, you guys. How is that even up possible? On three years. I can't even imagine. We game. were 148 last week. Uh mm -hmm. Kyle's the official. <laughs> when 148, did that start? 149. <laughs> last week was 147, season three, episode 38. Oh, oh. did I say Kyle? I meant Carl. He, he did. <laughs> <laughs> now, Please, Susan, it, you've it never got, done that it, before it got yeah. confusing because kyle has a capital k on his name sure and i'm a numbers guy it seemed reasonable yeah okay. that makes sense by the, okay. by the way susan you need to start planning ahead because next year is a leap year and leap day february 29 will be on a thursday next year <laughs> and, it'll, and it won't be on a thursday until sometime after 2050 after that Oh, we, we gotta have one wow. special we trivia at night. We have to play trivia yeah. all day, like from the from <laughs> midnight oh one until oh, that'd be wow. All right, get started, you guys. Get your sleeping now. All right, do I need to put in? Uh, do I need to put in time off or so that I can play <laughs> yeah. trivia all day? 
all day, so, all night, because it won't okay, happen again. So, uh, we'll do it as a fundraiser. Somebody's going to have to come up with February 29th uh, um, trivia questions. People born on the 29th of February. My ex-brother-in-law. Roger. There you go. Robin's ex-brother-in-law. <laughs> My ex-father-in-law. And and <laughs> I see a so pattern. The category is exes born on the 29th. <laughs> All male exes. We're gonna get very specific. That was the mystery category. There you go. <laughs> I don't understand, Carl. Why would you look this up? Why would you know this little piece of trivia? Because he's Carl. Because that's what Carl does. And he's got a calendar and he's writing in trivia at six o'clock on each one of them and just, or seven o'clock, whatever it is your time. I'm just curious what, when the next possible opportunity would be for there to have a trivia on a leap day. And it happens to be next year and it won't happen again. None of, none of the sources I looked at had any information beyond 2050. So I don't know when the next one after next year is. But it's you should not project them all out. He'll have calendars laying all over the floor and he's sitting there. <laughs> well, that's very yes. interesting. So we'll, we'll keep that in mind, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Carl's slowly <laughs> turning into out, calendar, Carl? man. <laughs> calendar, <laughs> calendar. I'm pulling up the, my Google it'd calendar. Be, it'd be 2074. 2074? Mm. Oh. Wow. It's going to be kind of close. Let's go back most of us won't be alive if we don't. Most of us won't have any memory left. <laughs> I wonder if Zoom will still be around. <laughs> oh, hi, Terry. I can see you here. Cool. Yeah, I'm late. That's okay. Um, all right, so here's where we are. You're late? I'm going to right over here. Several things, I would think. I, I mean, no. Yes. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. No. Vincent, Vincent, keep your mind out of the gutter. It means she arrived at a later point in time. After we've already made a team. Okay. Game 148, season three, episode 39 on the 26th of February. It must be somebody's holiday. Anybody's birthday this mean week? The 16th. The 16th, you mean? 16th. What did I say? 26. You said 26th. <laughs> Man, I, I could see being off by a day, but Susan, you had a ten. I don't know what's 26? going on over there. You it's said it. Misplaced. Mark, 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 Mark in the other room said. Are, are you future Susan? <laughs> Come to back to the past. I don't time know travel. I time she just travel pretends works. she doesn't like time travel. That's oh, why she pretends. Yeah. I have to it's a conspiracy. It. She's covering it up. So exactly. here's the teams. Here are the teams that are playing on game 148. So let's see which team. They're all equal right now. Everybody's at zero. Let's see. You're all tied right now for zero. So let's see who's going to win tonight. And let's let's get take our bets. Mark, y'all let me know what name you think it's going to be the one. Can any Americans here sing the Canadian national anthem versus 99 kaput balloons versus dead silence? <laughs> versus Las Vegas billboard, just like Jeffrey Epstein, this sign did not hang itself. Versus closing arguments, which is the winning team name, Mark? Which is the one that had dead in it? <laughs> <laughs> Las Vegas billboard, just like Jeffrey Epstein, this sign did not hang itself. No. Dead, silence. Dead, dead silence. 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 Okay, he's got his money's on dead silence tonight. He doesn't know whose team that is, but that's. He's calling as a winner, and he's well, he, psychic, he, you know. What, what, kind of, what kind, of odds are, kind of odds are we giving him? Yeah, I'm putting oh. my money on that team, too, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Terry, Terry, you just got to yeah, put on what the line. For, for, for entertainment purposes only, no wagering. Oh, yeah. Who, who <laughs> mentioned, oh. Who mentioned uh, uh, Raquel Welch? Um, who did it? Peggy. 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 <laughs> Peggy. She didn't make it into category titles this week. Did Mark do his wordle today? I'm going to bop you with the wordle. No, Stop. seriously, it's a good word for Mark. Oh, what is it? He's gone. Is it psychic? Yes, yes, it is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Just tell us what it is. Yeah, thanks That's for that. Oh, my middle name. Shut up already. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what? what is it with, the, with this game that you guys play that you could be ruined with just one person looking it up and blurting out the five letter word that is but you, I could, they, you know they I could have, do that to you guys they all have such it's the same reason lives. we don't cheat at trivia 
Well, because you'll get banned. <laughs> well, we'd get banned from Wordle too. Our friends would hate us. Well, I don't care about that, but you know, I can. I was already, I was already banned from Facebook. I don't want to be banned from this. <laughs> oh, all right, so here we go, you guys. We've got five challenges tonight, and I was banned from banned. And, and Zeke is in charge of the eat button. So, did you find it, Zeke? No, I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay. Also, okay. Christy came in and she needs to go on a team, and I don't know how to do that. Oh, hi, Christy. I will put Christy in one, two, three, four, one, two. Three, Short four, people. One, two, three, four, five. Baptism by fire, Zeke. You can do it. I'm, I'm like, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm smiling. I'm putting her in closing arguments. Okay. So, Zeke, you're, what you get to do is after the person who says their category, we all grow up with all upset about it, and you get to mute everybody. And it's up to you how you want to do it. Some people count to three. Some people just do it. Some people ban everybody like Carl did. Kyle did once. <laughs> that's, that's not recommended. <laughs> It, it, so nobody could unmute themselves. Was, I, I think Carl scary. and Kyle need to have a transporter accident like Tuvix and just merge <laughs> into one person since that'll make it easier on Susan. <laughs> Carl. Carl. I think Carl. Maybe, maybe Leonard had a transporter accident and merged with somebody from the next generation. That's maybe. Uh, I can't, figure, I can't yes. figure out how to do that. How to merge. Okay. <laughs> so the button she pushes is, um, where is it? It's in the participants. Market. You yep. the participants at the bottom of your screen. Uh huh. And then you should see an invite and a mute all button. I don't. Oh. At the bottom. Yay. Yes. It pops so, up a uh, separate. Uh, no, I, it says invite and copy invite link. Oh, that's you haven't. Have. Oh, oh, that's Click weird. the button participant. Okay, so the mute and all pop up will come up on your screen. Oh, the okay, now I have right? it over oh, there. Got it. Yeah, and that's mute all. And then the other thing that you have, the other requirement is make sure you let me know who's here if you let them in so I can put them somewhere. And then the other requirement you have is that if you have to, you mute us. And then what's the other thing she's going to do? Oh, she open and close the rooms. And you open and close the rooms by going to breakout rooms. And it says open all rooms. And then and if you and if you get a Zoom bomber, you kick them out to the lobby and leave them there. Oh, let me have you ever gotten a Zoom bomber? We had so much trouble at our pub meetups. No, we did at the very beginning of the for, pandemic for a while. But now they've got it all set up, so you shouldn't be able to do it. But anyway, let's get started because it's going to get late, and I don't want to have you East Coast people nagging me. All right. So Adrian is up first. Oh, I should say who's going to be playing tonight. Our team leaders are Adrian from Canada. <laughs> and uh, this category is going to be on maple syrup. Yep. Okay. And Karen. Karen from down the street. She's is she here. She's here, but I, I don't know if she can hear us. Doing and a Jane, musical all and about Jane, maple syrup songs. And Jane, Jane from Oregon. Karen, Karen's giving us a thumbs up, so she heard you. Okay, she heard us. Okay, and then there's Gail. Hello, Gail. She's got, looks like, I don't know what the heck that is back there behind her, but. I tried to find one this time that didn't give it away. Ooh. But it is scary. related. Art, art, directions. I don't know. And Robin is our bonus tonight. Okay, so go for it. All Adrian. right, I'm muting all. And my category is, you'll guess half of it, Canada versus the U.S. Ooh. Ooh. So hopefully it's fun. We haven't had that category before. So that's no, nice. there's a couple questions, though there's some overlap. I know we've had some similar questions, or if not the same, because I, you know, I want to see if you've learned. All right. <laughs> this is Canada versus US. We have yeah. not learned. <laughs> so the first one is which country has a larger land mass, excluding freshwater lakes? A, United States with a land mass of 9,147,593 uh, kilometers squared. And that's for you, Rob. Uh, B, Canada with a land mass of 9,093,507 kilometers squared. 
See, the United States with a land mass of 9,833,517 kilometers squared, or D, Canada with a land mass of 9,984,670 kilometers We get squared. to pick which one we want to be the right answer? Yeah. <laughs> There's only one right answer. Is there a plus minus on this? So you're saying <laughs> one of these is correct. The one of those is correct and the three others are not. Okay, all right. And you should be able to at least narrow it down to two. That's what I'm thinking. All right, number two. Because, you know, if I'm talking Canada versus the US, I definitely have to look at healthcare. And according to the website, Health System Tracker, and I looked at lots of different websites and they were very, all the numbers were very close to this. So I figure, you know, with a plus or minus, we should be good. So according to the website, Health System Tracker, healthcare consumption expend expenditures per capita per person, right? In US dollars, price per person adjusted for 2021 in the United States, states is what? Plus or minus 1,000. And, oh. So wait, wait, you wouldn't know how much they spend on? Per person. Per person. Yeah, well, how much does each person, can, like how much do they use the healthcare system? Like how much does it cost per person? In Canada. Does, that one's in the US. Oh, uh, is it, US. Does, that, does that include like insurance premiums that a family is paying? And then you divide it by number of people in a family? It, it varied from site to site. And it didn't seem to, to, um, to really matter that much. This is just an average cost per person <clears throat> determined, determining it, and a plus or minus 1,000. The second one, of course, is what is the same thing, plus or minus 1,000, oh, for Canada? <laughs> in, in you might be able to figure it out. Yeah, and in the plus or minus 1,000 should give you kind of an idea of, you know, what the numbers look like. I'm scared. <laughs> And what's really interesting is uh, I was going to do education as well, because, boy, that's that's an interesting one as well. But I found more interesting things about the difference between Canada and the U.S. According to the Canadian Wildlife Federation, <laughs> Canada has how many species species of venomous snakes? No plus or minus. <laughs> Must be one million. There you go. And this might help you, may not help you. I don't know. We'll see. Question number five. I'm hoping there's somebody, you know, for each type of question. Oh, I don't know why the number five didn't happen, but that is number five. Uh, I'll do it again just so there's to avoid confusion because I know people like their numbers. <laughs> Math. <laughs> Mathy person. Yeah, there we go. So there we go. Wikipedia states that about 30 species of venomous snakes exist in the United States. What is the largest of these venomous snakes? Does that include members of Congress? <laughs> Wonderful. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Number six. Both the United States and Canada have transcontinental railroads. The last spike was driven into the Canadian Pacific Railway line several years after the Golden Spike, which is also called the last spike to make it confusing, that was driven into the line that joined the U.S. Central Pacific Railroad and the Union Pacific Railroad. How many years later did the Canadian last spike get hammered in after the U.S. Golden Spike, plus or minus five years? Oh, well, we got a train person here who's going to be all all into this one mm -hmm. right bill well then they're going to really like this next one and this one is the one that has been asked i'm pretty sure before maybe not quite the same way but it's come up sometime name either the place that the canadian or the u.s last spike was driven in so you can either give the canadian place or the i should almost give a bonus but we can't get bonuses for the canadian one i've been to the canadian one i have not been to the u.s one Next one. For you mountaineering people, 
The Rocky Mountains are North American's largest uh, mountain system stretching from the northern, northernmost, northernmost point in British Columbia, Canada, down to New Mexico, United States. Name the highest mountain by elevation in the Rocky Mountain range. And this one, Thanksgiving in the U.S. is in November. What month is Thanksgiving in Canada? So another one that we've kind of talked about quite a bit. So we'll see, see how much people remember. That one might be too easy, but hey. And the last one is, was uh, really inspired by the Super Bowl. I'm not a huge football fan. Though my, I grew up in a family that watched it all the time. And when we were watching the Super Bowl, what the heck? Oh, yeah, I think that's it. Good. Okay. So while watching the Super Bowl this past weekend, we noted something that doesn't happen in Canadian CFL football. And CFL stands for Canadian Football League. When a kickoff or free kick happens in the NFL and the ball bounces or touches the ground in the end zone, the ball is deemed dead and the football is placed automatically at the 20-yard line for the opposing team. Now, I don't know if it really is the 20-yard line. That's what I found online on the NFL website rules. But uh, somebody, my husband was trying to say that it wasn't the 20-yard line, but some yard line, okay, it gets placed there. Uh, this happened repeatedly, I'm <laughs> sigh. <laughs> and this does not happen in the CFL or the Canadian Football League. If the opposing team cannot get the ball out of the end zone after a kick, other than a field goal attempt, what happens? Boy, Adrian, I am so happy you asked that 10th question because you know, <laughs> I know that's going to come up in a conversation I'm having with somebody. They're going to talk about how many Canadian friends I have. And I'm going to say, you know, there's a real difference between Canadians and Americans. And it's <laughs> to read this football so, game. Adrian, unless they've changed the rule, I don't believe that other than a field goal attempt is valid. I believe it is the same. Is the same. Did you no, just, this is this is like this is like the kickoff. You know when they run down. You know at the very beginning of the game when they do the big yeah, kickoff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, but I I looked it up on the CFL. Right. Rules, so. Alan, don't give anything away. I'm it's not giving anything. Up. I'm not giving anything away. I'll <laughs> and I'll check. I'll check with my baby brother later. Yeah, and I mean it's possible, but yeah, because uh, this was certainly something that um, when we watch the Grey Cup that we have seen happen occasionally. It doesn't happen very often, but it does make for an interesting game because you never get the sort of a ball bouncing down and stop set up usually you get uh, people running back and sometimes you get some very exciting plays that happen and i think that that rule but we'll have to tell you the back in so you can follow so something. i guess i could restate it what rule did it used to be if that was the case <laughs> but i'm pretty sure that it's still the rule uh, that was what i looked up on the cfl um i used nfl and cfl websites so unless i looked at outdated which is possible i did my best but um hopefully Somebody will come up with that. Any right. other questions? Let's go to our rooms. Who's sending them? Adrian? Oh, there we go. So let me put hey, the people in the rooms. Zeke figured it out. All right. I was Zeke. waiting for my cue. Nicely done. Very good. Good job, Zeke. Kevin, you uh, were going to go room five. It. I didn't uh, get it, Susan. Christy. Okay. Christy, you are going to, well, yeah, you. I had already been in the rooms. Chris, oh, room Terry, oh, yeah. you are going to room four. Have fun. All right. Thanks. And I get to go to the room that has the train person. So I'm excited. Yay. In the United States. Do, do, do you have a number, Bill, if you're going to do that? Uh, I don't have the numbers because uh, the. Number uh, seven. Okay. Seven. Yeah. Uh, we got the train guy. Woo hoo. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, Promontory Ridge, Utah. Yeah. And I, I cannot remember the Canadian one. Oh, hold on. We've got, I, I got Adrian here. All right, Adrian, you kick the ball through the end zone. If you're on the one yard line and all of you, and it's a tie game, it's the last play of the game. 
you want to kick, you, you, you'll put your punter in to punt the ball 10 miles out of the stadium and get that <laughs> single to get that single point. And it's the same th- And it's the same thing. If you kick, which I always thought was really stupid. If you kick a, if it used to be, you attempt the field goal, but at, they, they still, they still have somebody waiting for the ball in the end zone. And if he catches the ball and he can't get out of the end zone, he, he gives up a single point. It's the same, and it's whether it's on the whether it's on the field goal or a punt or whatever, unless he can catch it and return the kick, which is the most fun that you don't get in American football. And I don't know if you were talking about that, That's but you don't see that yeah. where, where yeah, you have you know, the guy comes ever. into the end zone and the guy gets the ball and he kicks it out, and then the guy catches it. He keeps saying he, 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 and, and the guy. And it's oh, but it's the single point is what you're getting at anyway. Okay. All right. No That's it. End of, end of lecture. <laughs> okay. So I'm not sure what was wrong with the question because, yeah. No, because you said accept, accept uh, on a kickoff or on a no, 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 no. field it goal. It is with a, a it's <sighs> the only exception is the, is the field goal. That it says right in the state and in the rules of of the thing that it, I wonder if they change that because it used to be that you if you missed your field goal the guy could run it out and if he didn't oh my get god out, we should uh, no, not even no sports categories no sports questions Susan from now on <laughs> well it doesn't matter it's a, I assume that the answer is a single point anyway what if they can I want to take this alligator and bite his head yeah. right below me but I can't do it he's so trying I, to nip at you Alan but he can't. I actually I still have a problem with number two because. Well, can't it's get very, out of the end zone. With, with, with the medical one. It's very important if you're talking about how much money I pay for my premiums versus how much I pay out of pocket if I go get medical services. That's a I don't have an answer, answer for that, Rob. So, but which is, which is this based on? If, if you don't know that, then there's no way I could possibly answer that. I mean, I might have oh said. Oh, my God. Somebody help me. Because <laughs> well, my premiums are like $15,000 a year, and maybe way. I don't pay anything. I was looking it. on multiple sites, and they all said the same thing. So they were obviously all basing it on the same thing. I there you go. Okay. Yeah. So somebody help us. What is the question we have an answer for? Uh, I don't I know nothing, about those but... things, Rob. I'm from Canada. Well, it must say on the site where they got it from. You better go, Adrian, because you're just causing trouble. Go. go. <laughs> She's like, I'm out of here. Bill, did you say you can't see the numbers on these or what? I can't see. Uh, the uh, My chat is cleared when we go into. Oh, okay. Well, then just let me know and I'll just give it to you. Here we go. Yeah, we can paste them back to you. I will give them back to you. Here. Okay, so which country has a larger land mass? Canada. Now, does that I, I the only the only reason my only hesitation is when you include Alaska. Alaska. Alaska doesn't make it big enough. Doesn't okay. So then we have to know by how big how big is it? All right. So well that's one question. So now it's quite a difference in the answer. So the Canada one is there nine you know. nine million and nine and almost ten million. So that's a big Well, difference. we don't know. There's two there's two answers there. I just said that. Yeah, it, so it's either B it's, or D. And, that's what I'm asking. Is it nine million or is it ten million? That's oh. the question now. I don't know. So why I would guess, why would anybody even know. know that? Why would anybody know this? That's why it's trivia. Carl. Okay, now you should be getting them. Is that right? Yeah. There you go. Enjoy. Are we gonna flip a coin for B or D? That's why I said. Flip well, a I'd go for I I I'd go for the larger one anyway. Yeah, but much larger. Larger people like the larger one? Yeah. All right. Let's go. One D. We got an answer. One D. Well, we got two. The other one for the uh, Utah play seven. So we have two answers. Yeah. All right. We're on a <sighs> roll. So number two, I complete. I don't know. I, yeah, I, don't, I don't even want to try two and I three. I said until 15. We, uh, I, I, no. I, I, if, it's, if it's averages across the country, maybe like 5,000. Again, what are you going by? How much premiums you pay? Well, no, 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 I'm, I'm just trying to think of what, pe- what people might be paying for their premiums. And I, it has but to be. She, with she didn't know the answer. Yeah, but I'm thinking of people so, who are you? paying for oral cancer right now that are paying like $20,000. So we know that the hell, the, the plus or minus is 1000 So that gives us something to go with. I yeah. would skip two and three and do those last because I All think right, we, got, we don't have a shot. Yeah, in let's go to the snakes. Right. Yeah. Yep, yep, How yep. would we know? Snakes. Okay. Question four. Okay. Question five says that there's six, 30 snakes in the United States. Okay. No, the lar- the largest is the Western Diamondback. 
Western, Western, Western Diamondback, I believe. Not the Sidewinder? Uh, huh? No, Sidewinder. Yeah, Sidewinder is not quite as large. There, okay. I believe there's there's one that lives in the desert in Arizona. It's a that might be larger than the Western Diamondback, but I'm not positive about that. So now, Canada Gail, has how many? Huh? Questions? It's too cold. It's too we, cold. So no, we jumped, no more. We jumped, I think it's two. Oh, we, we jumped. jumped he jumped, jumped to five. five. Okay, we so no, five. zero, one, four. or two. So okay, so four is according to the Canadian Wildlife Federation. Canada has how many species of venomous state, snakes? No I have no idea. No idea. And what it said there, there were how many in the states? 30? 30. 30, yeah. And so you don't, uh, would, would be, I because I guess the climate's so different, you wouldn't necessarily have the same snakes in both countries. I'm wondering no. if the answer is zero because it's too cold in their reptiles. I'm saying Jane said zero, and I agree with All her. Right, let's go with zero. Right. So she, doesn't need an, she doesn't even have a plus or minus on it. Yeah. Well, That's why I'm saying it's zero. For your health care thing, I did go and look it up. What did they uh, say? It, it does look like it does include things like the net cost right. of insurance. Sorry, say again? The net well, premiums, net the premium cost. costs. Okay, good. It says net cost of health insurance. Net. Okay, that probably includes premiums. Thank you. Okay. Let, let everybody know that. So, All right. All right. I'm, Question I'm six. What do you got there, Bill? Number wait, six. Wait, wait, did we skip five? The, 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 uh, yes, most, we already got five. You were already about something else. Western, Western Diamondback. Western, Western Diamondback. Diamond. Okay. Yeah, Thanks. what about the moccasins, though? Are, they're, no, any... that's, that's... they're not large, are they? I don't know. Well, I they call. Okay, the Western Diamondback can get uh, up to six feet in length. And I don't think any of the moccasin wow. uh, gets that long. Okay. It's only in my head that they do because I hate them. Okay. Well, they, uh, yeah. They don't like you either. Well, <laughs> good. Uh, as, if it was between me and them, they're mm, mm. the one thing I will. You got to carry a shovel with you. Okay. Question six. Bill, do you know this one? No pressure. Uh, this from my I'm, I'm, I'm thinking 1885. It says how many years later? I mean, yeah. okay, well, uh, 1869 was the American one. Uh, and I'm thinking 1885 is the Canadian one. So somebody do math very quick. That's 16 years. 16 okay. years. That's a pretty generous margin there. I so guess 20. If, so, okay. if your dates are reasonable on that, then we probably guess, got that one. that one. Okay, so we have. How do you, would you say what ridge in Utah? It's called promontory. promontory. How do you spell promontory? Doesn't matter. Just, just. Hey, right Siri, how do you spell promontory? Uh, hey, promontory. hey, Rocky Mountains, largest mountain oh. system stretching. Oh. Okay, got it. Oh. Thank you. Uh, highest mountain, highest okay, Rocky so Mountain. Eight. All right, you should know that, Bill. That's a Jeopardy question. What's the Four highest mountain? Is Rainier is Rainier the highest or no? It's that's not in the Rockies. In Washington. It's not. It's not because of the Rockies. Cascades. No, Cascades. it's in the Cascades. Yeah. yeah. Um. Was, I think this was in, in Canada. Um. It says, I think it probably has to be. That's why it's all Canadian. They, they don't want to hike. They want the name of it. Would you say Jane? She said a number. I thought yeah. we were elevation. On eight, no. It wants to no. know the name of the mountain. Name the highest mountain. What it says. Name it any can, mountain. I can't name Kennedy? any. Red Mountain. What did she say? Bali. Red Mount Bali. Bali. I don't know. I don't know. I think, hmm. you know, the Rockies are much higher in Colorado than they are in Canada. Are they? Yes. And the passes, We well, we lived in Montana, and the passes weren't very high. I mean, they were like 5,000 feet, you know, but Red anyway. Mountain, the pass at Red Mountain is almost 10,000 feet. So what does by elevation mean? Is they talking about difference from from the ground or do they mean how high above sea level when you say by elevation? 
I would probably be that's from that's C level. That C-level. would be C. Be C yeah. level. Everyone's talking at the same time. C level, I think. C level, yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, so we don't know this one. Nope. Okay. Um, nine is October. Yeah, I, she's always talking that's about it before ours, so that that's I what I figured that one. We have a point. <laughs> I think we got some more than that. I have no idea about 10. I don't want to touch it again. Oh, uh, I don't even go there. Well, okay, there so Mount, I hang on. I try to remember if there was a Mount McKenzie. I don't know why I'm thinking there's a Mount McKenzie. And sounds good. Well, it's a good, it's a nice Canadian name anyway, but uh, McKenzie. Okay. Sure. Why not? Okay. Um, yeah, I don't even understand the question. The football one. So, okay, go back to the. So now, all right, so we got to guess dollars for. Um, U.S. and Canadian. 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 What was what was the number ten? What was that um, something gate with uh, Tom Brady? The flight gate. Yeah, inflate gate. Nothing to do. Nothing to do with that. Oh, okay. I'm gonna re I gotta read this oh, this question here, so I'll make sure we're getting the right answer okay, here. Good. Good person. Oh my God! Now we're gonna get that one. Okay, so the team that the team that are you, kicked, are you back to ten? I'm at ten. The oh. team that kicked the ball. Just give us an answer. We don't care. Wait, about no. The t oh, you get a single point. Okay, a point. You get a, a point. A point. What? If the and opposing team will not get the ball up. out of the end zone after a kick, they give them a point. You, you get rewarded for a bad kick. Oh, that's bizarre. Okay. Okay, so go. Let's go to the people. people. They're Canadian. They're nice. <laughs> <laughs> you totally effed up. Here's the point. Because we don't want to be Canadian. Yeah, Carolyn. Okay. Oh, give them a dollar. Yeah. All right. So I I got to back up on number four. Number okay. four. You think there's a snake? Yeah. One. Four of them. Yeah, I can't believe that would, there would be no no poisonous snake. Okay. What, so the what for, four. How'd you come okay. up with four? How did you remember that or come up? Uh, with okay, uh, it was wasn't a, it. That's a guess. Uh, it's got to be. It can't be very many, but I there's definitely more than one, and I'm just actually I'm throwing four out as a wag. You don't think Cannon would have thirty of their own? Oh, heavens no, not that yeah, part. Because we have deserts down here, and I don't know if they have. I mean, reptiles don't do very How's well. How's everybody doing? When it gets oh, below reptiles freedom. don't do well in cold. Yeah, when it gets below Okay, freedom. I lived in upstate New York, let me tell you. The snakes? Other snakes? Oh, my God, yes. Which is why I'm so there. glad that I don't live on a farm anymore. Uh Venomous, and ones. they don't, and the the snakes mm. don't have passports, so they can't get into Canada. That's true, because <laughs> again, they're nice. They're Canadians. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, go back to the healthcare. Now we're gonna take a wag at this per yeah, person. I don't. Wow. I don't think we're. I don't think we're talking That's twenty thousand dollars for the average. The average American. Not the average. No. But it's a lot more than it's, it's a lot because I mean, if you're thinking of people who have to pay like for oral cancer medication, their co pays are 20,000. Just yeah. co pay. Wow. wow. And I know that because I have a friend going through that right now. Well, could we not just put down too much? <laughs> <laughs> So, so that's why think, I okay. guess I, I guessed like around between ten and fifteen thousand is what I guessed. Oh, it's much higher than that. Okay, so let's say sixteen, eighteen, twenty-five. Uh, now they're okay. Now do you how where do yeah. where do people who do not who do not have health care cover who do not have coverage okay. and are uh do they where do they fit in on this? I guess they have to pay I, out of okay. their pockets. I don't know. If, I don't know how much it would have cost because it was taken care of by uh, Medi-Cal. But when I had a DVT many years ago, I didn't have insurance, and the numbers that I saw for my stay in the hospital were over three hundred thousand dollars. 
Yeah, my uh, open heart surgery was over $75,000 and I had to pay, it took me five years just to pay the um, co-payments off of it for my, just my part. You're frightening me. Oh, and that was 20, almost 26 years ago now. Your cat doesn't like it. Yeah. Mm, Is like your anything. top or Carolyn's? That one's his. Mine's mine's probably destroying. Back some in the forest mine. somewhere. Carolyn's mm -hmm. is in the forest. So what do you want to put, you guys? Number two. Give me a number. I guess. I guess fifteen thousand. So whatever anybody else wants to say, I don't know. It was a guess. I'd say I close. Have... I'd say closer to twenty thousand. Okay, we got plus or minus. Plus or minus one thousand. So until I went on Medicaid, my premiums were for the largest defense company in the world, for me and my wife, were something close to twenty thousand or twenty five thousand a year. Just get out of here. Really? Oh, yes. So split between us, there's two in the family, so that would have been twelve ish. That's just to pay the premiums, not if we actually need medical services and need to pay copay, deductibles, yada yada yada. So now it, it can it. Because it's per capita, it, it gets confusing because if you have children, because they always want people to have children for some reason, it's a less it's less price to pay for health care. So yeah, for <laughs> one person if one person it was twenty like, ten thousand dollars. For two people, it's twenty. But then if you have a family of twenty kids, it's twenty five. They hardly add anything else for the kids. It's weird. So, you know, and that would be you know, seven other people in the family. So I don't know how to do this. Yeah. When I was on Cobra between uh when I retired and my insurance, it was like $1,500 a month for a premium. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm still paying something like that. Yeah. Kills me because I earmarked a article the other night just talking about this very thing and yeah. bookmarked it for later reading. And did I read it? No, of course I didn't. <laughs> oh, oh, Cobra, well, Cobra is insane. Cobra is, Cobra is just crazy. Yeah. You know? it is. But the only thing is, is she's only giving us a $1,000 Plus or uh, plus or minus, <sighs> I'm thinking that the number probably is not as high as we think. I agree. I bet you it's under twenty. I mean, you can't just think about the few people, the, the people you know who are spending fortunes. Right. They're probably oh my God, really like people who won't. Okay, so Give me warning. So, I would my, my my inclination is really to go to ten or fifteen at the max. Let's okay, let's 15. say sixteen. Let's do fifteen. Sixteen. 16. Whatever. 16. And then what are we doing for Canada? Half of that. Half, yeah. of, it. Half of it? Go D, yeah. Canada. They, yeah. They, they, they still have to pay. How they still have snakes? to pay. So, so, how many snakes, Bill, did you think was in Canada? Four. Four? Okay. And I got to rethink the largest in uh, the West Diamondback. The U.S. is the Western Eastern Diamondback. Diamondback, not the Western. Eastern Diamondback, you guys. Eastern? Okay. Now's the time to let us know. There's two Diamondbacks, Eastern. Oh, <laughs> one that, oh, did you say, oh, darn, it's not close enough. All right, somebody oh, want to read through the answers? No, we got them. Oh, oh right, but I, we oops, can't open we, a book. So if we can look at a book, we just can't open the book. You can look at the Are we changing book. the Diamondback? Are we... Are yeah, we changing the Diamondback? Diamondback. Eastern, Please Eastern change Diamondback. Diamondback to Eastern Diamondback. All right. So 42 seconds. We have D, 16K, 8K, 4, Eastern Diamondback. 16, mm -hmm. Promontory Ridge, uh, Mackenzie, October, and one point. Which is what we're going to get. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be the Canadian uh, uh, Thanksgiving. Oh, I can I'm go for some Thanksgiving. That Doesn't that sound good with some stuffing and mashed potatoes and gravy right now <laughs> that would be nice yeah it sounds good i just want the pie the pie carolyn the most pie, time pie i see snakes here up. is when the pool is open and i and i open the skimmers and there's a dead snake in the skimmer uh, thank you for that <laughs> good job team all that was hard adrian and you're right alan it also happens on a missed field goal that was that was hard. I couldn't. Yes, answer. thank you. And you're thank Canadian, you. Vincent. You were supposed to be the ringer in your group. Oh, well, well. those are hard questions. 
I always, I, I always laugh because my husband goes, oh, these are way too easy because you know, he knows a lot of this stuff. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, everyone's going to find them hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, speaking as somebody who, who hardly watches sports at all, that, that last one was, was left me totally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I try and mix it up so there's a mix of lots of different ones. No, that's good so. because Adrian, there's no motion squirrel questions. Why not? Adrian, we're feeding your questions into chat GBT to see if it can answer them. <laughs> <laughs> you have to let me know how it does you figured out one. number one Ooh. that's awesome <laughs> so let's get something. on with it then okay um, what do you got let's go eh <laughs> let's go eh yeah 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 <laughs> watch out for the do, 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 do. sorry i got it so this one's i thought was really interesting because i grew up thinking that Canada was bigger than the U.S., which it is if you include the lakes. Right. So the answer is A. With a. A. Well, of course it's A. 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 GPT yeah. got question one yeah. wrong. Every yeah. answer is yeah. going to be yeah. A. Cat yeah. GPT should get be. most questions wrong. Yeah. yeah. So this yeah. is it this is straight off of Wikipedia, and I also found it on several other sources. And basic, if you. It, Apparently, according to Wikipedia, Canada has 17 of the world's 40 largest freshwater lakes, which is what makes it smaller than the United States. In fact, it goes quite, it drops down below lots of countries, actually. Uh, if I think four or five of them, it ends up going down quite a few places. But, but if you include the lakes, the largest countries by area are Russia, Antarctica, Canada, China, and then the United States. Of course, Antarctica is not a country. Oh, yeah. That's weird. Uh, oh, I said that? country. I said country. That's my fault. That was my mistake. Right. Not Wikipedia's fault. Don't tell me it was Wikipedia. No, no. Wikipedia was talking about uh, Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So this one here, the answer is 12,914. A lot of people were a lot higher than this, but I love there was one group who said, let's multiply it by the population of the US and see if it makes sense. And I thought that was brilliant. Did it work? And plus or minus, so it's 11, between 11,914 to 13,914. What's also interesting is the numbers went way up, not in 2021, but 2022. Because of COVID? Yeah. And I thought 2021 would have, it did go up in 2021, for sure. But not as much. It really, like it, some of the stats, not all the stats are in yet for all the countries. And they're still gathering data. Apparently, it's quite a mess. And they were they were anticipating for Canada that the numbers were going to actually double. Uh, Probably because of long COVID. Yeah, maybe. So for Canada, it's 5,905. Wow. Oh, and, and we figured we figured it'd be half. <laughs> yeah. Nice half. Yeah, it's basically half. Oop. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. What was the what was the range again? Plus or minus a thousand? Plus or minus a yeah. thousand. Yeah. So you can see it in the brackets there between four thousand nine hundred and five to six thousand six hundred and five. Okay. So it might not have been a big enough range, but I was thinking the numbers are quite low, so lower than people I, uh, might think. Oh, I, so I don't know if anybody got this one. People thought I was being tricky. That there are no snakes in Canada. No, there are. There's three. There's oh, three. We got we got oh, four. Come on. Oh, hey, come it. on. There well, I've seen it by season. that much. Do we get a plus or minus one on this one? <laughs> <laughs> Canada may yeah, have three species of snakes, but how many of them are venomous? Just three. Just three. Oh no, yeah. we've got lots, we've got tons of snakes. There's garter snakes and bull um what are the bull snakes and we got lots of snakes. snakes. But oh, Venom has only got three. Men are naked. Oh, okay. My guess was two. Okay. Yeah, you're close. Yeah. Yep. Like I like I know there's the rattlesnake. I've I, I, I've seen one down around uh, Milk River area. Yeah. And yeah, but there's more than one kind of rattlesnake. Yep. All there's three of those are rattling. Or two here. Two here. Uh, uh, both both of them. Isn't the copperhead somewhere? Uh, Adrian, isn't the <laughs> copperhead somewhere in southern, southern Ontario? Not that I found, no. We got the right one. Good job. Number five is Eastern Diamondback. You have to be you have to be specific on all three parts, huh? Rattlesnake doesn't cut it. No, we got Eastern Diamondback. What about Diamondback? Nope. 
Eastern <laughs> Diamondback. Because there's a Western one. <laughs> Carolyn, it's not going to sleep tonight. 34 pounds. Wow. I know. I'll cuddle up next to you, Carolyn, and just cuddle oh, up and eat your kids. No, no. 34 freaking. I guys. actually shot a couple snakes when I was living in upstate New York. Wow. I... <laughs> you shot them? Yeah. Hi, Deborah. Hello. I like Deborah's voice. He's the deputy. All right. The next one. That's true. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being fairly generous with this next one. So those of you who are really mathematical, I've stretched the mathematical generosity a little here because it's actually 15 and a half years. So I round it down to 11 and round it up to 22. I know you're not supposed to round down, but I did. So it was 16 and a half? It was 16 and a half hey, years. Bill got that one. So got between it. 11 and 22 job, years. Bill. Well, we guessed 15. That's good. Oh, oh that's okay. really good. Now we're score. We're up to a score of one. Oh no! <laughs> uh oh, lighthouses. <laughs> Maybe you'll well, learn you've something. Beat, you've already beat lighthouse. Oh, <laughs> there we go. All right. Now, so name either place where the last spike was driven in, and in in Canada, it's in British Columbia, and it's called oh, Craigalachie. Craig Alachi. I've it's been there. It's easy for you to say. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, be, be, that should be in Scotland, not Canada. Maybe Scottish That's Columbia. True, Scottish yeah. Columbia. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Probably it's Liberace. Yeah. Liberace. Probably the name of a Scotch. And of yeah. course, in the U.S., it's in Promontory. Uh, Promontory Summit. Hey, Bill, Promontory. he knew it. Yeah. In, in the Utah Territory. He knew yeah. exactly where it was. Yeah. Well, of course. Uh, well, well, somebody on the CPR board of director was from Scotland, so that's where you get the Scottish name for it. Oh. Oh. Uh, uh, all right. We said Provo, so I think we were wrong. It's probably near Provo. Provo. Uh, so the next Provo. one for the Rocky Mountains, I don't know if anybody got this. It's Mount Elbert in Colorado. I know some people said it would be in Colorado. And if you look at prominence, I've always thought that the Rockies in Canada were much taller because there's just more of the peak showing, if you know what I'm saying. The prominence measures the lowest valley to the highest peak versus the elevation, which is like sea level to the, the peak. And uh, Mount Robson then would win in that case. Bob, the you answer all that noise? is Mount Albert. Does and Colorado Rocky McKinsey, Mountain High? Is that right? uh, <laughs> <laughs> we have a spelling problem, but we knew what it was. Yeah, we spelled it M C K E N Z I. Yeah. <laughs> right? Right, right. And it's interesting. They're nice in Canada. Yeah, there we go. Why do people say Canadians are so nice? You know, that's the kind of question I expect. Yeah, Why are Canadians so nice and Americans so rude? You know? <laughs> Did you like that uh, thing that I got from the Microsoft help guy? That was so funny. I posted it he in said, my Oh, class. Canadians are so nice. Yeah. He, he, you know, I'm, I'm thanking him for he's going, I'm going to do this. I go, thank you. And I'm going to do this and thank you. And he says, well, don't thank me yet. I haven't fixed your problem. And then later on, I went, thank you again, just because I was being cheeky. And then he says, are you Canadian? And I went, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that was pretty fun. All right. The last one. The, because how much yeah, because the it <laughs> so for this one it, it's stated in the rules oh, what, happened in nine. 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 what happened in nine. nine? Oh, did i forget nine? Oh, oh we all know it's october oh, you all know yeah, it's save october. it for october yeah i'll put it in the chat sorry i just don't know how to count apparently so, uh, so, count on adrian, yeah, count on adrian. Canadian count. Halloween. in canada nine comes after ten <laughs> <laughs> That would explain, There's another that explains so much. That explains actually the next one, maybe too. Uh, so question oh, 10, what happens if you, you know, you're, they do an amazing, our, our, um, in the CFL, the, the length of the field is 10 yards longer. So it's very rare that it actually, the ball ends up in the end zone on an initial kickoff. But and it because does it's cold, the air is denser. So it's hard to kick it that far. <laughs> <laughs> also, the end zone is 10, is 15 yards deeper. It's, it said, according to this, is 10 yards deeper. No, the, the field itself is, right. is 10 yards, and then the end yes. zone is an additional 15 gotcha. yards. It is, yeah. All I know is that Alan a lot harder. got it right. But I, I, need, I need clarification. Um, we said that the that 
it was it would be similar to the NFL's safety and that points that some point or points would be scored. We didn't know how many. If we indicated that, you know, it, it was a scoring situation of, of points. Do I get credit for that? I'm Do I have to say it's yes. one point? No, yes, because we got it right. No. no. So there's also, we said one there's, point. There's, there's, all, there's also the matter of this past season on a trial basis, they were bringing the ball out to the 25 yard line, not the 20. Yes. Right. But, yeah. I, and I did discuss that uh, when I was talking about it, that my husband was talking about the 25 yard line, but mm. I put in what I found in the rule sheet from the page uh -huh. of the NFL. And I may have had an outdated page. That's and and in the about. NFL, thanks to changes in rules, they almost never bother running it out of the end zone anymore. Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh and my that, God. Can we end this? It can happen with uh, the Canadian Please. Football League. It's it, the, the, the player kicks the opposing team it goes bounces into the end zone and they know that they, they have to pick it up and run with it because if they don't they're going to give up a point so they run and then they run sometimes they'll run all the way down to the other end and score a touchdown so it's pretty exciting yeah. oh it gets better because they'll go into kicking contests where the team yes, they that receives the ball will kick the ball out and yeah. then the team that receives it will kick it back in <laughs> And I've seen this go back and forth. You're, you're just all pushing Susan friendliness. to make a new rule. No sports questions. <laughs> Keep going on. So stop it. Write it down right now. Okay. There you go. No football questions. Okay, here we go. Good job. Adrian. This is the scary part. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Hope you learned something though. Closing arguments. Two. How many points? Two. Ooh. All right. We beat someone. <laughs> you're in the lead. <laughs> All right, just like Jeffrey Epstein, the sign did not hang itself. Three. Three. All right, you're in the lead. Dead silence. Uh, I show six. Wow. Yep. Is that what you have, Carl? I'm pretty good about it now. <laughs> <laughs> it's not 10 from Carl's team. <laughs> 99 put balloons. Four. And can Americans sing the Canadian national anthem? Adrian's own team. I believe it's five. five. Way to go, team. It didn't sink <laughs> us. Four points is average. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Scary. There's too many numbers. There's like a math thing or something. I don't know. <laughs> Was this lighthouse worthy? Consider no, no, no. Not, not even close. close. Oh. No, no. Okay. I not missed that total. One. The total number of points is in the double digits. <laughs> <laughs> Average four four. That's good. It's not. And even we had fun. Bunch of but, fun. The, but the lighthouse, the lighthouse Thank one had Carl. nice pictures. Though. They were nice yeah, pictures. The lighthouse one. Had. The team, the team with the most points will be dead silent on the matter. So. Oh. <laughs> hey, Vincent. Hey, you know, remember, Mark said that's going to be the winner, just based on. Yeah. Or don't forget that, you know. Okay, no so we have Karen. Karen, where are you, Karen? I can't find you. Karen, I can't find Karen. Where are you? Oh, there's Hi, Karen. Hi, Karen. Hi, Karen. Hey, Karen and everybody else who's in within the vicinity of my voice, if I was to go outside and scream, Richard's going to be here next week. Nice. So, so we got to get together. Go do something. But he's going to be here like when I'm going to pick him up on Tuesday and drop him off on Thursday. So something on Wednesday. Or if you want to drive up with me on Tuesday and pick him up in San Jose. Just saying. Okay. Karen, it's your turn. Okay. Um, this week we had Valentine's Day. And as a singleton, I appreciate that not all cultures limit it to one's sweetie lover, you know, partner in that regard. So this week's this category is, if I can simply cut and paste it, which should be a simple thing, right? The category is, oh, there goes the three key. <laughs> Video went a little Max Headroom there. I say, yeah. <laughs> okay. The category is 12 Valentine's Day traditions from around the world. Not everyone celebrates with red roses, heart shaped chocolates, and love letters. Not that there's anything wrong with those. All of those are just dandy. Okay. And All right. Let, let, I'm, I'm going to mute everyone. Well, not quite. Not yet. No. 
not yet, please. Okay. Please no, not yet. So as an example, I want to let you know that you're going to be given 12 countries and 12 traditions as noted by NBC's Today Shows. So there are 12 matches to be made, but only 10 maximum will be awarded, right? We, I do that. So if you get one wrong, you don't. Uh, I think Gail was the one that modeled this one time to make sure you have a, a good chance at getting 10. And uh, the way I will state them is this way, such as number 68 is Canada. Oh, uh, a loony liver pate facial, right? <laughs> so 68 is, oh, that's an example. Um, so now you can mute it. All righty. Mm -hmm. She's learned how to mute everybody and she is going to enjoy it. Unmute myself. Okay, so I will, I will give you the list of one through 12 here, countries and nations. And they are aquí and they, oh, dang, the numbers didn't come. Okay, I will quickly put them in. Okay, is one Czech Republic, two Denmark, three England, four France, five Germany, six Mexico, seven Philippines, eight Japan, nine South Africa, 10 South Korea, 11 Taiwan, 12 Italy, and I'm going to hit, there we go. All righty. So, and then you are going to match them with these traditions. I'll try two at a time, understanding that sometimes the you can't put them all at once, right? Okay, A, chocolate is the way to celebrate Valentine's Day in this nation. If someone is really into you, you'll get homemade choco, true love chocolates. But if you're a friend or relative, you'll enjoy giddy choco, obligatory chocolate instead. <laughs> Uh, B. Uh, obligatory chocolate. <laughs> yeah, obligatory chocolate. Oh. Um, uh, B. This nation celebrates a festival. Are you going to put it in the chat? This net. Yes, I'm going to put them in two at a time. This nation celebrates a festival in commemoration of uh, Juno, the goddess of women and marriage. A common gift to romantic partners is Perugina Bachi, um, uh, chocolate candies with a hazelnut or sweet cherry center uh, covered with wrappers with a poetic sentiment isn't that lovely okay and then uh, c and d are going back here c is uh well that's d where's c c flowers as a token of love here is an understatement men give huge bouquets to their loves on february 14th and again on july 7th if you receive a receive a bouquet with exactly 108 roses someone is asking you to marry them Oh, D, D, here women gift their men with chocolate. The men respond in kind a month later, huh, on white day. Singles are given their day, oh, yay, on April 14th. Well, it's known as Black Day when uncoupled <laughs> folks brood over or celebrate their single status with a bowl of Jianjiang Mignon, noodles in a black bean sauce. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, <laughs> just Black. see some woman getting a bouquet of roses and sitting there freakingly trying to count if there was 108 of them yeah and that oh, some cruel God. person that's giving her 107 <laughs> <laughs> okay so then uh e and f here okay e celebrate in this country uh and uh you'll be regaled by children singing little crooners get candy fruit or money some trade valentine Valentine buns, also known as plum shuttles, baked with raisins, plums, or caraway seeds. F. Valentine's Day is celebrated as the Day of Love, May 1st, instead of February 14th, and couples visit a statue of po poet Karl Heinek Macha, situated near a cherry tree grove, and lovers kiss under the boughs of the cherry trees for good luck. And, oh. I'll, be and I'll bet you there are people that just hang out there and, you know say i hope you get lucky or something like that um you think they um, say it yeah yeah like that and they would not be successful and i have to turn off my crazy video okay g this is considered one of the most romantic destinations on the planet especially its capital city 
that uh, I'm sorry for any typos, regardless of the day of the year. On February 14th, lovers trade letters or cards and give gifts. H, couples here exchange pig-shaped gifts on Valentine's Day, as a pig is the symbol of both love and lust. <laughs> It's common to give and receive pig statues or stuffed animals, as well as ginger cookies featuring lovely phrases in icing. Isn't that nice? Lovely. That's, it's just yeah, lovely, that, darling. Lovely. That's nice. But lovely. pigs. Yeah. Pig statues. Oh, piggy statues. Little piggies. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do they do. fly? <laughs> Four more. I. I, yeah, 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 yeah. Here's I. I is, and hopefully there are little hints in here that will, you know, but will help you. You don't have to, you know, you could figure it out. You could figure this out. The love fest here is El Dia del Amor y Amistad, which translates to the day of love and friendship, where everyone, regardless of their relationship, can celebrate with flowers, cards, stuffed animals, and more. J, couples, friends, and members swap lover's cards, which range from touching to hilarious. This is an interesting tradition. They might send an anonymous joke letter. The signature is written only using dots, and it's called a geikenbrief. The letter features intricate paper cutouts and a short poem or message. And if the recipient of the geikenbrief, which translates to snowdrop letter, guesses the identity of the sender, they are owed an egg on Easter. And it works the other way too. If they guess incorrectly, they must give the sender an Easter egg. So, you know, this is good for stalkers because there's a commitment, a social commitment there. So you're going, you're going to be in touch again. So that's a little creepy, but anyway, um, boy, you'd be rude. Okay. Two more, two more, and feel free to incorporate these into your next year's uh, giving. Oh yes, of course. I'm okay. Gonna pick pigs. Okay. Some pressure to say the least. If you're dating someone here on Valentine's Day, the government hosts a huge marriage ceremony on Moss so hundreds of lovebirds can tie the knot. Um, L, there are not many secret admirers in this country, which celebrates on February 15th in honor of the Roman festival uh, Lupercalia. Some women wear their heart on their sleeves, or rather they write the name of the object of their affection on a slip of paper and they pin it there. Okay. Uh, that is that was L, right? Mm -hmm. So that's that's the end. So those are your twelve nations and twelve varying traditions. So so Karen, do most nations have a Valentine's Day thing, and it's almost always in February? Is that kind uh, of common? well? At least twelve do, and some lists were like eight or seven. Uh, this was the largest list that I found, but I didn't look up just on wikipedia valentine's day how many nations celebrate valentine's day right so karen is this like we have two bonuses or do we have to pick 10 and not give you all 12 right you must you must make 10 matches you only okay. get 10 uh 10 matches um and uh but many of them like half of these aren't even on the 14th so okie dokie artichoke so yes pick your 10 pick your 10 all right it's good job see you later alligators yeah. I'm gonna send you to your rooms. That's that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, somebody already did it. Okay, All thank right. you. Bye. Thank you, Zeke. I love this one. It has clues. I'm confident on one of them. Oh. I was sort of trying to make some guesses based on the uh what life oh, yeah. sounds like before the uh, uh sure. Mm -hmm. There's definitely some we can get from languages. Oh yeah. Yep. Okay, Juno, goddess of love and marriage, but Lupercalia. Huh. Well, I'm pretty That's confident. Hey, is Japan? Is that the noodle one? No, that's what? the one where they hold mass marriages. Oh, interesting. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think I've heard that You're too. You muted, Susan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, no wonder when I said hello to everybody, you didn't respond. Hello, <laughs> team. Hi. Because <laughs> they'll all get in one big large room and wear wedding dresses and such and get married in mass. It's, okay, it's so really that's a question. That's question eight. Yeah, eight is K is pretty confident. The noodle one um, D. Uh, another. Sorry, go ahead. 
I would say, do you want to go down the line by alphabet or by number on the ones we're really certain about? I would, we can go down by number. I think, or it doesn't matter. I don't think it matters. Random. I think G, I think is France. Right, Kyle, you were saying about D? Uh, D, I believe, is South Korea. That word, Jajimong, looks yep, Korean I agree. plus the black bean. And I think I have I some black bean noodle sauce down there. <laughs> Delicious. Got that on there. Yeah, another giveaway on language. I had B for Italy, 12, 12B. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, just that the, just there's another one where there's something about Lupercalia, the Roman festival. So that would have gotten to. Uh, uh, OK, so we've got. Uh, B with Juno, the goddess of women of marriage, that which is the Roman thing. And then there was another one down near the bottom about uh, Lupercalia. Mm hmm. Uh, which is, uh, of course, another Roman fest, another Roman thing. So, right. The, uh, the reason that I'm going with Italy B was the B having the word, um, where is it? Perugina Machi. Machi chocolates. Yeah. 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 That's pushing me over on Italy on that one. Uh, so, also, the. Um, the other, the only one that contains Spanish, put I on Mexico. I was Six. wondering if that might be the Philippines. Oh. Um, Romero, what do you think? Could, I think that would be I've it. never heard of that, but I mean, it's a Spanish, it's the only Spanish speaking El country. Del amor de y Which is amistad? day of love and amistad is friendship, right? Yeah. Now, yeah. Now, Gek and Brev, uh, Jay, I mean, that, that, is, that sounds like maybe I German so. or maybe uh, one of the uh, Slavic languages. Are we, yeah. for I? Or do are, are we doing I for Mexico? Yeah. I vote yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think France is a giveaway for G. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and... Uh, uh, okay, I'm just looking at J being the, the Gick and Brev, and I'm thinking what that sounds possibly Slavic, possibly Germanic. Yeah, it's it's Which definitely one? European, but I don't one? know. It would be German. What's to... number one and two on the list? As we have Czech, Czech Republic and Denmark as one and two, okay. oh, but okay. I have other answers that could work for them, so I'm not confident but it does that that clue for jay does sound very european yeah yeah i was thinking possibly a germanic language possibly a slavic oh, language yeah. what do you I think kind about of put, uh, uh, well which one are we looking at jay okay i was okay i was looking L. What do you think about H for Taiwan? Pig shaped Taiwan. gifts and the yeah. uh, ginger cookies. That would make sense, I would think, because aren't. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Wait, what did I write? What did I. Get? Unfortunately, Jamie's not here today. Yeah. Ginger cookies yeah. scream Asian to me. And yeah. the pig thing with the calendar and all that. Yeah, yeah, Philippines. And, and okay. while, yeah. yeah. While we're while we're at it, do we think A for Philippines? I don't know. Yeah, sure. Probably. I'm feeling what did I feel strongly about? I don't know why I felt L for Germany. Why did I think that? Let's see. Oh, it was the other Roman festival. Yeah. I was just placing oh, it. Okay. I yeah. Well, let's see. Within I, the Roman Empire. <laughs> I, yeah. I just mm -hmm. thinking Roman festival, uh, it'd be probably, so yeah, some, so it'd probably be... someone somewhere that speaks a romance languages language. So all we're left with is Czech, Denmark, England, Germany. And as possible. Think, I'm thinking Denmark maybe for F, like Karol Heinick Macha sounds kind of Dutch. 
That's what I had to, mm -hmm. but as a good guess, not as a confidant. Oh yeah. Yeah, that yeah, F for F for Czech. Okay. Uh, Oh no, F for, F yeah, for Denmark. Dutch. Yeah, Denmark. Denmark. Oh. Uh And we'd okay. only Oh. need to guess one more because we've got Okay, one. that uh Or five two more. Carol Heineck Matcha. I bet you he that sounds is more uh like a England. Slavic name than a than a Germanic name. Somebody said they thought it sounded Dutch. Yeah, Heineck uh, is kind of Dutch to my ears, too. Mm -hmm. I think E is for England. Yeah, that sounds like England. With the It's race. England or Czech Republic with those fruits. But someone else was thinking Czech Republic could have been J as well. So, yeah. Okay, got those the are tough ones. I would say J is probably Germany, the Gackenbrev. Yeah, when you say it like that, it sounds, I think you're right. Which number, which letter was, did you J. think Germany? J, five. Okay. And the Easter tie-in. I, I have it in my head that like Easter egg painting comes from Germany. Mm, maybe. Can you go down to the J clue again? Yep, it's right here. Oh, there it is. And L probably is Czech Republic. Hmm. I can't believe it. Czech because because it's the other Roman festival. G A E. Okay. Okay. Well, the okay. Well, the the Roman Lupercalia festival was sort of mid February, and then the martyrdom of Saint Valentine happened to be at the same time. So, okay, that that bit I just got from. Uh, the uh, skeptoid uh, episode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so do we want to put Lupercalia in for a check? Sure. Yeah. I don't know. I guess I, I guess I'd put the Lupercalia. I, I think Lupercalia stuff would go with uh, some place that was in the Roman Empire, especially the the Western part that was more like Czech Republic. <laughs> well, West. Well, okay. Well. I don't know. Yeah. Philippine. No. Yeah. Did we pick something for Philippines? I was thinking A. <clears throat> yeah. One made choco. Giri choco. Giri choco. I almost, yeah. I almost want to put that on Giri South Africa. Japanese. Yeah. Could be South Africa. The flower no. thing for South Africa. Well, hold on, hold on. Is it the Philippines that has the massive weddings or is it Japan? Japan. Oh, and we can only pick 10, right? No, you yeah. can pick all 12. We'll only oh. get 10 points. Okay. So I that leaves so that right. E. Or but if on. we, so we, we're not flowers. submitting 10, we submit 12. We so submit everyone has. She she said pick twelve you get points for ten right ones, maximum. She didn't say only pick tw ten. Well, there's two bonus. Well, that wasn't how I no, that you you can do all twelve. Yeah. But you only get credit for ten. Or yeah. You do just. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we could. Of course, we could all. Uh, we can the... ask Karen right now since she's here. Mm -hmm. Can we do all twelve and just give ourselves credit for ten? So uh, thank you for asking. I was just coming in to reiterate the answer. There are 12 correct answers. You must commit to 10 and only those 10. Mm -hmm. So if you eliminate two and it turns out you were right about them and wrong about the others, you don't get the point. The reason why there's not just 10 with the matching is because if you're wrong on one, it automat you automatically lose two points. So I did, I chose 12, but you must commit we to 10. We have to 10. choose our two weakest. We have to choose our two weakest and not... Use yep. them. Okay. okay. Let's Take get rid off. of South Africa. <laughs> yeah, the Philippines and South Africa one we're the least confident in. Yeah. Okay. We'll go with this. Yeah. Works for me. You're making me question though, because you're like Jiri Coco is Japanese sounding. Giri, uh, Giri. Giri. 
Icky. No, it could sound. It could be so many languages. It sounds like Tagalog. <laughs> Tagalog, or however. It, it could I, also I be South call African. It Tagalog, like the Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> <laughs> so I will say, during when we were out in the in the big room, I was checking out Pikes Peak versus Albert, and there's only a three hundred and twenty five foot difference. Uh huh. Yeah. They're super close. They're Pikes is uh fourteen thousand one fifteen, and Albert is fourteen thousand four forty, and Mount Whitney's fourteen five oh five. Yeah. So it's like there's similar. There's no yeah. Much. Sierra Nevada's got so many really tall ones. No, oh, yeah. They were pretty when we saw them in October, and cold. My favorite completely unnecessary purchase that I made for homeschooling this year was a 3D relief map of the United States. Ooh. So like an actual three-dimensional plastic off the map, off the wall map. I love it. So the, uh, yeah. Oh, so yeah. of course the uh, vertical is greatly exaggerated compared to the horizontal. <laughs> well, but it's yeah. fascinating when you understand how the Rocky Mountains and the Appalachian really affect all the weather in between like that's why they get not you get nothing we yeah. hoard the snow in the water <laughs> now yeah. make us food <laughs> there's definitely weather ramifications and water issue ramifications where's the water mm -hmm. coming from for, for every place in the country but the reason i did it was just for um the story <laughs> of migration and, and immigration to the west because we we took you know ticky tack for putting stuff on the walls familiar with ticky tack so we, yeah. we took Tiki Tack and stretched. Oh, look at that. Adrian has her mask on. It, um, Smart to do that in the crowd. Karen. Karen, we need a little more time. Okay. Um, we need no, about why, three minutes. Why do you need more time? Because we didn't get to answer all the questions. Well, you only did I 10. Everyone else did. We have we got an eight. Ten. We got eight. And then we got interrupted discussing what Rob was talking about. We already know. Okay, what? that am, that I, am took, I being blamed that for less, being like that? Took less than thirty seconds, Kevin. However, you of course can go back to your room. I just have to figure how to do it. Can I hear? I can open them all. Not now. Normally, you don't have the host comes around and asks if we're ready to come back or not. Yeah, and no one did. So come back in a minute. Close them. Close the room. Maybe we'll just close it right now. Yeah. Because I got we'll give them yeah, two minutes. Two minutes. Don't be an asshole. As the room person, should I set the two minute timer? Yeah. Just yeah. I'll, I'll just close it. I mean, I don't know if I close it right now. If they come right back. No, no. I think, I think if you close it minutes, now, it'll give them a two minute warning. I think it'll give them two minutes. Zeke, can you do that? Oh, sure. Yeah, I'll close. Thank you. Great. As yeah. long as they don't click, damn, break it. Leave. Break that wasn't. Up, that wasn't notice. really fair. That sounds Kevin. like a team of people who are disappointed in their Valentine's Day this year. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's just lock lock them out. Lock them out. Don't want them back in. I listened to the to the Skeptoid episode about Valentine's Day uh, today. Oh, I have and, missed that one. And there was one I just didn't get the whole I thing about whether more males or females are born after the and I didn't get his rationale. I just I have to go back and listen again if it made sense. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna does. run away because I wanted to show my team my map that I got. Oh, yeah. yeah. I want to see it. We're going to get to see the relief map. Woo, 3D relief map. <sighs> so it looks like Eugenie Scott's coming here with Richard. Oh. Nice. How mm. lovely. Because Jeannie wants to see the aquarium, and I think she's bringing her husband with her. I, it, the, it's it's confusing. I'm like, okay, uh, what? Is that where they store the nuclear vessels? <laughs> so no, um, we have a real the bay in Alameda. <laughs> so when? Uh, you beat me to it. On the twenty second. Yeah, you gonna come? Um, okay, there now. I oh, can't. Zeke, I have, that's uh, nice. I have physical three dimensional, so you can feel the the mountains. But I think. I, I like I, 3D maps. Those are fun. I put the Oregon Trail. 
Is that Matt, is that mountain in Colorado the highest mountain in the Rocky Mountain range? <laughs> yeah, turn it sideways. Let's double yeah. check. Yeah, you, it, you, you can't it. tell the difference between that and Pikes Peak because it's only a few hundred feet difference. <laughs> Let's see it, Zeke. So this map is map is useless. No. <laughs> Thank you for that time. We needed to come up with one more answer. Oh, that is neat. Uh, reason, it looks like a cordycepsis zombie fungus. I also neat. have a California one, the same size, right. just California. It's Does amazing. it show all the faults and everything? Not the California fault, has no faults. <laughs> <laughs> I put it in the van and show you. Uh, hey, well, the insurance we all have right. our faults. Yes. New, 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 Jersey, insurance. New Jersey insurance is no fault also. Yeah. Are we all back? Massachusetts is no fault. Of course, we know that uh, whenever there's an earthquake, it's always uh, St. Andreas is to blame. So yes. um, I love that some of you were were picking up on the things, you know, like there were some words that uh, 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 take, you know, occur in other cultures and the cherry trees and matcha and Italian words, but Roman gods. And so I heard some folks, uh, we'll see what happens with your decisions. Okay, we'll start with number one, Czech Republic. That is F, the day of love on May 1st, kissing under the boughs of cherry trees. Lots of cherries in Czech okay. Republic. Number two. Nice one, Leonard. To Denmark is J, the lover's cards and the uh, Gakkenbuff. Okay. The, uh, and you owe them an Easter egg or they owe you an Easter egg. And I will put this in the chat. Uh, number three, England is E with the uh, children singing and the plum shuttles. Oh. Mm -hmm. Four is uh, France. That is F is, no, I'm sorry. Four is G, considered one of the most romantic destinations. And they just get right to the romantic business. Okay. Number five, Germany is H, the piggies, the lust and love piggies. Number so that's H five H six yeah, well. six Mexico is I the love fest the Dia del Amor and uh, Armistad. Number seven the Philippines is a lot of you knew this is K K the huge marriage ceremony there. Eight Japan oh. yeah eight you probably you might have written South Korea huh? That's what we went for. Yeah. So it's Philippines okay. Number eight, Japan is actually, and again, I know people put with the cherry blossom trees, but no, it is A, the homemade choco, true love chocolate, and the giddy choco, obligatory chocolate. They're very, very polite, very polite. It sounds very Japanese. <laughs> Number nine, South Africa. Now, South Africa is actually L. That is the one with the festival of the Roman festival of uh, Lupercalia. Oh, South Africa, oh. really? Yeah, okay. yeah. So again, a, a little surprise there. Okay, 10, South Korea. Which one is South Korea? If you thought the marriage one was South Korea, it it's is- the one just below North Korea. Thank you very much. It is also the one with the white day and the black day. So it's D, 10 is D, the bowl of black beans for the singletons. Number 11, Taiwan is C, tokens of love and 108 roses. <laughs> at C and number 12 that makes Italy of course um where's my I can't go down okay I'll just I'll just enter it now enter so Italy is then B that was the one with the poetic sentiments um Juno commemoration to Juno and the and the chocolates with the poetic sentiments and then before we do the scores I'll just uh quickly cut and paste the link there I mean I don't think I think you've probably learned all you want to know about this but just in case there is a link and my video is tripping out again wild it's there we wild. go okie dokie okay we're in the headroom How's about some scores? And you all chose 10. Thank you very much. Okay, so I'm just putting this in here. I got a little confused with my, my links. So I will have to go with that in a minute. Okay, score. Do you have all of them or is there I'm, a missing link, Susan? No, I'm, I'm taking your link. Is there a missing part. link? Okay. <laughs> have you found it? Every, every missing link creates two new holes. <laughs> 
Okay, so ah, I can't do my with. score. Closing I haven't finished arguments. doing the scores. Closing arguments. I can't finish. I haven't finished doing my scores. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I need to see the chat. We'll see it. Even I can't. Sure you can. There's a or way to do you. it. He might it be escaped. on mobile. It Let me cut and paste the answers. Come back to me. We're either back to me. We got ten. Hey, Kevin. Kevin, can I just yeah. read them to you once quickly? No, because I have to go. They're all out of order on my on my screen. I got to go through them one at a time. Okay. So just skip me. So, Come back. So for the future, I will always give you a hint. Like the answer should be one F. I understand, but I didn't have a chance to cut them all and paste them all that way. You know, it's the same team that was having problems and needed extra time. You know, it's the time. That's yeah, why. I, that's I got that's because we were doing screen sharing and, and Kevin was trying to cut, cut and paste. And paste and we changed our minds a few times. Yeah. Got Kevin, it. I, I got four as my as our number. I think I think you're right, but I'm double checking. I got four too. Okay, I why don't you got four? Why don't you put four, four and then come back? Yep, it is it is four. It okay. Is four. Okay. So <laughs> the billboard people, what do you got? Four, is that correct? Four. Sorry, okay. I was muted. Four. Four. Ninety-nine could put balloons. Five. Can the Americans here sing the Canadian national anthem? Seven. Seven. Wow. All right. To show off. Dead silence. <laughs> we got ten. Oh no! <laughs> right. Chat <laughs> GBT got seven. Oh, <laughs> are, we, are we adding that as a sixth team? <laughs> 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 I, I hope not. Oh, God, that'd be awful. It, guess we Columbia should yeah, in play, Italy twice. Playing chess against the machine, the computer. Okay, Terry. Shallow thought. Who's your picture? Photo, photo, photo. Oh, no. Photo. Terry, are you coming on? There she is. Okay. Oh. Photo. Ready, everybody smile. All righty. High five. Everybody I think Bill five. blinked. Bill blinked. Everybody <laughs> high five. <laughs> I know. I can't get any funnier. Um, 2023. All right. So we'll do, we'll, uh, wait, what day is today? Two. 16, 2023. All right, see you in five minutes. I'm letting the camera run. Bye. Hey, hey Kevin. Yeah. You, you had that background, the picture of Getty Lee and Rick Moranis. The yeah. Yeah. If you look Not at my background, the, the guy yeah. off my left shoulder leaning against the wall, that's Rick Moranis. Cool. That was from my fifth grade class. Oh, you knew him, huh? Yeah, and Getty Lee was also in our class, except he was Gary Weinrib back in those yeah, days. Yeah, but that wasn't Getty Lee in my photo. Cool. That's our. That, that's right. That was the McKenzie Brothers, right? That's cool, right? He, he sang the song. Yeah, that's right. I forgot. Our dads. Bucks, eh? Our dads is twenty bucks. Our dads were uh, were uh, golfing but uh, golfing buddies. Cool. Rick Moranis's dad and and uh, and our dad. <laughs> And so this did he shrink one here, you guys? Did he shrink you guys when you were kids? Yes. And you can't <laughs> see it because it came out backwards, but this was the autograph page from our yearbook. And it's got Rick's and Getty Lee's uh, signatures on it. Cool. So it's, but since it's a mimeograph, it's probably it, worth it's, nothing. It's not back, backwards, actually. We can see it. Just Susan fine. has already posted the picture to Facebook. My gosh, she's so efficient. Anyways, back to the important one. Yes, I still haven't. I still haven't seen that movie. I, I, a classic. A cla oh, yes. The uh, strange uh, brew. Yeah. I, I tried to stop it. That's a classic. It's almost as good as Blues Brothers. <laughs> almost. No, nothing can be that good. Why did you even want to put out there? I mean, three hundred pounds. You want to mute Robin? 
I've been on a tour of white of lighthouses. I've seen about <laughs> ten of them in the last month, all over Cape Cod. I think I've seen everyone on Cape Cod except for like two that I that are really hard to get to. I walked a mile for one of them. Is that from Marlboro, or what, or for a camel? No. <laughs> <laughs> No, it was, it was at the end of a beach, but there was no road access to it. So I walked along the shore for about an hour to get there, about half an hour each way. That's good. I have a lighthouse. I have a Lou question. Does anyone here personally know Lou? Yes. Do you think he doesn't come anymore because of the, the lighthouse, us making fun of lighthouses? I do not know. Because that was his hobby, and he put a lot of um, thought into the category, and, and not everybody, you know, I mean, it's... Oh, I like lighthouses a lot, but I don't know anything about No, no, them. I'm talking about, I'm talking about Lou not coming, if... No, if, I know, like, I know what you're talking about. Like, ribbing about because of how much negativity we express about the lighthouse world. Yeah, the ribbing yeah. about lighthouses. I, yeah, I just that, in, in that case that that's about. the problem, um, I would be reluctant to ask him. <laughs> So I have actually a 20, I came across, it It, I, it just came to me in a bizarre way, a 2023 paper calendar of lighthouses. And if Susan would have had a, a elephant exchange gift this year, I was going to bring that. <laughs> <laughs> We're exchanging elephants? What? <laughs> I would exchange an elephant. You have a spare? exchange an elephant yeah we used to do that we didn't do that this year oh well we'll see well yeah, i but... recommend if you go to cape cod and you want to see lighthouses just get on google maps and do near lighthouses near me and it will take you a day to see them all on cape cod and you'll see about eight or ten of them <laughs> all right so we're back even if it hasn't been five minutes <laughs> can't, can't imagine how i can go through life without ever doing that kevin <laughs> well, if you like it, if you don't like it, then who cares, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's this is the one I, I walked a mile I, to get I do to, understand. To get All that right, picture, so it's a mile. Romero, That's a short lighthouse. Hey, they're not there yet. Okay. Adrian, you here? I'm here. What's going on with the I, done? I think I'm here. Well, I'm hazarding a guess that Richard's going to be interviewing Brian Dunning. Yeah, I think so. Wow. That gives well, that's what he said. Something gives me that idea. Yeah, well, here, let me share my screen for a second and I'll show you if I can. There we go. I think I know what picture you need. No. Yeah, it, this was on um, Facebook. Yeah, on Facebook. So a lot of you probably sure. seen it already, but not everybody has. So I thought that was quite yeah. funny. Blah, blah, exactly post, blah, blah, <laughs> blah, 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 podcast, blah, blah, documentary, blah, blah, my show is better, blah, blah. I don't have the heart to tell them I stopped it 30, <laughs> 30 minutes ago. So for those of you who haven't seen it, I thought I would share that because I thought it was quite fun. It is cute. hilarious, yes. That's a good one. Um, can, can, can I share a quick cartoon, a uh, quick uh, comic? Just, just a bit in a, in a second, because no. there's one other thing. I don't know if it's going to make it to the show, but Leonard found an error in my newsletter from last week. What I was thinking very mathematically in my head <laughs> and it wasn't mathematical it was medical and hopefully i'm hoping that richard puts it in i don't know if he is he hasn't said he didn't catch the error he's usually he's usually really really good at catching my errors because there's lots of things from australia that i've never heard of before that i say wrong are you surprised and so he usually laughs and sent, says, Adrian, you got that wrong. You need to redo it. But this time he didn't catch it, but Leonard did. So I'm hoping, I'm not going to say anything more just in case he plays it. And you can all- It might be the Easter egg. egg. It might be the Easter egg. It could be. So stay after the turn. What yeah. number is it? This Is it? Is it 750? Oh, it's must be- Because my, my thing, my tribute to uh, Harriet Hall is 750. Yeah, it could be. I know he said that because uh, I'm interviewing Jonathan Jerry tomorrow. Oh, how exciting. I'm really, I'm I'm make so sure scared. you tell him hello from me. I will. Oh, I definitely will. Me and him are we're buds. So, Skeptoid's <laughs> way past 750. So, the skeptic zone. Skeptic zone. Right. Skeptic zone. Yeah. I think it's it's a 50, it's a rounded number. Because he said my thing with Harriet Hall would be on that. But mm -hmm. I was like, 
three weeks. Yeah, so ago the, so something. February twelfth was seven forty nine. Okay, yeah. so, so this episode will have Harry seven fifty Harry Hall thing. I read it because he he said that he wouldn't have room for Je- Jonathan Jerry's. He said the show is full, so I, you'll you'll oh, yeah it. definitely. I want I want to hear. I want you to. We'll go in a little while, baby. Jonathan Jerry's a great guy. I, I really think he's a talent. He reminds me so much. I'm of so Marshall. excited. Yeah. And he um, said in his email, he said, uh, he said I could have, because Robin Canton got me in touch with them because mm-hmm. they're friends. Mm-hmm. And he sent an email back saying, you could have just reached out to me. I'm not a celebrity or anything. <laughs> so I thought that was really nice. He's pretty cool. I really very, like very down to earth, well, right? He's very busy. Oh my gosh. There's so many times I've uh, worked with him or had, needed to work with him and he's busy he did i did an uh interview with him whenever the um the moss video that he did the cancer the cancer video he's oh yeah video the, mo- he the moth cancer was, cure yeah. yeah and i put it up and i got like seven million viewers or so oh it was just crazy just some insane amount of number anyway that was incredible that was great so, uh, so yeah you know he's yeah, that'll be on the Skeptic Zone in a future episode. I don't know exactly when. Probably you're going after. Um, but I'm interviewing him tomorrow, which is really exciting because I just got in touch with him last weekend, and he's like, "Yeah, I'm free this Friday. How about you?" So it was really cool. So I'm, I'm really. What time free. are you interviewing him at? Uh, noon my time, so okay, eleven o'clock cool. your time. You're gonna uh, you're gonna fly up and visit soon. You're me? gonna fly up and visit Adrian. That'd be fun. I'd love to for, for tomorrow. No, no, not for tomorrow. Alan, <laughs> I want to share something. What is it you want to share, Alan? Uh, let me just see. I just, uh, where is it here? Oh. Did you guys see this comic? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be a Canadian joke. It's got to be a Canadian joke. <laughs> uh, actually, I, yeah, I think a Canadian kid I did post it, I think. Too. Hey, that, that looks Canadian, eh? Yeah. I, okay. How, how do I guess? That goes uh, perfect the top, with the, the rebrand. With the rebrand of what? Oh, they were rebranding Jesus. Oh, um, he's on. Commercial. Yeah, he was on the. He got a TV commercial. And what? I think they, yeah, they, they were talking about God. He, Jesus gets us. They they uh they spent he, twenty million Jesus. dollars. Hobby Lobby, he gets us campaign. Hobby Lobby people. Yeah. Oh, I saw that's what it's about. I saw a joke with an asterisk on on the us. Not everybody. <laughs> Very good. Okay, so Romero, are you uh, back? Nope, not back. Rob. Adrian, yeah. Adrian, how many spare bedrooms do you have and how often do the Northern Lights show up there? <laughs> <laughs> well, I have, all my kids have moved out. So ooh, I now have ooh. three ooh. lovely spare rooms. Ooh, ooh, ooh. In oh, fact, ooh. one of them is a gym as well. So you wow. can do your workout oh. is minus 30 outside. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the Northern Lights, are not well you can usually get see them if you drive towards the mountains quite often you'll see them and i do have an app that tells me when they're coming and so yes they do happen here not as frequently we can go 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 up robin light pollution robin we'll fly up i have seen go we can go robin and we can just sit and wait till they come well, I'm thinking of Fairbanks. To... I'm thinking of Fairbanks. Ooh, there we go. But no, we. I. You may have a so higher strong. probability there. Uh, yeah, I think so, because the yeah. ones that you see from with the city lights still there. It does happen once every couple of years where they're really, really strong. But uh-huh. most of the time, you do have to leave the city to be able to see it here. Okay. Because of the light. Um, we are, we're we're heading into a solar maximum the, the next couple of years, and so yes. it's going to be good. I'm, I'm willing to take a Iceland. chance. We can come visit me anyway. Alaska's better. Alaska's Fairbanks is, has clearer skies. Iceland, you could go to Iceland for two weeks and never see the sky at all. It could be completely right. overcast. Oh, really? Okay. And, yeah, and yeah. That's, that's one of the advantages to coming to Calgary because we, in the winter, have very few cloudy days. So say, same thing. And same, same with Fairbanks. Yeah. Okay, so... Okay, so... As much as we want to go, now I want to go. So um, when, I, when I lived in Toronto in the um, <laughs> mid 1960s, we were at the Social northern Toronto. edge of town. Um, so the the northern lights were in the dark part of the sky, right. and spectacular. Yeah, it's really amazing. Rob, 
Uh, yes. So you have to... uh, two very interesting interviews out. One I've seen. I both do. Terrific. So this one, the first one with the link there is skeptical activism Abhijit. in India with Abhijit, Abhijit Chanda. That was kind of fascinating to learn all about the specific problems. And he talked about me at the beginning. I was so excited. He did. So he <laughs> mentioned really Susan. Sweet. That was very sweet of him. And I, I listened uh, to that today. And my most fun interview, maybe I ever did, was the one with Brian Keith Dalton. Even more than the dragon? Because, uh, yeah, because he actually played in character, Mr. Deity, and I got to question him about why the world the world is so screwed up. So it was actually quite funny. Oh, that's awesome. They're so both the, really good interviews, you guys. So, so the I transcribed into text, because they wanted it that way for CFI, the interview with Brian, but there's a link in the article that goes to also the video of that which is quite longer and the sh much shorter one is only like 15 minutes long with mr deity so if you don't do anything else watch that one watch them both they're really good he even let me use the music for an intro and outro so it was kind of cool. and is is abajit's interview also a video yes yes his, his is a bit i didn't transcribe it at all it's just a little bit okay. of an introduction in the article about what we talked about and then it's a link to the the video is embedded in the article actually yeah it's really he's, well he's got a fantastic voice Oh Doesn't my God, he, he can do a Texan better than I can do a Texan. He, he does American <laughs> accents amazingly. Yeah, I was really wondering a lot about that caste system. I'm going to have to talk with him. He was, that was so interesting. Yeah. Uh, very, very interesting. Both of them really good. You got somebody new on who are you doing next, Rob? Uh, I'm still thinking about it. I don't know. Okay. Um, Kyle, you back? No, he's not back yet. Uh, Romero, you're there. Romero. Romero is there. I see him. Triangle skeptics do. Uh, Romero, you have a video out. I have not. I've got it queued up. It's sitting here waiting for me. It's something about neurological of love, oh. neurology of love. That's very telling. Yeah, that we did that Valentine's yeah, Day. So uh, because of uh, uh, Valentine's Day, uh, one of our members did a talk on the neurobiology of love. So you know, like what chemicals get activated when you're in love and that kind of stuff. So uh, I'll post the link. Awesome. Yeah, but the link. What are just... the uh, what are the professional qualifications of this member? Uh, he's he's an MD, but so he he was uh, saying like giving a lot of um, you know stuff. References. Wait, sorry, sorry, that again. References. Yeah, he gave references. Yeah. Cool. I think sweet. That's very timely. Okay, so I've got it sitting here in my queue to watch. I haven't, I haven't got to it, uh, but it is going to be happening today. Um, also, there's some new ones out that are really look great, like this one. Uh, CFI's got the new um, talk from Cyclon with Nathan Lentz. That is queued up. That looks good. Carl, you already watched it. No, I just remember. Oh, I didn't see it at PsyCon. So the videos are starting to come out from PsyCon, you guys. So if you subscribe to Center for Inquiries uh, YouTube channel, you'll pick up a whole bunch of different cool stuff. Uh, Romero, do you want me to put it in the link? Here, I'll put the, I'll put it in the link in the chat. because I don't... Yeah, I don't know if they're going to post it, but I did a, uh, a joint presentation okay. with Dave Thomas of New Mexicans for Science and Reason oh. um, last night about um science you can do with a camera oh so, so it's that, not that out yet fun. was it over? i don't it was over zoom it did get recorded mm -hmm. um but i don't know when it's going to get posted well maybe by next week so you can share the yeah. link whenever you get it but that sounds interesting yeah. okay cool yeah. uh so it's mostly dave yeah. well no i think it's fun we're recording these things for videos for us to be able to watch in the future and that's really really what's the cool thing um cfi has just if you are a member of a group a skeptic group and you want to be receiving the uh, newsletter uh it came our first newsletter came out yesterday wednesday it's called pass the torch carl did you get it what no okay i'll, I'll make anybody who didn't get it let me know and i will send it to you it i'll forward it to i you, don't but, think um, i said anything I unless i went it. to spam Okay, so I'm going to interrupt just for a second. Leonard's video actually popped up on my YouTube feed today for some reason, ah. and I just posted the link to that video. Oh, thank you. The, oh, the New Mexicans perfect. for Science and Reason. I think so. 
Cool. Yep. Popped up. Is that it? Yep, yep. that looks like it. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'll add it to my list of things to look. Okay. Things to watch. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be here till three in the morning. Okay. Fantastic. So uh, that's coming out. So there's this past the torch newsletter. It's going to come out every two weeks. Uh, and it is a way of getting the groups back together again. We're going to be able to um, highlight each, uh, highlight the groups. They're going to highlight a speaker, a CFI speaker. I'm the featured speaker this time because he had my bio in front of him. Otherwise, I don't know why else would he do that. But he, um, it's got all kinds of other stuff. It's going to be able to bind the groups together more to be able to get us so that we, uh, you can highlight something that you're doing in your group, um, just different things. But we're having our first webinar. I'm going to be hosting it. It's coming up in March. I will talk about it again when we get closer, but it's going to be a webinar on how to market your, your talks beyond the choir. Because what we've been doing is we're doing a really lousy job in a lot of cases of just barely reaching the people who are in our community. And we're not really hitting people outside of the choir as well as we should. So like if you're doing a talk that's an actual physical talk and somebody's there in the room, you know, you're going to be meeting together. Uh, we're, we've got uh, Kathy McKenzie from my group, myself, and two people from CFI. And I'm going to be interviewing them about how to market it so that you can get people to join your meetup and grow the, your community, grow your, grow your meetup, your group. So anyway, I'll talk about that again in a little bit. That's coming up. Kyle's still not back yet. I see. Um, I have tomorrow, please join me. I'm going to be talking with Kenny Bibble on his skeptical help desk. So that's four o'clock my time. So if you're in California, it's four o'clock, it'll be recorded so you can watch it. But uh, Kenny and I have just a loose agenda of things that we can talk about. We could talk about anything without having any agenda. So that should be who's, interesting. Who's this Kenny Biddle guy? Oh, it's some guy. Just just listen because I'm there. Don't don't worry about Kenny. Okay. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> no, he's a lot of fun. Um, on yeah. Saturday, I am doing a workshop. It's the same one I've been doing. So don't come again if you've already been there. But please show up if you haven't. I have not got hardly anybody going to these things. So I really, if I'm going to continue doing them, I have to have people show up. So I will put the link in. Please share it on your Facebook or wherever. Uh, Richard Saunders supposedly is coming in here in the next week or uh, next week, possibly with Jeannie Scott. Wendy, are you there? Wendy's still here. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. I have an article coming out tomorrow or the next day that's going to feature the visit I had in in LA, Wendy's the group I was with with Wendy and Heather and um, Cherry and stuff. It's got all your photos all over it, Wendy. So be looking for Is that. that the one where you went to the science center? Yeah, we went to the science center. So that should be out tomorrow or the next day. Barry and I were talking about the title. So I think it's going to be very soon. That's going to be on Skeptical Inquire. And I also put um, at the end of it, I did a little thing for the Monterey County skeptics of how we went to the Steinbeck Museum. So Deborah, uh, you're in that picture. And mm -hmm. who else was there? Robin yeah. was there. So we put those in there. So it's going to have Monterey County skeptics right at the end, but it's mostly about how to get how to get your gang back together again. And, and I'm focusing on the LA skeptics. That's coming up soon. So Rob, Janine. Carol, um, Janine, Rob, Carl, I'm going to forward this Pass the Torch newsletter to you. It's supposed to be going out to everybody who is a uh, like some sort of leader on one of the groups because it's supposed to be about that. I guess. Oh, I okay. No, I'm, just, I, I'm not that in a group, so you don't have to send it to me then. Okay. So not, Adrian probably hasn't said but, it. But are you going to send it to Russ, Russ uh, for the New York City Skeptics? Or, uh, no, Mitch, well, they're all Mitch supposed Lambert. to be on a list. It's all supposed to be and, going there. Okay, so and, and also the fact, the one that you're going to be talking at next month, right? I think they're all supposed to be getting it. Okay, good. So somebody's supposed to get it. But okay, so that's that workshop. And Kyle, are you not back yet? Okay, we'll do Kyle later because he's not seemed to be back yet. He's out getting his soda. You know, I thought about that when we were talking earlier about um, taking a, a book to outer space and about the when we went to the science museum and we saw those early um, 
I don't even know what to call it, but the spacecraft where the where the astronauts capsule. Were yeah, the capsule where they were just seated in one position for weeks or however long well, they were. Well, mostly it was in zero G, so they weren't really seated. They were just floating around. The floating? But but it was it was like not even the size of a of a an um porta potty. It was <laughs> little. Oh, and it's it, like the Orion capsule is much bigger than that. They don't just sit in the seat. There's room to float around, and the uh, uh, and the idea that you're sitting in zero g is just silly. Oh, I, I saw the same right. thing. It was just it was nonsense. Well, they had the exhibit um, set up in, at the science museum when we were there, without that much explanation. Yeah, yeah. didn't have anything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it, it's unfortunate. So, There's a lot of. Uh, I was just thinking, if all you've got to distract yourself is the window, which would I would be looking out the window, but to have a book, I that's been on my mind all evening about oh. taking a book out. <laughs> you're smart. You've, you've right. got an i. You've got the equivalent of an iPad. Well, that's true. Okay, we're ready to come back. <laughs> Good job. I just put the link to my workshop for tomorrow. <coughs> it's in the notes and I will put the link. Is that the, is that the tomorrow or the? No, that's Saturday. Saturday. Sorry. And I'm going to put the link right now for the Kenny Biddle, uh, the Biddle thing as soon as I find it. So it's a little, it might be a little bit interesting. It might be a little bit interesting, but just a little bit. Don't tell Kenny I said that. Uh, it's recorded. Sorry. It's, it's already there. Yeah, but he'll, but he won't watch it. Oh yeah, you think? On the best country. I don't he'll see. Like, oh. He'll be one of the dozens of people that watch. There must be more than that. Anyway, are we up to dozens of viewers? I didn't think so. Put a little, little bit in the middle. Oh. Uh, uh, Maybe it sounds like a, a fiddler on the roof kind of song. Uh, dun, 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 a, a fiddle biddle. A little biddle in the middle. Well, you know, there's all the on the fiddle jokes what, <laughs> that um, they make they um, are just plays on words. It's almost like little songs. Any biddles on the roof, a most <laughs> unlikely sight. <laughs> hey, Susan. I, yeah. Susan. Yeah. Kyle's back. Oh, Kyle's back. OK, there's Kyle. Where'd you go? Hey. Sorry, I had something unexpected I had to take care of. All right. Kyle, I hear you have a podcast. I do. It's Data Skeptic, and we're uh, continuing to talk about surveys this week. Uh, an expert survey. I talked to a guy who surveyed working data scientists about how they do their job and uh, a little bit about the inner workings of science. Not quite so much that, but more about uh, data scientists in industry. So that's this week on Data Skeptic. Thank you. And thank you uh your survey hopefully we'll get that straightened out because i really want to know how we did yeah i'm gonna dm you the link right now okay sounds good so here's the kenny biddle uh talk i'm giving tomorrow come hang out it's cash it's cash and then my workshop's on there and thank you thank you kyle the um i sent leonard carl adrian and janine i forward forwarded the uh, newsletter to you guys i hope aha i see it okay okay so i need to make I, i'm trying to go around and make sure everybody's getting this it's it's hard to say please it comes out twice a month please let eric know if you want to be on the email list don't rely that i'm going to be always sending it to you so you might want to send him an email say hey i'd like to be getting this and he'll put you on the email list and that's not a problem got it kyle thank you so much thank um you. and um that was a very long thing. I've got this long list of stuff to watch now. You guys are impossible. Did you everybody do this survey? Kyle, you might want to give everybody the survey because I really want to see what everybody comes up with. Sure. Give me a second. I'll drop the link in chat. Okay. And then we're ready to get started back. I've got so many more. I've got three screens and there, there's so many tabs open on all these things. Jane from Oregon, you have already got your tags. Believe, I mean, your uh, co-host. Believe it or not. So whenever you're ready, Jane. Oh, wow. Wow. Look at all those. 
Okay. Okay. I'm okay. Go ahead, Jane. All right. Here we go. All right. Well, um, I I searched the list and and I did not find that this category has been done before, but please tell me if it has because I'm really kind of curious. Um, this category is about Père Lachaise Cemetery in Paris. What? Why would we have done that before? <laughs> she, she's just, that, that was great to me. Was that great? Surely. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, we did that one twice already. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Did we do so it we, last week? We, we've done other cemeteries in Paris. <laughs> okay. We've done cemeteries, right. haven't we? But it's not Père Lachaise. All right. All right. Well, if you have been to Paris or if you go to Paris in the future, you may enjoy uh, spending a full day walking around through Père Lachaise Cemetery. It is the most visited necropolis in the world with more than three and a half million visitors per year. Um, and there are more than a million bodies buried there. And I'm going to describe some of the people who are entombed there. And I am going to ask you to give me their names. And you only have to give me their last name. So just give me a moment. Okay. Zeke. Unmute yourself, Jane. Okay. All right. Number one. This French actress was praised by Victor Hugo as having a golden voice and being better than an actress, better than beautiful. Oscar Wilde called her the incomparable one and wrote his play Salome in French, especially for her. She made multiple theatrical world tours and was one of the first actresses to star in moving pictures. She is the earliest born person on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. She was born in 1844 and died in 1923. Number two, this American-born opera singer was hailed as La Divina, the Divine One. Leonard Bernstein called her the Bible of Opera. Her voice has been debated as difficult to classify because it has been said that she can sing anything written for the female voice. She abandoned her career and renounced her U.S. citizenship to be with Aristotle Onassis, who later left her for Jacqueline Kennedy. Ooh. Yes, burn. burn. Um, <laughs> then you talk about the urn, that's, I get it, burn. Uh, <laughs> it's a cemetery, okay, got it. Uh, note um, to avoid confusion is that only her empty urn currently remains in Père Lachaise today. She was born in 1923, died in 1977. And no, I actually meant that was a burn from Onassis after she did that for him. Um, number three. Good pun though. Yeah. <laughs> number three. This Polish composer and virtuoso pianist composed his earlier works before leaving Poland at the age of 20. At 21, he settled in Paris, after which he gave only 30 public performances for the rest of his life. He supported himself by selling his compositions and giving piano lessons. All of his compositions are for the piano and expanded the limits of the instrument. He had a nine-year relationship with French author Georges Sand, who is a woman, by the way. What? Her name yes. is George and she was a woman? Okay. Mm -hmm. Confusing. A very famous author. 
For much of his life, he was very sick from what was probably tuberculosis. He was born in 1810 and died in 1849. Oh, very young. A child. Mm. Number four. This American dancer and choreographer is known as the mother of dance. She created an innovative technique that emphasized natural movement in contrast to the rigidity of traditional ballet. She popularized dance in white Greek tunics and bare feet. She died when the flowing scarf around her neck became entangled in the spokes of a wheel of a car in which she was riding. In medicine, the her name syndrome refers to injury or death due to entanglement of neckwear with a wheel or other machinery. Born 1877, died 1927. Wow. I had a friend who worked in a machine shop back in the day when they wore shirts and ties to do that. And he almost got killed that way. His tie wow. got wrapped around a lathe. Wow. Number five, this French, oh, I want to apologize in advance for my French pronunciation on this one and my French accent. Number five, this French singer, lyricist, and actress was known as France's National Chanteuse, which means singer. Her most widely known songs include La Vie en Rose, which means the life in pink, or the actual meaning is life through rose-colored glasses. And Non, je ne regrette rien, no, I regret nothing. Um, La Vie en Rose made her an international star and sold 1 million copies in the U.S. Born 1915, died 1963. I'm looking forward to looking these all up once we get all done. They look interesting. Number six. This American novelist, poet, playwright, and art collector dropped out of Johns Hopkins Medical School. She eventually moved to Paris at age 29, where she lived the remainder of her life. Her quotes include, rose is a rose is a rose is a rose, and there is no there there. Hmm. In 1998, Modern Library ranked her nonfiction the autobiography of Alice B. Toklas as one of the 20 greatest English language nonfiction books of the 20th century. Born 1874, died 1946. Number seven. This mine French Sorry, this French mime artist is most famous for his stage persona of Bip the Clown. As a Jewish youth, he lived in hiding and worked with the French resistance during most of World War II. He gave his first major performance to 3,000 troops after the liberation of Paris. Thereafter, he performed worldwide to standing room only crowds. In Mel Brooks's silent movie, his character has the only audible speaking part. He held honorary doctorates from Ohio State, Linfield College, Princeton, and the University of Michigan. Born 1923, died 2007. Number eight. This French artist created the painting technique known as pointillism. His large scale work, A Sunday Afternoon on the Island of La Grande Jatte, initiated Neo Impressionism. The tiny juxtaposed dots of multicolored paint allow the eye to blend colors optically rather than the colors being physically blended on the canvas. It took two years to complete this 10 foot wide painting. 
The painting was the inspiration for Stephen Sondheim's musical, Sunday in the Park with George. Born 1859, died 1891. Hmm, another young one. Number nine. This Irish journalist, poet, playwright, and novelist was known for his biting wit. While enormously successful as a playwright, he wrote only one novel, but that novel is on The Guardian's list of 100 best novels ever written in English. One of the novel's most quoted lines is, there is only one thing in the world worse than being talked about, and that is not being talked about. At the height of his fame and success, he was convicted and sentenced to two years hard labor for gross indecency with men. 120 years after his release, he was posthumously pardoned, 1854 to 1900. And we're talking about him now. Absolutely. Number 10. This American singer, poet, and songwriter graduated from UCLA's film school. He went on to form a band with a fellow cinematography student. In 2011, Rolling Stone listed the band as the 40 as 41st on their list of 100 greatest artists of all time. As lead singer, he was known for improvising spoken word poetry passages while the band played live. He was the first rock performer to be arrested on stage during a live performance. He was arrested for exposing himself and using profanity. He died unexpectedly in a bathtub in Paris, and since no autopsy was performed, conspiracy theories still circulate. Born 1943, died 1971. This is really good. Good job, Jane. And no, we have not done this. Except I do know <laughs> one of them has been a question we've sort of had before, but not about the cemetery. So I, I have a quick question. The name and said what cemetery they buried in. I think for, for number eight, can we uh, just give you the first name? <laughs> uh, no. No, she said it was the last name. No. No, but that would that was that would be pretty tricky. <laughs> All right. Since you've already given it to us. <laughs> right. Okay, shall I send or is Everyone. he sending? Let the senders send. Oh, we have Susan with us, cool. Oh, it's so nice to be wanted. I know a couple of these. One I do not know how to spell, but that's neither here nor there. All I know is number 10, but everyone probably knows number 10. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Riders um, on the storm. Okay, so yeah. question one. Yes. I do, don't know. Does anyone one. know question one? Question number one know. is the first question. That's correct. Yes, that is the first question. Hey, you just got it. <laughs> yeah. You guys are way ahead one. of everybody. I don't, I don't know anything until number three. Okay, let me look at two. Boy, that's really bad. She, wow. Aristotle Onassis, who's like 900 years old, like, and, and she left it. Oh, wow. And he left her for Jacqueline. Boy, Jacqueline, what a what a bitch! She took this man from this other woman. I know she wanted to get away and everything, but all right, three. Chopping. Yep. Chopping. I spelled C H O P. Chopping broccoli. Oh, chopping broccoli. C H O P I. How do you spell it again? C H O P I N. Yeah. Chopping. 
And Chopping. number four, God, that sounds so familiar. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Well, what's Fairly that? I'm sorry. Recently, that was mentioned. Isadora Duncan. Is it is uh, I think it's an S. It's a, but I'm is it an S. S? Okay, I wasn't sure. Yes. Yeah. Isadora Duncan, you said? Duncan, like the donut. Just like the donut. <laughs> oh, I don't know if it's. <laughs> I think it's. No. 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 <laughs> C A N. Come on. <laughs> well, you Spelling said Duncan like the donut. Um, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Poor lady. Right. Can you imagine how awful? And then they named this. This is your. You know, all the things she did in her life and all these wonderful I do not know number five. Uh, yeah. I'm. I'm I don't know for sure how the last name's pronounced, but it's Edith P.F. Oh, is it P.F.? That makes sense, yeah. What was the first name? Edith. Edith. Edith? Yes. P. And then how do you spell it, we think? P-I-A-F. P-I-A-F? T-F? She's the one that did Livy and Rose. P.F.? P.F. I think it's a P. P, yeah. P, not a F. Yeah. No, at the beginning. No, P-I-A-F. P-I-A-F. Sorry. I'll get there. I don't know it either, Ben. So okay. that's all right. I'm just you than having me. trouble no, obviously hearing Obviously, number six has to be Alice B. Douglas because it's the autobiography of that's Alice B. Douglas. I was wondering, is that obviously. right? <laughs> um, that's Gertrude Stein, right? That sounds right to me. How do you know that? That I thought it was the autobiography of Alice Douglas. Um, it's a rather well-known book. I don't know. Uh, I think it's V E R, but whatever. So she wrote a autobiography about somebody. <laughs> it's it, a, it, yeah, it's, yeah. It's a fiction, but yeah, sort of. It's a fictional book. <laughs> I've never heard of it. Marcel Marceau. Yeah, I don't know how to spell. Oh that, yeah, yeah, right. yeah, Marcel Marceau. I remember it's C E A U or something like that, right? I remember yeah. it from the Mel books. He was the only person who spoke in the whole movie. But I have no idea how to spell his name. M A R C E A U. I believe that's correct. How do you spell the M A R C E A U? A U. Not I. A U. A U. There's gold in them, they're hills. So it's George who? Pointillism? It's the pointillism one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's George yeah. Surratt. Yeah. George oh. Surratt. That sounds familiar. S E R A S E U R A T? Probably. E U. What was it, Carl? S E U R A T. R A Rat. C U R A T. And I yeah, think it's that looks right. I think it's plur the plural of George. Oh yeah, with George's. the S on the E. George's yeah. is <laughs> Georges. Oh really? Yeah, George's. Yeah. Okay, right. the plural of George. We, he, he's, that. he's got split personalities. Both of them. <laughs> this is uh, Oscar Wilde is nine. Yep. I didn't know he's Irish. Don't tell an Irishman that. I didn't know <laughs> Oscar Wilde was gay. Oh yeah! Oh my gosh! Oh. Hmm. Flamboyantly so. Flamboyant. <laughs> and then Very do we know good. ten? He's put in prison for it. Uh, Riders on the Storm. C Cajun Jim Man Jim knows the answer to this one, Ben. It's Jim, I think it was... <laughs> Jim, Jim Morrison. Jim Morrison. Jim Morrison. Yeah. Jim Morrison. Hmm. God, can you imagine a million? Inebriation. They don't. Wow, you guys rock! Look at this. I should have sabotaged. But of course, it wasn't. It wasn't. Uh, it, well, he didn't use his name. He just used his. So we don't have one or two, but it sounds like nobody has any ideas uh, on yeah. that. So I think we're just going to. We're going to have to take our lumps on those two. As it's going to have to be my final round for tonight. I do apologize. Oh, we're going to do okay. favorite, fa we're, famous events. We're going to lose. For round four. <laughs> You guys are we're ready. Gonna, uh, yeah, we're done. We're losing we're done. the aura. Yeah. You're losing the Aww. aura. Yeah, but it's I'm so sorry. beautiful to look at. Sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Do you guys do this quiz sorry. on the surveys? 
on podcast. Yeah. Didn't see it. Very interesting. The one he put in the link in the chat. Hmm. I think I did it. How do you but I'm that? curious to know what our score is, our team score. It's a number between one and eight. Yeah. I, I second that. But I'm not I sure do. how he did this. That, this survey is really strange because I'm not really sure how to understand the... Technically, between one and eight inclusive. Yes. How inclusive, there you go. So is this, which, this is, he's done multiple surveys, right? This one's on podcast. Right. How uh, many has he done so far? Um, I don't know. This one's got seven. No, it's got more. I don't see the link. It... Oh, he just gave it to me. I'll give it to you right now. Oh, I'm okay. I'm sure oh, sure if you put it in the group chat the... or not. I'm not sure how he did the, um... I don't know. It just looks odd to me. One, two, three, one, zero, one, two, three. So which one does he want us to do? Oh, this is the answers. So oh, this is the answers. Okay, okay I'm sorry. Uh, How do we get to I'll it? Just, is, uh, just oh, to down at just... the bottom. If it's at the a very survey, bottom, there's a click here to take another, I guess. If right. it's a gotcha. survey, how can there be correct answers to a survey? Well, I'm looking at the results. Well, it's, not, it's not correct answers. It's answers. It's a range of response. Yeah, so uh, go to okay. the bottom and do the thing before you look at these. Don't look at them. Wow. Uh, Jane, we need more time. No, no I'm you kidding. don't. Hey. I'm kidding. <laughs> These are regular questions. They weren't stupid going back and forth. Yeah, it wasn't something you had to figure out. Those are really, it was really good. Um, Kyle, this survey, this study is really interesting. The results, I'm curious about this, but a couple more people are doing it. Everybody do this test. I'm Quick. putting it in the chat now. There's a link. For anybody to take the survey Susan and I put together about podcast listening habits. Yeah, this is really I looked interesting. at your thing and you don't have I a category that. for audio dramas. Yeah, so Deborah said that I didn't. That's do... like all I listened to. Oh. <laughs> she says I, we didn't put legal and we didn't put. Um, yeah, I noticed that. Uh, well, philosophy. Interesting. Like, oh, oh. <laughs> those are big misses. And we don't oh, well, want to add them now. It can affect the distribution. Yeah, yeah. So forget it. Too, too slow chicken brain goes. All right, Jane, that was fun. Well, is, there, is there a place on my app that's going to tell me how many I subscribe to it or I have to scroll through my giant list? You're just going to have to scroll. because that, That's you know. not a new survey, right? That's been there for several weeks. Up. Yes, it has. Yeah. Okay. I just want to not take it. I did that one. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think everybody's probably going to get a 10. So that's good news. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. So uh, I am going to share my screen. And uh, I just want to tell you that Perilous Chez is, this is a, it's like a great tourist destination. It's a combination of a most beautiful park and museum and historic site. You just really would spend you know, just immerse yourself in spending a full day just walking around. It's magnificent. It's to die for. It is. Oh. <laughs> Hard to oh, walk around when you die for it. <laughs> okay, let me see. Uh-oh, I'm trying to share my screen. I'm trying to figure out. You can do it, Jane. What did I? Okay, sorry. It's not that exasperating, Rob. I know. <laughs> yes, it is. I, I was scrolling through my list and the thing jumped and I had to reset it. That's why I said <laughs> oh. oh my. Oh wow. I'm up to 60, 60. I have been there. Okay. Of, how do I get rid of this little thing up here? I'm clicking mm. this. Can you see this on your can you see no. this little thing? Yeah, no. we can see it. It's orange. How do I get, get it off of my screen? Yeah, what are you? No, we, we, we don't see what you're seeing. You I, you're not seeing 
It's this the thing. No, it isn't. That's oh, not what she's talking about. Yeah, we can't see it, Jane. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. And then do you see this thing down here? Yes, we see Pierre yes. Lachaise Cemetery. No, no you, you don't no. see this. No. Okay. Nope. We don't All see right. any of your Zoom controls. Okay, great. All right. All right. So, yeah. So this is like, you know. Yeah, this is all clean. This is good. Yeah. Okay. So um, those are really small houses. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So for anything. The, they haven't been cleaned in a long time either. Go put a <laughs> space capsule in there. This place is <laughs> enormous. <laughs> so, number one, um, the actress. We see a white screen. I know. I had to do this because in order to share my screen oh that's right. gonna shift okay number uh, sarah so bernhardt um so that's her of course on the left and i think that in that picture she's sort of demonstrating what a great actress she is <laughs> and oh on, yeah it really shows up on the right she's actress too she's still good at it <laughs> <laughs> i think that, so on the right that's her her grave site which i think looks pretty nice it's somewhat deadpan yeah <laughs> oh. she used to that's sleep in a coffin yes that is right that is absolutely right and i saw pictures online of her um uh, in her coffin oh yes. that's creepy no way icky she's <laughs> quite a quite a dramatic character um, so number two is the opera singer, Maria Callas. Oh, look how beautiful oh. she is. Yes, yeah, she's she's quite she's quite beautiful. Um, she actually lost 80 pounds uh, during the height of her career. And then people, of course, criticized her for losing weight because you know she's a woman and so she can't win. Um, and so they said that you know, she, her voice, you know, suffered as a result. So anyway, good for her. She, she did that. Um, anyway, this is her, she was cremated. So this is her, just her, you know. Cenotaph. Black. What? This black. Cenotaph. Cenotaph. Oh. This plaque was appointed to Maria Callas International Club September 15th, 1991. That's right. what, it, what it translates to. Ooh, it was, it was French. By the, He's Canadian. Was, right. Was right. <laughs> uh, there so, are some of us every, who know little French that aren't Canadian. I was going to say, sorry though here, you have to learn it. <laughs> oh, I was just saying. Well, like you, ha you have to take the class. You don't <laughs> well, have to sure. learn it. Good point, Leonard. Good point. <laughs> it, it, is it true age, that she, she died was fairly so, young, in my opinion? Is it true that when she started what off, she died? What she happened? They, Let Ben uh, Bill talk. Is it true that she's the one that they said it's not over till the fat lady sings? I don't know. I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> I don't know. But awesome. what happened is that her ashes were uh interred here and then they were stolen and oh. then two years later they were recovered and then there's a, like a long story but i won't oh, tell it to yeah. you but um anyway her ashes were ultimately spread and then uh, apparently only her urn was returned here so okay so number three the composer is <laughs> chopin oh. And uh, he has a beautiful grave site uh, and every one of the visitors always treat it very respectfully and the flowers are really lovely and the candles and bouquets that people leave, they arrange them very, very nicely and always treat it very, very respectfully here. Good old Freddie Choppin. Uh, this, is, this, is a, um, this is a muse this statue here is a muse and she's holding a broken lyre and then this is his face can you see my cursor yeah, uh -huh. yes, yeah. His, so this yeah. is his face and it says fred chopin if you write chopsticks and a few other even more complicated pieces <laughs> 
Speaking of broken liars, that's what I hope Trump becomes someday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, okay, number four is The Dancer, and that is Isadora Duncan. Um, so She's with her neck. What? So oh, here with her yeah. neck. Yeah, quite a long neck. Um, so she was cremated also. So her her grave site is quite simple here with this, you know, little plaque. But I included this picture here on the left so you could see what I meant about the Greek style tunic and her bare feet. And you can also get an idea of the type of dance that she was famous for. So school of ballet of the Opera of Paris. Paris. Opera of Paris. Paris, yeah. Right. Okay, number six, the writer is, oh. Are you skipping number five? Ah! No, here's number five. Here's number five. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay, number five, the singer is Edith Piaf. So, um, so she, um, she has here a, a very nice, grave site it's a family grave looks really nice so i think every everybody's probably familiar with her no oh, i've really? never heard of her <laughs> oh i'm sorry i didn't mean to click this number six the the writer is gertrude stein never heard um, of she's she's seen here with her life partner oh. alice b toklas and oh I didn't mean to click that. I wanted. <laughs> I, Boy, you're doing it with your brain. That's I, we'll get to we'll get to bed sooner. It's fine. Uh, so let me click Gertrude Stein again, and uh, ah, oh, geez. <laughs> Sorry. They're not going anywhere. Okay, so I wanted to show you her grave. So um, the picture is probably too small for you to see it, but it just says Gertrude Stein here. And then on the back side of it, this is the back side, and it's uh, got, it says Alice B. Toklas. And so they're both buried in the same plot here. Did they die on the same day? No, they didn't. <laughs> they didn't dig the other one up and move them over, did they? I guess that's what they do. I mean, stuck them on top. Something like that. Yeah, you can see how packed in the, all the graves are here. I mean, they're, they are jam packed in here. Must be hard to get in if you don't. There, people are probably dying to get in. Yeah, uh, I heard it, like, uh, like, for example. I've never like, heard that before. Uh, like, uh, like, like, like in a year, they, um, like maybe 5,000 people will apply to get in and they'll accept like, 116 oh. i think something like that so you have to be I, I, you know like you have to like be like really famous and you have to have certain social status and you have to I, meet certain criteria plus it's very expensive um i just want to make make it clear that no cemetery jokes under 50 years old will be accepted for the <laughs> remainder of this presentation <laughs> Okay, well, I already uh -huh. revealed, I already revealed the big secret, which I don't think was much of a secret because the mime is the only mime I have ever heard of, and that is Marcel Marceau. Yeah, of course. Um, but it turns out that he's a very how about Red Skelton? <laughs> well, I don't think he was a mime. He was he was he very much was. Oh, no. I guess he was. I guess I remember his old TV show. I guess he did do a lot of that type of thing yeah thank god yeah well anyway marcel marceau turns out to be a really interesting person because um he was very active in the french resistance and he personally smuggled at least 70 children out of france and across the alps into switzerland really saving them from concentrate to from being sent to concentration right. camp. Yeah, they, they met the Von Trapp family coming the other way. <laughs> <laughs> the Nazis couldn't hear him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because he's a mime. <laughs> so I thought that was too. Well, they could sneak really well because he was really quiet and such right. a good example. <laughs> and so and like, they didn't have to I worry do. about him talking if he got caught. Right. No. <laughs> <laughs> For a little bit of seriousness, he didn't start his mime until after the war. That is true. 
That is true. He did. He worked. He he was actually in hiding himself, and he did all of his resistance work, be, you know, before he as a young person, and then after the war, he began his show business career. Okay, the artist is Surat, and this is his grave site, which is real. There are like hundreds of these kinds of crypts which I think are really interesting. This is a family crypt and see how, I'm not sure how this works and I'm guessing that it's bigger on the inside. <laughs> it's, it's, it looks like a TARDIS. The outside. Isn't, that a, isn't that a Doctor Who thing? Yeah. yeah. It's kind of magic. <laughs> we even got the S on this. First that, was TARDIS. that was a TARDIS reference. Yeah, so um, I wanted to show you the painting that I was oh referring God. to. If you're not, oh, I've seen this. Right. Oh, yeah. um, I, be I believe it is here in Chicago at the. Art it Institute is. That's Chicago. where. That's where I saw it many years ago, and it is magnificent. No, no, no. This was in the conference room at Lockheed Martin. I used to see this every day. We had. It. <laughs> <laughs> um. And I just over here on the right, I enlarged um, just this little piece right here so that you could possibly see the detail of pointillism where he used, um, you know, like these little juxtaposed dots of different colors. So um, instead of oh. instead of blending the colors with the paint, your eyes optically blend the colors from a distance because that's why the painting is so big and then you stand back and your the your eyes blend the colors and when oh ah shit <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't mean to click it um this has been you, recorded when yeah, you motion stand, controls or something when you stand back you know it looks it. like it's blended so oh, I mean, I had no you idea. mean like a t like a computer monitor yeah. yeah so it's like like it's like a computer monitor right oh, exactly yeah. exactly and so he is the father of Neo the pixels, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, okay, I accidentally revealed number nine. I think everybody got it. Yeah, um, and very that interesting is character, Oscar Wilde, and I don't think people talk about his hair enough. <laughs> yeah. He's got great hair. Well, he was wild, very, very fashionable, um, and very. You know, I'm I'm a big fan of his and he had a very tragic life of course if probably everybody's sort seen of a movie about him um and um and so after he died you know because of what happened to him he died completely broke and with his reputation in ruins and he uh, was buried in a pauper's grave in a different cemetery and then his friends raised money to have him move to Père Lachaise, which is, you know, more fashionable and um, built, had this commissioned, this, his one friend had commissioned this monument to be built for his grave. Um, and um, so then over the years, this tradition kind of grew up that people would start putting lipstick on their lips and kissing this stone, which turned out to be a really bad thing um, because the animal fat in the lipstick deteriorates the stone and, you know, and, the, and then they had to clean it all the time. And so, and it really defaced it. Here's a picture of the part of it. And so finally, they had to um, um, like restore the totally restore the whole thing. Yeah. And then you can see here yeah. in the bottom that they built this. Yeah. Oh, man, people are around it. stupid. Yeah, I know. And so it, I don't know if the picture is big enough for you to see yeah, it. You look really close. People have like hoisted themselves up above the glass and continued to to 
kiss, put kisses on, put lip prints on the stone still above the glass after they've, you know, cleaned it. Uh, they put lip prints here above the glass and you can see here on the, um, you know, on the lip, uh, on the lips of the statue. Oh, what a shame. Um, they but I also a tiger wanna... in there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that, that won't damage the stone at all. <laughs> I also want to point out that on the statue, you know, long ago, you know, years ago, um, there's a body part here. Um, see my cursor? Yeah. There's a yeah. body part that was very prominent and it was broken off. Somebody broke it off and stole it. So that's gone. Oh, man. People are really suck. Yeah, they do. They do. And hey, what, what body part would that have been? Um, <laughs> people really suck. A very second part. <laughs> and then number 10, the rock star is, of course, Jim Morrison. And speaking of another guy with good hair. I was gonna say, is this my a God. people with good hair? I just <laughs> want to tell you guys, anybody here who's as old as I am, this is going to blow your mind. Jim Morrison has been dead for 51 years. Wow. Yeah, that's how long yeah. he's been dead. <laughs> so, I mean, when I did the math, I just couldn't believe that. So, um, anyway, this, this um, headstone is not the original headstone because people have um, vandalized so much and, um, and actually the original headstone it had a a bust of of Jim Morrison on top of it but somebody stole that and um, so they the this his uh, little his gravesite is kind of tucked away behind a bunch of other graves and so people you know come in and they trample over all the other graves and um, you know they put their garbage and their alcohol and their, you know, the graffiti all around and they stand on and, you know, trample on like the, the other graves around. And so Paralishes many years ago built fence, uh, fencing around all the graves to enclose it so that people could still look, you know, and, but, but people just climb over the fences. And so you see how they've deposited all of their, um, you know, tributes here because they just climb over the fences anyway. Um, so like 4,000 people visited his site on the 40th anniversary of his death. So um, then that's a lot of people for this tiny little area, but I couldn't find anything to tell me how many people attended uh, or visited on the 50th anniversary of his death. But um, most of us have gotten pretty old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um wasn't uh his grave originally moved like the body to somewhere yeah, else? That's one of that's one of the conspiracy theories or one of the myths that have grown around his death, you know, they that the that his grave that his body was moved, but from everything that I can find, there's no truth to that. Very oh, interesting. Okay. I heard that his whole grave was moved. He was buried at one place and then they moved the whole. Yeah. From everything, of course, I, of course, I have no inside knowledge, but from everything that I know, uh, I mean, from everything that I have found, um, he was buried very quickly within two days before the, uh, his death, the, the, the fact that he had died was even released to the public and that he is still there in this grave. And despite all efforts that they, you know, kind of control the crowds, um, that his family has said that they will never move his body. They have, that you have to pay for a certain number of years and they have now paid for a lifetime stay <laughs> you know at <laughs> oh, whose lifetime are we talking about <laughs> well, I think, like for eternity yeah I mean, eternal, sure the, an eternal perpetual stay yeah there you go you would think that the the amount of money that this 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 uh cemetery must rake in 
they should have guards around these things. They do have guards around Morrison's. And they still have problems. That's amazing. And also Oscar Wilde. Yeah. What a shame. What a shame that people have to vandalize stuff. Some of the mausoleums, from my understanding, uh, they look small, but you actually go inside and you can go down. Some of them go down underground. Yeah, I think that like those crypts, like that we were yeah. saying look kind of like a TARDIS. Um, mm -hmm. I kind of like searched to see like, how do those work? Because I, I've always been curious and, and I saw that like that you do, that they do have underground, that they go down and then, you know, like they layer the uh, coffins down there underground and yeah. um yeah and they they like all of these family plots no matter what type no matter what style they are they just have an amazing way of fitting in lots of bodies by stacking them um yeah and and if you see like i have uh, it's just amazing if you look up these pictures of Perlishes, it's just amazing how they have packed these grave sites in. It's just so interesting. It's 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 beautiful and astonishing and uh, morbid all at the same time. Yeah, it is. That's <laughs> really a good word for it. <laughs> Very interesting. All right, let's do our scores. Good job, Jane. Thanks, Jane. I'll have I'll have to look up a lot of these people afterwards. So I'm curious about some of them now. Yeah, you it definitely is. have to yeah. listen, listen to Levy on Rose. Yeah. All right. So let's go with uh, closing arguments. And uh, billboard. Oh, um, eight, eight. And 99 kaput balloons. Eight. And can any Americans here sing the Canadian national anthem? And. And dead silence. Eight. Still in the lead, but the Canadian, the American Canadian anthem people are getting closer. They're catching up. Oh my gosh, what are we going to do? Mm -hmm. Hey. Yale, you're going to be up next. Are you ready? I'm ready. Um, On that note, uh, goodbye, we're everybody. Losing, we're losing Vincent. Good night, Vincent. Good night, Vincent. Your departure is being recorded. <laughs> oh, <I know>. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting oh. late for me, too. I'm heading out as well. Light weights for New Jersey. I'll, I'll, I'll try to remember next week to wear it again. That's great on you. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, yeah. Okay, really so, nice. um, I'm going to make a mention real quick before Gail starts that next week, which is uh, game 149, we have Jamie, we have Rob, and I have Carl doing the bonus, and I still need two people to jump up and give me a category. Just Throwing that out there for you now. Go ahead, Gail, whenever you're ready. Okay. Um, our category today, something really a little different from what we've been doing so far, is going to be a little history from the Tudor dynasty in England. Mm -hmm. uh, things related to the Tudor, Tudor dynasty. And uh, let me say one hint. That my background, by the way, is a hint. I'm not going to tell you anything more than that, but you can use it if you'd like. And while the questions may be, a few of them may be a little obscure, um, I think that mm -hmm. many of the questions that seem obscure, you can figure out if you work at it. Okay. I, I believe that I wrote them in a way that you can figure them out. And question one, for those of you who are real history buffs, I know absolutely that this yeah. is an oversimplification. This king came to power when he was successful in ending the War of the Roses in 1487 by defeating Richard III. He otherwise had a weak claim to the throne, but his starting of the Tudor dynasty brought together both the Red 
We got muted. I'm sorry, I muted because I realized I hadn't done it sooner. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't remember about it. muting. Can you, should I read it again then? No, no, you were, you were on the last few words, I think, yeah. but it started in the Tudor okay. dynasty, brought together both the red and the white roses. Who is he? Okay, and just as the Civil War uh, isn't really over, even though it's over, I know somebody is going to, who knows history, is going to say that fighting continued on occasion and there were plots and things happening after, after he came to power, but they had no lasting influence. And he certainly did bring together the, the two competing families. Okay, question two. Henry VIII is particularly known for his six wives. There is a current Broadway musical, I don't know if it's still playing, but it's still on tour, uh, that was nominated for eight Tonys that is supposed to tell their story. What is its title? Oh, I know that Robin's jumping up and down right now. She's, gonna go see, related, she's, gonna right? go, she's going to go see this in a couple of weeks. Oh, I'm sorry about that. It's horrible. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I almost I've saw it in uh, Britain. It may be good Broadway. It's not good history. Anyway. No, uh, yeah, it's not good history, of course. <laughs> okay, question three. Tudor architecture is particularly known for its half-timbered exteriors. Later, Jacobean and Georgian architecture mostly replaced it in the UK, but one then British colony revived the style centuries later. Okay, question four. Whoops, sorry about that. It's goofed. I apologize. I just I just erased instead of copied my question. Okay, hit control Z. Yeah, it's it's not working. I guess I did it badly. So let's see if I can go back to the other copy I have of this. I apologize. Uh, what's going on? This is what happens when you're, everybody's waiting and you can't get in. Okay. My cat's snoring over here. Been there, been there. <laughs> yeah, I think we've all been there at some point. Okay. Here, I'm up to question four, right? Okay, yeah. question four. Let me copy it here. Fortunately, I have a second copy. Ryan's cat, look at Ryan's cat. Okay, question four. <laughs> Bob's cat. Okay, question four. Henry VIII's third wife was the mother of the first English monarch to be raised as a Protestant. Who was this king? Okay, question five. Who was the Tudor monarch who had the shortest reign? Question six. The Tudor reign ended when the Elizabeth I died childless. What family then inherited the, the throne? That is, what is the family, the dynasty that followed the Tudors? Okay. Question seven. What U.S. state is named for a Tudor monarch? Question eight. Hmm. 
What was the invention by Lewis Farrington in 1596, which was during the Tudor era, that didn't become popular or used until the mid 19th century? Some scientists have called it humanity's most significant invention to improve hygiene. Question nine. There are two significant women named Queen Mary who are often confused by people who know some of the history of this era. One has been nicknamed Bloody Mary. Was this Mary Queen of Scots or Mary the First of England? And finally, number 10. Margaret George wrote a novel that cleverly depicts the possible inner thoughts in Henry VIII's mind throughout his life. The book includes commentary in the margins written by his fool who obtained the manuscript after his death. What is the title of the book? Okay, there's no questions? No, I'm ready to go. Okay, open all rooms. By the way, Susan, I got the newsletter. Oh, you did? Yes. Somebody got the newsletter. Did you? Read it? <laughs> I haven't had a chance to read it yet. Okay. Well, let me know. I, I'm really curious what you think of it. Okay. Okay. So I was going to major in Tudor history. So I feel really embarrassed. There's a couple of these I don't know. And I've forgotten everything I learned in history class in Canada. Okay. 70 years ago i didn't learn any of this ever in my life do you know your i didn't history? either oh, uh, they taught us all we, we <laughs> had to go had... we had to okay. go through all this number stuff one is uh edward the i want to say seventh but i'm kind of not yeah, sure it would be that late it'd be like edward the third or something oh god what is his name okay richard the third no it was richard the third who's fighting edward the I hate these stupid number people. Yeah. I, Next one I'm, is, I'm assuming, Gail, we need to have the numbers. Yeah, of course. You wouldn't know. You can't. Well, you, you could know. just say Edward. No. no, you couldn't just say Edward. There are too many of them. Yeah, I yeah. know, I know, I know. The next one is the movie is, uh, the play is called Six. Six, yeah. Okay, number three, I think it's New Zealand. Are you sure? Three. I'm living in a Tudor house. I'm thinking it might be the U.S. Former colony. Janine, that was honestly my first thought. Janine went to uh, the U.S. one too. That doesn't mean I know anything about architecture. I mean, all <laughs> I know is I'm, I'm living in a house that's that's Tudor architecture. I don't know when that started in this country, but. What British colony revived the style centuries later? You know, I don't have a good answer. That doesn't have anything to do. I don't know anything about. Okay. Number four, uh, and I'm, I'm blanking on his name. Isn't that James? No. But, but I don't remember the I thought James was her her kid. No, no, no. Uh, the third child is named. Um, I want to say Peter, but I don't think it was Peter. But he became a king. There was never a king. Oh, Peter. yeah, but he, he didn't make it to adulthood. He died at 16 or 17. Right, but the question is asking who was the king. And I thought James was yeah, the king. He became a king, but he never made it to maturity. Uh, this is his wife, Jane. Right, Jane. Yeah. And, oh, wait. Jane Seymour. And right. she had a baby. She died right after he was born. And then after Henry VIII died, he became the king. And but he didn't ever reign. 
his 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 in laws, the Seymours, um, dominated him. It's probably autistic. I I every time I think about him, I think of him as an autistic kid. He unemotional. He used to keep a diary. All every day of his life, he kept a diary, and they were all really unemotional stuff like. You know, today so and so was murdered, or whatever. You know, just like in a deadpan voice. And his name was King, but he's not really known because he never really reigned or anything much. He tried to start the Protestant Church back again, and his name was—I don't think it was James. Uh, the James, was, I, I think he was, an ad- was. It was an adult James, is what I'm thinking of. Oh, you're, thinking of about. A, you're thinking of the he, Stewards. Um, yeah, which this is kids coming up. Is, shoot okay we'll go on the tudor monarch the shortest reign is lady jane gray she was there for nine days unless he's gonna say mary mary um the first she was about four years but i think it's lady jane gray she was nine days the tudor reign ended when she died childless that's the stewart's the Stewarts, yeah. Yeah, and then what U.S. state is named for a Tudor monarch, I think, is Maryland. Maryland, right. Hey, what do you think that is? Because I have an idea what I think it is. What do you think it is? I was going to say the shower. <laughs> I think it's a toothbrush. Ooh. At first, I was like soap, but that's not really an invention. That is. I don't know. The way she worded the question didn't feel like it would be soap. Uh, soap's been around a lot longer than that, I'm sure. Yeah, soap's been yeah. But I kind of I kind of like toothbrush. And then, deodorant, deodorant. Uh, number nine is Mary Mary the First of England. Yeah, got that. And I don't know the book. No. I, I don't think I've read really any novels based, you know, or in historical facts. So I don't really know. I know who Margaret George is. She did a whole bunch of those kinds of books. What is a king's moon? So at this point, we, we haven't figured out which Edward is number you, one. You sure it's not Edward the seventh? Wait. It's well, Richard I thought, like, Stewart. It, it, okay, it's Richard the third. You guys remember your Shakespeare, right? Not very well. Because that's what it, it was. was. A long time ago. It was Richard the third. It's 50 years ago. And he fought. <laughs> Edward the it's one of the early like Edward the Confessor one of those guys but because uh, no. Edward the Edward the seventh or sixth was like Elizabeth's grandfather Elizabeth the yeah, second so let me think so it's got to be a low number the third, Richard and Edward so I keep thinking it's like I was going to say two or three, but it can't be three because that would make no sense. It'd be Richard the Third and Edward the Third would no. Well, I don't know. Richard the Third and Shakespeare didn't do any Edward plays. King Edward the okay. Well, let's just count backwards. So there was Edward, and then there was another Edward. So that one was Edward the Eighth. And there was an Edward the Seventh. They're modernish, you know. Right. And then could it be Edward the Sixth? It's possible. Was there I, like a I, big I'm gonna say six because it's something like that. Edward the Fifth? Could it be the fifth? Sixth. I'm gonna say six. Who's writing these down? Should I got them down. I'm, I'm going with six. Them, but Ron's Edward the writing sixth, down. And I'm not 100 percent sure. God, what is that kid's name? He was king. Um he wasn't King Henry the Ninth. His name wasn't Edward. Was yeah, it Henry the Eighth? Was the last Henry? Could he have been? Could he have been an Edward? That's possible. If so, then that would be Edward the Fifth. Could he have been an Edward? I want to think. He, I keep thinking he's like a Paul. That doesn't make sense. No, I don't think there's not ever... Arthur. It's not, it wasn't Arthur. Yeah, that, no, that was a little bit before that time. No, there no, was never, well, there was... Henry VIII's first, the brother, his older brother who died was Arthur. But he was never king. No. 
Yeah. But I'm thinking that's always wondering if if Henry VIII but, named his son after that, his brother. But I don't. That think could be how he got some of the Edwards out of the way. Is he just didn't last very long? Yeah. Go with Edward the Fifth, and then let's make it Edward the Sixth. Wait a minute. So number so four is want, which one so, is Edward the Fifth? Okay, number one is Edward the Fifth. Oh, okay. And then number and, and four is, is Edward the Sixth. Sixth. Okay. So maybe Henry the Eighth named his son after his father, and that's why we got Edward the Sixth. And then there's Edward the Seventh and Edward the Eighth are modern. I believe so. Yeah. I think that's how it goes. Okay. Oh, flip and confusing. Um, could he have been okay. Edward the Sixth? Yeah, I, he could have been. And I uh george margaret george's novel the impossible inner thoughts and we still haven't figured out what to go with with number eight the invention i thought we settled on the toothbrush did we i'll, I'll put toothbrush until somebody comes up with something i else. wrote that down okay that was the only suggestion we were given okay how about, how about 10 and henry the fool no, the fool of Henry the Eighth, or the Henry's fool. Could it be some kind of name like that? I, I have no idea. I mean, it's just a made-up book, so. You know, the more I think about it, the more I'm thinking that it's right that Henry the Eighth's son was Edward. That does sound familiar. Now I think about it. I, I don't know about the numbering, but I'm pretty sure about the name. See, I'm just really good with stories. I'm not really great with the actual fact or numbers and stuff like that, but I can well, tell you lots of stories about things. That's how I remember everything. It's just a story. But if you have to be like, what was the person's name? Well, I don't know. My mind goes that way. And I think it is Maryland because it was at first I said Victoria and I thought, oh, wait, no, that wasn't, there wasn't a Tudor Victor. Oh, no. we didn't decide on um the Tudor ar architecture. You guys want to go with the United States? That's my vote only because I'm like I said, I'm living in a Tudor house. Well, so with you. <laughs> Not that this is exactly ancient history, but I remember just that there was a lot uh when we were in Christchurch, it was like a mini Britain. It was so crazy. And they didn't there's no Queen Anne and no Georgian homes in, um, that's not a thing in uh, New, New Zealand. And I, I thought it might be Tudor, but I might be wrong. We went down the west side of the South Island, so you didn't really see the got to Christchurch. You were looking at the nice, beautiful things. The you know, I don't think I saw the Pacific Ocean the whole time I was we saw the Tasmanian Sea. Hmm. Is that weird? They used to use this. Well, let me ask you this, Ron. Does um, Tudor also, I mean, I know it has those planks on the outside that kind of like frame it, but right. does it also use, it's like an iron. It's got a lot of swirls in it. And it's very fancy and it's used for, balcony kind of stuff because that was i think i did a lot of photographing of that and i think it was in new zealand it was on homes they would they would have um oh. like a piece of metal about this big you know about this high and it would go across it would be like on the balcony and it was yes. just curly 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 iron work I, I know what you're describing when what i when i think of the tudor stuff i think of well these days it's the white the white or beige stucco with the cross beams across yeah, across it which is what our house like. which is what our house looks like yeah and you know that's something i have seen you know you look at depictions of of uh early boston you see that sort of architecture too, which is kind of why I'm thinking mm -hmm. the U.S. Whether it's the only one, I don't know. You, you know, you're probably the right. You're probably right. I see. My thing is, is, I've always been on the West Coast, so to me, I, I never think of America as a colony. It just doesn't even. I'd have to. I have to go. Oh yeah, <laughs> we were a colony, but it, I always think of uh, America as a Spanish. Um, right. Know. Yeah. I can I think do that. Me, 
I think of it as Rain and Lewis and Clark. Oh, how interesting. Okay, you Brandy, what do you think of America? Do you think of a um I think rednecks. <laughs> <laughs> You're born uh, from Kansas. So, so, that's so where, where do you live, Brandy? I'm I'm living in Las Vegas, but I, I was now, born okay. in Kansas. Okay. So that's really funny because I thought of farmers as being very um European and finesse. And then I get to Oregon State University and there were all the rednecks from Eastern Oregon. But in Tillamook, it was the Swiss, the Swiss oh, dairy farmers. Ah. I was very of, shocked when I got to animal science at Oregon State. When you think of architecture, what do you think of? Of America, Ar architecture. Log cabins. See, I, think, like I, said, yeah. I, think, I think of stucco <laughs> and and missions and stuff like that. Adobe. All right, not, a lot, not a lot of that in New Jersey. Well, no, we never did get number ten. Unless you want no, to go we with. We haven't gotten ten. The, the uh, no, but I don't think I even a clue. The, yeah, Henry the Henry. Henry you want to go Henry, Henry, Henry the, the fool. fool. <laughs> I've told all the other teams, so I'm going to tell you too. I gave you a big hint by saying you can figure some of these out. The the hidden the inner thoughts of Henry the Eighth. Fool, I'd go with Henry the Eighth and fool something. Fool, a fool's, a fool's. The mind of Henry the Eighth. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, I don't know. I I, I really I, read much fiction. Uh, I go yeah. with it. You're all going to be kicking yourselves in the window. I know. One and a half minutes from now. It's not. It's not a fool's. Uh, um, it's not Mario Ship of, Puzo's, a fool's, Ship of Fools. Ship of Fools. No. no, that's not quite about this. Henry's fool. Henry's fool. Well, well, is the oh the margin. The margins and stuff is actually part of the book, yeah. not not right. something that was done later. No, no. no so it, it has something to do with the book. Pool. So it has to Freya, be a pool. Henry's pool pool, something. Pool. I mean, none of these are showing up as books seconds. I've ever heard of. Make it up, Ron. Make it up, Ron. <laughs> well, something with fool and Henry. There you go. Henry's fool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's why I, I just want another season of Andor already. If yeah. if there's any shows going on, the first show I'm going to watch is going to be Andor because that was by far my loved Andor. Well, so you got I, I, I was chomping at the bit to watch the next episode. Yes, we are ready. Okay, ready, yeah. Gail. I will read the answers and then I'll put the whole list in the chat. Okay, and okay. some of you are going to be very angry at yourself because you. You were thinking, but you were not thinking about the hint I gave you. I gave you a whole bunch of hints that I didn't hear people picking up on. Question one, this was the first of the Tudor monarchs, right? Because it was he ended the, 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 yeah. the War of the Roses, and several of you knew that he killed Richard III to do that. Right. And it was Henry. What Henry was it? Well... You know that Henry VIII was a Tudor monarch. Oh, it was Henry the Soon Seventh. After that, Damn it. Henry the Seventh. I thought it was Edward. No, it You're was right. Henry. You're but right. we got Edward Henry. The Damn it, we, we crossed out Henry the Seventh and put something else. Oh, well, yeah. Henry the Eighth is coming only a couple of in the next generation. No, but right? sometimes they go, they go. Yeah. So plus or minus Henry, one on the Henry? Henry the seventh <laughs> plus or minus one. Plus or minus five Henry. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> If Henry you VII. if you know that the Tudors were only there for a for a century, less than a century, then it had if he was you know Henry the Eighth was a Tudor, it was Henry the Seventh, who was his father, by the way. Okay, Mo, I think you all got 
that number two is six, and there is no resemblance between the real history and that dreadful play. They have the um, same names. That's about it. Yeah, and that's about all it is in the play, too. Uh, three, I was listening to what you were saying, and I think that I want to be very generous here. The correct answer is the United States, but several teams said the United States was many colonies. So if you named any of the United States colonies, you can have it. <laughs> because I it wasn't was back 13 New colonies. I was New Zealand the whole United colonies? States. Was New Zealand an American colony ever? Uh, no, we changed I, it to America. I got talked about Bermuda. I specifically avoided America. Is fine. The ah, yes, we changed to Bermuda. That's right. That's definitely an American colony. It's only seven hundred miles off the coast. <laughs> What'd you say, Carl? I said I. No, I don't know that they. they, I, they I intentionally didn't even suggest the United States because of the way the question was phrased. Yeah, well, and and yeah. and I'm pretty sure that Singapore also fits. Well, I do, I the, the source I had did not say Singapore. Okay, Gail's I haven't right. seen Go any ahead. that. But I was somebody in one of the teams actually said, "I live in a Tudor house." They got. I think that team got it right. That was us. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Rob lives in a Tudor house. The first English, the first monarch to be raised as a Protestant was Edward VI. I did it. I got the right. Number. You got it. You got the right number. <laughs> I got the right number. Oh my I god! Got the right number. Jeez, I couldn't get it. I couldn't get the other Henry the Seventh, but I got Edward the Sixth. Wow! He was the boy king. He was Henry the Eighth's final son. He finally got the son he wanted. Right, he died in a very short time. I think it was only a few years that his of his reign, and he never he just barely grew up. The Tudor monarch who had the shortest reign. I know some of you got this one with Lady Jane Grey. Nine days. She Because she was Yay, a Protestant Jane. and the person who was supposed to inherit would have been, uh, at that point, would have been Mary, who was a Catholic. And they didn't, and her, uh, she immediately followed Edward VI. And as he was dying as a Protestant, he didn't want to see the Catholic queen so he's, he named Lady Jane Grey as his heir. And she lasted for nine days before the legitimate heir, according to the rules, Queen Mary, who was a Catholic, became queen. But she was queen for nine days. Okay. It ended when, when Elizabeth was childless and, was, and she was followed by the son of Mary, Queen of Scots, and James. started the Stuart dynasty. Yeah. James I to be named. And what was the, the state name for a Tudor monarch? Virginia, I think most of you got that. What? Uh, Virginia, yeah, the Virgin Queen. Name for Elizabeth, oh, who was the Virgin I did Queen. say that. And then I said, no, no, it must be Maryland. You're right. It is Virginia for, for Elizabeth. For Elizabeth, yeah. Okay. Um, and Maryland was, was for Queen Mary, but it wasn't that Queen Mary. I okay. thought Maryland was for. Uh, uh, Mary, St. Mary. Mary. No, I, th it's, I think Maryland it was Mary of Henry and Mary, Mary, the wife of King Because Charles. they're quite jocular there. According okay. to Texas. Number eight was the hint in my background. And some of you caught this. My background was some sort of an architectural design. And some of you got this answer right because I heard it. The answer is the flush toilet. <laughs> oh, oh, good fresh. job, Leonard. And this is an, a diagram of the flush toilet in the castle. And, and that's why it's called a jog. Oh. <laughs> okay. Number nine, those two are confused all the time. It was not Mary Queen of Scots. It was Mary the First because of all of the burnings of the Protestants because she tried to reestablish the Catholic Church. And I can't see how anybody can people who would do two. it. That's like, oh my God. No. They were, they were cousins. But no, Mary, they're two distinct people. Yeah, well, that's true. They, they never met each other. Yeah, they're just the history of these two is just they're totally uh, anyway. Yeah, but they were so far away in space and time. They're just like they're the same. <laughs> Mary, Mitch, Mary, 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 Queen of Scots became an issue when Elizabeth was queen because the people who wanted her. To replace Elizabeth on the throne kept plotting against her. Right. And Elizabeth did not want to be plotted against. 
and did not want to kill her. But eventually there were enough plots and it became serious enough that she agreed. Yeah, now, right question 10 was the one I was talking about when I said, figure it out. And some of you are going to kick yourselves when I tell you why you could have figured it out. I know that you probably had never heard of the autobiography of Henry VIII, which, by the way, is an excellent book. But here's why you could have figured it out. She wrote a novel because he never wrote an autobiography, right? It's a novel. And how do you know it cleverly depicts the possible inner thoughts in his mind? We don't only person who knows the thoughts in their mind is that person themselves, right? And the story is that she put, portrays in the book is that Henry VIII wrote a secret autobiography. It was a diary that he kept all through his life. And when he died, he entrusted it to his fool, who was his biggest confidant. And the fool kept it, and it was found and published. And it is a fascinating book to read if you're interested in this era in history. Um, I had a copy and I ended up passing it around to about several dozen people because it's just written as if it was, in fact, an actual diary that Henry VIII wrote. And his fool keeps making these comments about what he's writing in the in the comment, in the in the margins. So it's it's a very interesting book. But of course, in order it has to be an autobiography in order to fit that what that question was about. And it's I mean, after all, Gertrude Stein wrote the autobi autobiography of Alice B. Toklas. Uh -huh. Exactly. In fact, when I saw that question, I thought, I wonder if I give if that question is given away this answer. But I don't think I don't even know if anybody. So, got what it. is the title of the book? And I the autobiography of Henry the Eighth. Bill knew it. Good. <laughs> it's Bye. a great. Okay, I'll put the answers in. The I'm really embarrassed that I didn't do better. Good job, Jane. Jane got it for us. Oh, yeah. Like we're always, I didn't Caspian. think they were going to be hard, but I, you never can tell. Oh, if, if Paula had been here, she would have flipped. I'm oh, going to yeah. tell her that these she's she be so them. pissed. She loves this era. Absolutely. Her and I will sit and talk and talk and talk and talk about it. It's a oh. very popular time. Well, yeah, it's a very interesting time, boy. All it's right, so we're going to really our, from we're into our scores. And before I go to scores, has anybody decided they wanted to volunteer for next week's two categories that I have open? Everybody gets really still. You know, I just did a category, Susan, but you know, yeah, yeah. anytime you need me, just Ron's oh, waving his Ron, hand. Ron, Ron did. Ron, Ron. He was volunteering loudly, except he was on mute. Um, Ron, awesome. Yeah. My you wife's get... deserting me for a week, so I got time to go and put it together. Ooh, right. And then, did I see who else did I see's hand up? Who was it? Which of you guys I saw? I think I saw my brother's hand go up. Alan, did I see a hand go up? Adrian? No, she just went this way. Carl, Carl's hands up. No, he's I'm doing, already doing the he's bonus. Doing... He's doing the bonus, so Carl's hand did not go up. It I actually have one. It's just next week's a tough week for me. Okay, so maybe he'll you... be okay. You want to do it next week? I think so. Okay, cool. I think he'll be okay. I haven't finished, so all right. But I will cool. have forgotten everything about it. Okay, so Ron, <laughs> Jamie, I get there. Ron, Jamie, Rob, Janine, and Carl. That should be an interesting lineup. Okay, fantastic. Let's do our scores you guys always come through for me you guys are always so awesome i don't have to push you too hard all right here we are bonus i mean number four so we're gonna go with oh this one was the, the closing arguments was in the end was in the last place and then it, it bumped up okay so we'll jeff be epstein. back in the last place after this round oh, <laughs> jeffrey epstein six Closing arguments. Four. Well, we know you got. We know you got that one right. <laughs> I got. I got number two right. Ooh, yeah, ooh. we know you did. Uh, Ninety-nine kaput balloons. Sorry, I was on mute. Six. Okay. And <laughs> let's go with Canadian Americans here singing the Canadian national anthem. 
believe it was eight. Wow, good job. Look at the top <laughs> score here. Let's see, did Dead Silence take them over? Nine. Hold the lead, just barely. Just barely, let's see, can Robin screw it all over and really mess them up and make this whole thing turn on its topsy turvy head? What do you think? Can it? Can you do it? Can you do it, Robin? Can you pull it off? Can you make them just tank? What do you think? Tell Mark yeah, his yeah. psychic powers are pretty good. I apologize. My husband is having a sneezing fit in the background. I hope you can't hear it. Uh, are you ready for my bonus question? Yeah, we'll see. Okay. <laughs> there are 16 landlocked countries in Africa. Name 10 of them. <gasps> and country. There we go. Oh my God. Where's nice. my Caspian when you need him? So uh I don't think I have powers. Yeah, you do. Break out rooms. Let me see if I do. We're gonna open all rooms. <sighs> okay, good. Here we go. I started here. I'll, I'll leave. Susan has entered. I was gonna say, God, I hope there's more people or you guys are really know your African no. countries. I don't know my African countries. Did we lose Bob? You have Bob and Ryan, right? Oh, here comes there. Bob. Did Ryan already go to bed? Um, Wendy left. Oh, Wendy left, huh? Yeah. Bob, you know your African countries, right? Oh, probably a little better than I know Henry the Eighth. Uh, I knew my Henry the Eighth. I didn't. And I, and I thought, I guess the seventh Henry the Seventh, and I talked myself out of it. I just got very thing of that was my first answer. So I think it's Henry the Seventh for them. I got myself so, all confused. I got uh, Gabon, Chad. Republic of Congo, Zimbabwe. Is that Muslim category? Henry the Eighth. I was um, going to wait for the, the tutor. Was there more? No. African countries that aren't on the coast. Okay. All, all the ones I'm thinking of are touching the sea. Oh, well, think of something else. Um, <laughs> um, What about Nigeria? Ethiopia? Only the kitty. Boy, that no, is a the, masculine looking kitty. No, the Nile, the Nile Delta. Ethiopia, yeah. That, yeah, I think in Egypt. Ethiopia, yeah. Namibia. Ethiopia. What about the Namibia? other other countries that are always starving because they are in the middle of the desert? Yeah, N Namibia. another one and then I lost it. Somalia? Yeah. Mm, well no they no, have pirates. pirates. Yeah Somalia. Oh yeah it can't pirates. be can't be Somalia. Yeah you're right. You're yeah. right. Um, um did you say Chad? Yeah he I got, did. I got Chad yeah. Is Ethiopia landlocked? No, because yeah, Ethiopia, yeah, we got that. Yeah, I think so. Is Nigeria on the coast? Nigeria? I don't think so. Libya's Libya's at the top. It's got uh, water, right? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's on the coast. There's like 50 countries in in Africa, right? Um, I feel. He's throwing out. Get there. I feel like we should write down all the countries that we can think of and like cross them out. Yeah, yeah I've got. I'm, yeah, I got one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven. I've got I'm up to seven. Is there like East Guyana or North Guyana or something like that? And South Sudan and well is there is Congo one? You have the the, the Republic of Congo. Yeah, but Kenya. Congo. Kenya, that's the one I was okay, Kenya, yeah. Oh yeah, Kenya. Um, Think, yeah, of, think of all the guys who run, race, the Kenyans race all the time because they yeah. run across. Okay, yeah, there's the Republic of Congo. I think there's Congo too. Is, is, is Zaire still a country? Because the Congo was changed to Zaire. Mm. I think they changed it back. So I don't know if Zaire is. How about Zaire slash Congo. <laughs> no, the Republic of Congo is one, I know. Definitely, yeah. There's another one. Just called Tasmania. No. No. How about that's, a, that's an island off Australia? Why did I think it was a not in uh oh uh, well oh Kenya? Oh, I did said Kenya. Okay. Um what else? Um, Rhodesia, is Rhodesia on the coast? Or oh, is it still, or is it even called that anymore? Seven, I got eight. Okay, we're doing pretty good. What's right above South Africa? Like right there, because that, that's landlocked. Right if, above South Africa. If you were to go north of South Africa, what would you run into? Bunch North Africa. Ha <laughs> 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 ha. Is that Rhodesia? Hmm. Could be. I don't I know. I haven't heard of that. It's, it's named after Rhodes. You know, the person. Oh, named. the Island of Snakes? Huh? Rhodes? No. Some guy named Rhodes. Oh, not Rhodes Island, the Greek island. A, well, it's a name. It's whoever colonized it or whatever. It's mm. or somebody. Zimbabwe, did we get that one? Yeah, I get Zimbabwe. Zambia? Zambia. Is that even a place? Am I just thinking things <laughs> up? I don't know. Yeah. I think this it sounds like right. Like Eddie Murphy so. countries. This is a good what's, category, Robin. What's what's the what's the what's, really the, what's the movies? The movies like the African Queen and and uh, and the and the and the movie with um oh. the old Bogat movie. Oh, cross Maltese, Maltese Falcon. Is is there a place called Malta? A Maltese or something? That's mm -hmm. an island in the Mediterranean. An island? Okay. In the Mediterranean. Different continent. Um, yeah, I'm just thinking of anything that reminds me of Africa. There was, a, there was some kind of movie about... You make me feel better. African Queen or something. <laughs> I don't know these either. Um, Can we go back to the Tudor history? <laughs> No, we got eight already, but we might, we just need to, I'm just thinking got, of this, there's some African movies. I got Gabon, Chad, Republic of Congo, Zimbabwe, Ethiopia, Namibia, Nigeria, Kenya, Z Zambia. How about Niger? Did you get the Niger? Is Niger different than Nigeria? Niger? I think you're right, yeah. Niger. I think that, I have 10. What, name off your 10. Niger, Republic uh, of Congo. Yeah. Nigeria. Yeah. Kenya, yeah. Rhodesia. Zimbabwe. We, okay. Uh, what did I write here? Gabon. G-A-B-O. Gabon. Chad. Gabon. Yeah. Nabiria. What? N A B. I R A. Yeah. <laughs> I wrote it and wasn't in Liberia. No. 
That's not a place. It doesn't ring a bell. Okay, so I've got eight actually. Zaire Congo. Because we got Republic of Congo, but is there is there a Zaire? Where or was the ball? Where was the ball war? The Boers War or Boer War? Where was that? Boer Boer war. War. Africa? No, no, that was uh in Africa. Yeah, yeah. More by by Libya, I thought. Yeah, the Boers the were English there. were there and they fought a war. The Boer, B O A R, where was yeah, that? Yeah, those are the Dutch. So where did Dutch, where, uh, where was that at? I don't know. The yeah. country's name has changed now. There was there yeah. was a the, there was the story of um the battle to of make peef make peef or something I can't pronounce it. Were they? I got eleven. Okay, read yours. Gabon, Chad, Republic of Congo, Zimbabwe, Ethiopia, Namibia, Nigeria, Kenya, Zambia, Niger, and Rhodesia. Zambia. And you said Rhodesia, right? Yeah. I'm, I've got. Who the Nambias or whatever the other end one you said? I think one of them might not be real. There's one Namibia? of Namibia. No, Namibia is yeah. no, Namibia is good. How do you spell Namibia? How do you spell it? N A M I B I A. Okay, I think that's the one I'm missing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that's ten. Zambia. Namibia, Chad, I just asked my husband and he said, he said, what was it? Botswana. Botswana. Oh, Where's that at? In Africa. <laughs> Botswana is a good one. Okay, do we have to take one off? He he thought oh, that Nigeria wasn't on it. Well, no, is. Niger, but not Nigeria. Well, Nigeria too. Oh, he says both are in. They're both good. I don't know if they're both landlocked. They yeah, he says he says he thinks that they are. Um, there are sixteen. Well, Nigeria is. Night. Which? Nigeria. Yeah, he said no to Nigeria. Now he's rescinding. Okay. <laughs> no to okay. Nigeria okay. off and add Botswana. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Okay. Okay. I did. Let's see my check. One, two, three. Thank you. Four, there, they, five, yeah, there's 16 six, countries here. Eight, nine, 10, 11. I still got 11. Four, five, six, seven, eight. What do you want to leave? I've got what 10. Niger, Republic of Con Congo, Botswana, yeah. Kenya, Rhodesia, yeah. Zimbabwe, yeah. Gabon, yeah. Chad. Yeah. Namibia. Namibia. Nam Namibia. And then I have Zam Zambia. Zambia. You That's don't have I Ethiopia. Have. Oh. So if we've had Ethiopia, what should we take off? Namibia? No, I kind of like that Do one. Do we have Kenya? Yeah. Yeah. Take it off and put Uganda. Uganda. No, Kenya's not. Kenya's no. Kenya off. touches the ocean. Are you oh, okay. sure? No, no. Yes. We we got ten. We're all right without Kenya. One. Kenya can't they, touch the ocean. Kenya touches the ocean. Okay, take yeah. off Kenya and put which one? On? Uganda. Doesn't. I oh Uganda. Uganda. Right, yeah. I, I got ten. So what should like I take off? That is Uganda, yes. Now I got 11. What should I take off? Well, he's saying take Kenya off. Do you, do I did. Have... I still have 11. Uh, and you still have Nigeria on there? No, I take... took Nigeria. What's the choose? I can best guess, Bob. That was a good category. I like that one. Yeah, Bob, oh. just take it off because I don't know what to take off. The one that's wrong. <laughs> well, there's 16, so it could be on there, but we 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 have a, a 11. 
So he's got to take one off before she gives us the answer. The one that's closest to a coast. No trying to squeeze in extra points in the bonus round, wow. Susan. We are in last place. Yeah, we're so far behind. <laughs> there's no yeah, we're, we're not a threat to anyone. Mathematically impossible. You might be a threat <laughs> to be us team for game. last Mathematically place. Impossible. It would oh. be more of a it would be more of a morale booster. More than a, <laughs> okay, you got a Bob. Did you, did you make it? We don't want you to get those points because we're in competition. So who's going to be in last place? Right. Can, like one one place of of can we? Can can Robin? Can Robin read them off? Are we ready? I'm asking yeah. Bob. Um, Bob. Yeah, yeah. I'm, okay. I'm yeah, gonna yeah. push. I'm gonna push enter. I'm gonna put them in the chat. Then I'll read them. Okay. In alphabetical order. Oh, Botswana. Burkina Faso. Oh, you did. Burundi, okay. Central African Republic, Chad, Eswatini, and Eswatini. I think I saw somebody put Swaziland. I think Swaziland is Eswatini now. Or, um, if you put the old name, I'm cool with that. If you just look up what the unless name you're is. in top place and then you don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Ethiopia, Lesotho, Malawi, Mali, Niger, Rwanda. South Sudan, Uganda, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. You don't have Zimbabwe. Yeah, that I was the Zim first one we named. Zimbabwe is not, uh, did not come through. Yeah, you, you, you got to score your list. Yeah, I um, see it. I see it. 15. All right. It's uh, like 16. All right. Got it. Okay. Well, we're looking, hold on. So both Mali and Malawi. Yeah, looks like it, huh? And I was right. There is a Central African Republic. It was is a Central Democratic African Republic of the Congo. Sorry. It's so hard to keep those names straight. Uh, I've yeah. been working on it. I play, I play pub trivia every Tuesday night. So the Democratic I, Republic of the Congo is not in there? Yeah, that's what I... That's I think, it, I think it, it hits the ocean. It does. Yeah. A very oh, small part ocean. of it does. Yeah, and exactly. It's got, a little, it's got a little thing that sticks out to the ocean. Oh, and you are allowing yeah. Swaziland. Well, let me let me look let me look that up. What Swaziland became? We don't have Rhodesia. So, how many of these countries have a navy? Rhodesia is Zimbabwe. What? You need more food. Rhodesia is Zimbabwe. Oh yeah, it's oh, it's a tiny, tiny Swaziland. Yep, picture. Swaziland tiny. is Lord. now called Eswatini. Yep, that one is wrong. And so if you put Swaziland, I'm okay with Swaziland. It's Eswatini. Oh, yeah. Okay. We got a point there. Sorry, Zambia. Zambia. Zambia is not on the list. That didn't go. That's good. We did we did great. I don't I don't see Wakanda. Is that on the coast? <laughs> yeah, Wakanda. <laughs> it's been renamed, Rob. I don't think it's landlocked. Oh, come on. They have great beaches it's there. Just, it's just north of Buffalo Grove here. Yes, I, I think the Democratic Republic of the Congo is just dipping its toe in the water to test to see how cold it is. So <laughs> that's why it's such a small little spot. But yeah. what country's right above um, South Africa? I was trying to remember. Botswana. Uh, it's Botswana. Botswana. Okay, yeah. we have and Botswana's on the list. Yeah, well, we, we got it, but I didn't know where it was. All right, so I think I know what our score is. No. Bob, I hope you have the same thing I wrote. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, I hate scores. To have to scores. Scores are hard trying to keep track. Oops, wrong one. Almost hit the wrong one. Okay, so closing arguments, which is Robin's team. Seven. Yeah, that's what I got. Go team. Okay. All right, not not embarrassing. <laughs> All right, just <laughs> like a change. This <laughs> sign did yeah, it did not hang itself. Eight. Oh. 99 kaput balloons. Nine. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Wow. Nice. Okay. Can Americans here sing the Canadian national anthem? Ten. Ooh. Oh, okay. dun, 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 dun. Dead silence. Ooh, did they get seven? Nine. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no not... Mark was right. Mark, you were right. They did win. Chat GPT score is 41. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's, that's, funny. that's That's surprising. That Usually does really pretty funny. badly on things like this. Well, bad, bad is relative. <laughs> it's relative to us. So. <laughs> Very good. That was a good category there, Robin. That kind of text. 
Good see night, you Very good. Okay. All, All right. right. Guess... So hopefully I'll see you guys, uh, some of you tomorrow for Kenny Biddle's thing. And then on Saturday, yeah, I'll at be the there. workshop. We're going to try to come. What Saturday. time is that workshop on Saturday, Susan? Um, my time Pacific, it is at 10, 10, 10 to 12. More, 10 o'clock in the morning on Saturday. I yeah, I'm going to do it. East Coast. I can do it. I, I'm trying to fluctuate the times and stuff, and I'm happy to do these at a time that's specific for somebody, you, as long as they can guarantee there'll be a few other people. Have you up. put the reading material in there? Because you said there was some homework. I gotta um, go. It should be. Bye, on bye. bye Ron. Bye, bye Ron. It should be. Ron. The, um... I'm taking off too. Good night, folks. Bye, Rob. Bye. 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 Night, Rob. Good night, Rob. Bye, Rob. Looking forward to your interviews. Thank you. Yeah, Enjoy. They're it. very good. Yeah. Uh, you, you watch book you night, watch Picard, night, right, Rob? Well, oh, no, no, I did want to ask you. I haven't yet. It's uh, the first episode was today or today or yesterday. Yes, it was yeah. today. Or yeah, yesterday. Yeah. Was it good? Was it good? I was disappointed in most of the second season. Um I would say it's good, and I would say it's on without knowing for sure what's coming other than what we've seen in trailers. Okay. It's on track to be better than Okay. Good the night, other Kevin. two seasons, maybe good even night, combined. Night, there, there wasn't enough cue in everybody. The last one. All right, good night, yeah. leaving too. Good night. <laughs> oh, I oh. Hey, Gail, I sent you a text. This is Karen. Gosh, what Karen. did I do with those readings in here? I'm yeah. looking. I had them in here. Where would they be? And so, do you have a meetup thing announcement for this? Because if I if I have a meetup thing, I can share it. We have four meetup groups. Good night, Robin. I'll add, night, it. Robin. I'll add it to the thing right now so i'm gonna put him in here it's gonna be it tomorrow but Karen, i'm gonna put it under discussion i will send you my phone okay. number. you can call me if you want um i text i text in the, I have in your, the facebook I have event i'm sorry yeah let me see if i can pull i have your now. cell number that's what i was going to give you so just call me i'm i'm a late night person so i will be up yeah it, not tonight but i wanted to next couple days about robert's rules I'm home all the time. Just call. Thank you. Thank Good night, you. everybody. Good night, Leonard. Good night, Leonard. Uh, Robin, I I'm not Robin. Good I night, everybody. Question. Good night. Bye, Kyle. Um, Kyle. I was thinking of making a t-shirt. Or should we call you Carl? Trivia. Yeah. And I was making, I was taking all the categories that we've done and putting them in, like in text and then changing all the, the colors here. I'll show you what I was doing. But I can't get the resolution because I was just using a Word document. I don't know if you can make a Word document into a, a a print. Let me pull it up. Like a PDF, or I mean a, a JPEG or something. Is that what you? I have doing? it as a JPEG. I was trying to make it into a. Um, let me pull up. You had the, a Word document, right? So. Yeah. So. I kept trying to say that the resolution was too low. And I mm -hmm. thought, oh, come on, Susan, you should be able to figure this out. And mm -hmm. I couldn't figure it out. You can run it through some programs that will, you know, make the resolution greater. Gigapixel is one of them. You can do it through Photoshop and Lightroom as well. Oh, well, that's nice, but I don't have Photoshop or Lightroom and I don't use those. So. There's free ones. There's free ones though. On, on Pixlr is yeah. really good. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yep. Here's Okay, this is this is an idea. This is a, a mock-up. I love that. Nice. And it's I only did the first like inch and a half. You guys like that, huh? Yeah, it's great. So it's, it's only like the first inch and a half. And then I was just coloring them all different. And I tried different fonts and I was playing around with it. And anyway, so I was just trying to I didn't want to finish it and do it all the way if I couldn't figure out how to make the you know. So my but question you're is, you repeat. I see some repeats. Well, yeah, this is just a mock. Uh, oh, I, just, okay. I just did like the first inch. Oh, oh I see. And yeah. then I was trying to see how it would look. And I said, okay, I'm going to try to put this into a, a t-shirt. Um, well, did you convert your Word document into uh, a JPEG or did you do a screenshot? I did a screenshot. That's the problem. Okay, so what do, do I it, have to do? Just go into your Word document and you should be able uh, to good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night I think you can save it. Let me just take a look at a Word document. A... If not, make a PDF and that's pretty portable. 
yeah p and for yeah for pdf you can do almost anything and you can always send it to me susan because i have okay. magic so if i sat it. down and did this and maybe came up with some different versions of the font or whatever i don't know would that make a cute t-shirt but it'd be awesome it would just be the words especially for psycon well i was hoping i could figure out how to make it so it would be i don't know maybe you'd have to do a front and a back we've had so many <laughs> yeah i don't know i'd have to not get every single one no that'd be the fun of it is do all oh. these crazy stuff and just make it and then put out the shirt maybe right before Psycon so that people could order it for Psycon if they wanted to. I mean, you could, it's so easy. If once I did it, it would be really easy to do it now and then update it later. And then just people can do whatever they want with it. Anyway, so I think I'll do it. But so a PDF you think would probably print. Yeah, yeah for sure. And the other thing you could do, or I could, I could do save it, it as for you, PDF. is I, I could copy Adobe. Bird into, into Photoshop. I've done that many, yeah. many times. And then it, yeah. I, then you can create it into a TIFF or a JPEG or whatever you want. So that's yeah. another option. But yeah, I, I'm just looking at it right now and you can't go straight to a JPEG, but you can do a PDF. And yeah. I'm thinking that from there you can, I'm pretty sure that I've changed, I know I've changed pictures to PDF. So I'm, I'm guessing you can go the other way. Probably. So yeah. The problem is, is that the background's white. So really it's only gonna look good on white shirts, right? So that's the other thing you can and. do if you put it into Photoshop is I can make the background transparent yeah. so then you can put it on anything. Oh, I like that better. So if I give you a PDF of it. So what you have to be careful of though, if you're using multiple colors like you are, Mm -hmm. then if you have red in there and you have a red t-shirt it's not gonna those letters won't show up so you have to kind of think about that a little bit like don't use right. black don't use right. white um <clears throat> something to think about if you want it transparent so i could do it and if the background was transparent then what color should i avoid which shirt color would look the best with these <laughs> black and white are obvious ones yeah so don't use black. Mm -hmm. How green would look black? Do you have and, a printer uh, picked out? A printer? And, yeah. I use uh, I use um, Teespring. T T uh, Teespring. What's that called? Teespring. Is that? I've right? heard of that one. I thought that was what you used. No T T E E. Oh, sorry, Susan. I'm mixing them all up. Tea spring, tea cozy. <laughs> tea as long as you got one, you have. Oh, tea, tea public. public. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh my god, how many are there? <laughs> tea public. Oh, tea public. Yeah. If you're if you're thinking about the possibility of a white t-shirt, yellow doesn't show up that great against white. But put all your least favorite categories in yellow. <laughs> Most stuff shows up pretty well against black as long as they're relatively bright colors. Correct. Yeah, you don't want like navy blue or something. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about it. Okay, all right. I'm. This is one of those things that you would do when you're just listening to a video or something. You just kind of just like instead of crossing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it, it's easy once it's done, I could convert it into different kinds of fonts or different kinds of sizes of font. Oh, that'd be fine. And, you know, you could you make, make some it really small. Out. Yeah. So something that works really oh. well for that is something like InDesign, which I also have and have worked in. It's been a while, but I could probably figure stuff what out. What does that do? It's it's a publishing. Yeah. Publishing. Yeah. So and same thing you can create uh, from what I remember. I believe you could create transparent backgrounds, but if not, what you do is you import it into Photoshop and then do it. But working in InDesign is really nice because you can do the play around with the fonts and stuff. The text. You can work with yeah, text it's, it's text. really meant for working with text and all the programs with Adobe sort of mesh really well with each other. Yeah. Hmm. Food for thought. Well, I'm, 
Okay, you guys give me a lot of ideas. Not that I have time to do this, but look, <laughs> my my as I keep telling everybody, my to do list has everything crossed off of it. Today I've was never seen day. such a thing. I know I, that's I, never happened to me. I have You're missing an item on your to do list. Find up, find means, more things for the to do list. There no, you go. No, yeah. I, I can do that, no problem. But that, but I crossed. I made myself a list, and I said the last thing on here was the send off my passport for renewal, and I did that today. And I said, run home. I walked. Home. I'm running home, so I can cross off my list. <laughs> so everything's off. That, that oh. I just felt so good about doing that. All right, that's what I'm gonna do. So oh, Jane, do you think the weather's going to be okay to drive over to the coast on Tuesday? I haven't even checked it. Have you? Have I'm you worried about icy DC roads. DC. If it's if it's really icy, I'm not going to drive the road directly to Walport. I'm going to go Newport and then down the coast. The yeah. the one to Walport is just all curves and in the yeah. shade. Yeah, but I, you have you have to go to Florence. It's really too bad that we aren't close enough no. to do, go over together, but no. it doesn't make any sense. You know, we have an Peggy, hour right? drive. We're going to go see Peggy. That's so cool. <laughs> I <laughs> love that. Funny? I love that. We should have made her come over to my place. With her dog? But, she, but she's, she's got her dog. Is Don't she going to bring George? Oh, we get to meet George. Okay, take a picture with I kept wondering if we're going to meet George. Oh, yeah. George. I wondered about that too. She yeah, bring George. Of course, she'll bring George. She can't leave George. I'm, she's driving. Of course, she'll have the dog. And she's going to the beach. Oh, George will love fun. the beach. You guys are going to have so much fun. I'm jealous. <laughs> oh man, I don't know. Jane, I'll have to come Jane up. desperately needs the break. What I have to do is I got my results back from Ben Radford. Ooh. He read most of my book enough of it to give me a ton of stuff to do. And it's just like, oh my God, I have got- So your to-do list isn't done yet. No, you just no. didn't put everything on it. The thing that's got to go on the to-do list, to -do list is to rewrite the book with all the suggestions and stuff in it. And that is going to, I have to, I'm not good at writing unless I have quiet and it, no interruptions so i can only write late at night so when mark's gone to bed and the cats are sound asleep then i can write and i'll and i'll just sit and write and i won't even move out of my chair for nothing and that's the only way i can write but to do this it's just a big task i'm gonna have to go through everything and do it and it's it's not but, impossible it's just but you only have one person doing that you need a committee <laughs> no, I got to do it. I have to do it because I'll have to make the changes. And so I need to, I know I've been thinking to myself, should I just go somewhere? Like go to a, get a hotel room somewhere and just be there and don't take any books or magazines and nothing with me and just go and do it. But I, I really don't know if I could do that. that you can usually fun. get cubicles at the libraries. Yeah, there are those, but I'm not sure. I should be able to do it just at home and just like put shut the door but, but uh, uh police tape or something and <laughs> just really try to focus until mark if it's not quiet then i'm gonna have to go somewhere so i really don't want to go somewhere i really want to stay home but that's my idea but that's that's the thing i've got to do so that's why i didn't keep adding to my to-do list because i've really got to sit down and do that and i'm yeah. i don't know and, and once i start i don't think i'm going to be able to I, I don't know. I just feel like I want to just do it for several days in a row and just it's kind of easier to get. Try. Yeah, I think I think I feel better about doing it because it's, it's a lot of thinking about how I want to. There's a lot of changes I got to do and it's philosophical, too. Mm. And so it's it's a, con, it's a confusing thing that I've got to do. And I've been thinking about how I'm going to do it. So I've written my two articles for Skeptical Inquirer. They're already out. I got those done. I got my passport done. I The seat on my chair that the cat had clawed up, I rewove that. That's okay. done. I, I got, you saw that. That was nice. Looked that really was good. my first try. I, I'm impressed. I didn't, I thought it was be hard. My neighbor was like, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm like, I'm re-gluing it because the cat, you don't glue that. You just weave it. I'm like, yeah, weave. She goes, Susan, you can do this. And I'm like, 
okay <laughs> she, like because my this this uh, neighbor she's a weaver she does that like she's got a big weaving machine and stuff so when she's she's like well Susan just weave it and you're like I was like oh come on I can't do that I mean I can't do that and she's you can do it and I mean she stopped and she looked at me you can do this <laughs> It's not that hard. Like, oh God, don't make me do it. You can do this, Susan. Don't you dare. Don't you dare glue that. <laughs> so funny. So I guess I can do it. But if it's you don't look like it, darn don't look at too closely. It, it, it's nice. I trask. Yeah, I didn't do it perfect. But all right, you guys, I've got like nine documents here to look at because you guys gave me so many ideas. Oh, and, and Kyle, I'm really curious about the stats you did. Yeah, the new report. So we should record a little follow-up with the results. That is incredible. I was looking at this. The, what really got me, and I'm glad you added these questions, is finance, how many podcasts have you left a review for and how many have you supported financially? Sparse yeah yeah that's so, typical though i think well, we're like less than one half of a percent of people support data skeptic look at this so if i'm reading this right here how many podcasts do you support financially this number here this is one one person does 16 wow yep and one person does nine one person does seven two people do six okay that's how you read it six people to two two people and look at how many don't interesting very interesting and then this one right up here how many podcasts have you even i mean this is just leaving a review it's not even cost 30 anything. people wow i've done 30 it people zero. Oh, oh i'm the number three <laughs> you, you just de-anonymized <laughs> yourself <laughs> and we're um, still recording so you category got, hmm Oh, like the categories, like I didn't fit into any of the categories. For which one? For which I, one? Probably the types, right? Yeah. I I listen to like probably, you know, 80 or 90 podcasts regularly, subscribe to like 300 and something podcasts, but I didn't fit. No in way. Those How could you function? A lot of them are like limited series podcasts. So like... <sighs> They'll only they'll they'll be like journalism that will only be nine nine episodes long or something like that. So I'm subscribed I let my to feeds that hang that around watched, or that I've listened to, but you know they are not coming out with regular podcasts every week. Oh, anyway. see, we shouldn't have we should have figured out how to take those out because like if you're listening to serial, you listen to it and then it's done or ultra and it's done. You don't regularly listen to it i mean if they came out with a new show you would yeah but he asked how many are you subscribed to and sometimes they promote other projects that they're working on or they yep. announce oh. and they subscribed or serial has a new season like they're about to mm -hmm. oh yeah. my god and what does history fall into oh we might have missed oh. another category yeah. for me for me it was like narrative you know storytelling you know like this american life where did like you know oh, that's which true category? American life. Kyle, we and didn't do as good as we thought. <laughs> <laughs> we were trying to climb up with them on the fly. We were really thinking, we were really. Yeah. Trying to... So I, I listened to a huge array of podcasts, you know, all different genres, but I feel like they didn't really fall in any of those genres. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. What about this part right here? What was this all about? What are you doing when you listen to it? So I'll send you the uh, list of answers so you can see it, but. Because we typed it in, right? That's and right. It's free walk text. The dog. Would walk the dog be one of the ones that come, came up? I don't know. He'll have to tell us. Most <laughs> likely neutral. Yeah, most ah. likely association. Just kidding. <laughs> wow. So I was really surprised about the number of apps. So this this part right here is so 150. One That's person got 150. Is that you, Christy? I, I, yeah, I put like 300 and something podcasts. Okay. So, this, so I don't have the most up to thing because mine's, um, it goes also once per hour in the background to refresh. Yeah. So it hasn't, it hasn't, uh, I know I'm refreshing and I was like, it's not showing my stats. I, but there has to be at least one outlier, right? So that's me. <laughs> no, yeah. But it's, um, my, he gave me the stats before you guys started doing the survey. So mine's not refreshing 
refreshed yet. But yeah, so that's what this is. Oh, interesting. I don't know. I thought this was a fascinating study. I, I wonder if we should do it again someday and just do it better. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's an iterative thing, I think. So, a good idea. I, I didn't see the option of how do you listen on, to a podcast on your tablet? Oh, good point. <laughs> oh, I do that. I oh, do that. Too, that's, 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 how I, all, that's all the podcasts I listen to are on my tablet. Hmm. Really? What are you doing when you're doing that? Because uh, you can't like walk around with Often it. playing video games. Okay. Yeah. I On here, it was all apps on phone pretty much because that's how. Almost everybody, yeah. I thought an app on your computer. Only one person on here says they have. I've done it occasionally from my computer, but very rarely. Very rarely. Almost, we could... Always my phone or my iPad, one of the two. I'm I moving. can independently tell what device it comes from, and it's overwhelmingly your phone. Well, also, I listen to podcasts I'm driving, so yeah. it's off of my phone. Yeah, it's still off your phone. my phone through the uh, through the. Yeah. That I put that in. I put walking the dog, driving, doing the dishes, doing chores. That's why I listen to podcasts. Mine's gardening, playing driving, video games, riding on an airplane, yeah. walking. Oh yeah, on an, an airplane. airplane. Yeah. Yeah, good, good one. That's a classic. I, podcast I was, location. I was very disappointed when I flew to Saikon and discovered that my headphones were broken. Oh uh, no! And the one, the one, the one ear didn't work. On a long flight, oh, well, that's like the Twilight Zone with the broken glasses. Yeah, yeah I remember that. <laughs> you can do it. Plenty of time at last. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the ground's yeah, a little pipe to hop off soon but um i i threw in the chat a tiktok that i watched this week that i thought you guys would find entertaining um it's it's about um why we see aliens so oh well, that'd be fun thanks christy you, know how... you guys would enjoy yeah. <laughs> yeah definitely okay so you know okay i got it i got it too now we haven't yeah lots lots to watch after tonight i've got oh i've got i've got tonight. one two three <laughs> For, and I've still got to upload this video. And I looked at my thing for t tomorrow of what I've got to do because I use paper. And I go, oh, shoot, I've got a 9.30 interview with somebody named Miles at 9.30 in the morning. Oh, my God, I have no idea what that is. And then I realized I was on the wrong week. That was last week. I already did that. <laughs> I'm panicking. I was looking at this earlier I don't, I don't have a link to anything. I don't know what I'm talking about. I have no idea. Oh, God, help me. And then I realized it's the wrong way. So I have 4.30. I have something in my, yeah. So I'm, if I don't get to it tonight, I'll get to this stuff tomorrow. But I do. I'll talk to you guys later. It's great to see you. Yeah, you too. Bye, Bye everybody. Good night. Good night.